is a special thing that I have to show you. I wasn't unprepared for this challenge. I want to finish this at all costs. And so, while off stream, I did something. No, no intro, Afri. And you're gonna understand why in a second. Because today episode still didn't start it. But for now, how are you guys? So guys, I know you were expecting the anime intro, but not for now, because before seeing that, we have to do a little bit of synthesis, alright guys? Stay with me. First of all, welcome Pumpkin Fights, welcome Nettle, welcome Afri, Faust, Destruction for 2K, Rebel Wolf, Crimson Kalo, Blind Fool, Dank Boy last name, and I'm already with a I'm already 30, wait thirsty, wait a second. <coughs> welcome Conductor Schmo! Uh, bloody gems, uh, where is my bug fixing stream? It's tomorrow, bloody gems, tomorrow, tomorrow. I changed them, I made an announcement. Uh, if Chu Forest, uh, Desuite, Base Department, Capybara, M. Zayma, uh, Squarf, Karas, I'm good because of Cup of Tea, nice. David Castro, welcome everyone. So, there is a specific reason for which today we don't start with a freaking opening. Ciao, sono un little padre. Welcome, Relics, uh, welcome to stream, my friend. There is a specific reason for which we don't start with the intro, because today I have to show you a special video that I made today. So, I was very, very tired of losing hours of progress, and so I decided that I would make something. Remember, there is a fr this is not played in the moment in which I'm doing it. I mean, we should do it. Also, let me put a, a music for the background. Wait, uh, is this fine? Okay. So, as you guys may remember, there is a new god, uh, new old god, sir, loud video. Wait, uh, wait, what do you mean loud video? The video shouldn't have. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, okay, I removed the audio. I removed the audio from the, <laughs> from the, from the video. So, you remember? There is a freaking new old god circle inside of the bookstore, right guys? That's our plan. We are gonna farm, and after that we are gonna save inside of the new old god circle, okay guys? This is what, what I did off screen, off screen, but of course I didn't want to do it without you noticing it. So as you can see here, I bought the small things amulet because they are required in order to go back first of all to the, um, to the central prehival and to be able to skip all of the bobbies. Also, here I take the sewer winch because it may come in handy in case I fight the mob on the on the on the road, and uh, I can open also the sewers that I still didn't open. Now, the point is, uh, it wasn't uh, very difficult as a walk. I mean, we already did this out of time. So once I get the the safe spot inside of uh, once I arrive to the safe spot inside of the bookstore, I may actually start farming, and then we make the save file, and we have 99 shillings, and that's it. So I don't lose any more time. Here is just the usual. Also, here in this exact moment, uh, I go back inside because uh, uh, th there was a cut in the video because um, the guy that is gonna make my PC uh, contacted me and wanted to meet me. So I stopped playing for like uh, 30 minutes because I, 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 I ran to his office. And then I continued. Uh, it's the only moment in the video in which there will be a cut because of this reason. The only other moment is gonna be when I farm. So, uh, when you do this uh, last night, uh, no, Shmo, today I didn't have university, I spend a lot of time today doing this. Ciao, sono una luna del prof Fiorello. Welcome, Denise, Mark, you're welcome to see my friend. So, uh, what we do now is we go back. Uh, I also died a lot in these attempts of going back because I wanted to experiment even with the, the road with the beekeeper to see if it was easier than the granny because we know the granny has more than uh, 10, 10 agility so it's not a safe escape from her uh, God doing it today is a lot more healthy Yeah, I agree Yesterday night I would have died I would have died LDC mode when? We may do an LDC mode this week, absolutely here, there is the first moment in which I'm uh, genuinely scared of dying. I, I have only one murky vial, but I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it because I want to keep it, since uh, we don't have immediate access to the murky vial. I also was a little bit scared because of uh, Caligula, but at this point uh, I'm able to juke Levi. The only thing I have to do is go down. But the granny attacks me, so I decide to use the murky vial, I miss the head, and I take some damage. But uh, I'm, I'm, feeling I'm feeling pretty confident. Levi and the granny are blocking me. This is a little bit of a stretch. In this moment I felt uh, panicking. 
but with some juking uh, and some strange tactic um, that I, I wouldn't be able to reply, once again, I was able to reach this other part of the dungeon. Nice, Denise. Nice. I hope he told you good things. <laughs> Look at those yokes, uh, Leg Legless Levi crawled with you. Yeah, the point is, uh, I didn't want to use the murky vial on Legless Levi, but, then, but uh, in the end I just wasted it because of uh, freaking Granny. But now, the only thing we have to do is, first of all, we're gonna go back to the to the Church of Olmir, because inside of the Church of Olmir we can place uh, one of the sigils for Grogroth. We need affinity with Grogroth for my plan. Oh, I guess I do that later. I guess I do that later. I forego what I did in the video. I go immediately for the bookstore now. Okay. Now, the only problem in the book in the in the road to the bookstore is uh, once you go back, uh, there is going to be a bell end. Here there is this bobby, but the bobby is not a problem. You can escape easily. Here there is a guy that shoots you, deals some damage, uh, but with the farming we are not going to have problems. Uh, is that the Project Cat host I hear? Uh, it's um, it's a, a soundtrack from a Black Souls, uh, Black Souls, uh, the one in Wonderland. I don't know if it was used also from uh, uh, Cat Pro Project Cat. So here we are in the bookstore, right? So this is the moment in which we should farm. We secured our way, right, guys? Now I I I do a little bit of juke with the Bobby because I wanted to loot all the bookshelves uh, just for extra precaution. But now I think it's time to go instead of the room with the new god, new old god circle. And now, it's time to farm, right guys? No, I lied to you guys. I wasn't here in order to farm and then save. I was here in order to save and then do something different. Did you notice how I did loot all the bookshelves? That's because of a pretty interesting mechanic I'm gonna talk about in a few minutes. Some of you may know it, some of you may not know it. It's gonna be essential to my plan. I've only just recently started watching your channel. The fact that I look away for a second and suddenly you are doing a no wheelchair run mad light. Thank you so much, uh, Ivan Edukan. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome to stream, by the way. Alright, so... I did loot the libraries. Some of you may already know why I did want to loot the libraries. Because the save file inside of the bookstore is useless. Also because I still didn't farm. What am I doing, you may say? Well, I counted the bookshelves. Are you going for Book of Enlightenment? Distraction got it. Distraction absolutely freaking got it. You see, guys, there is a special mechanic in Termina. Also, here I'm gonna go to the to the Church of Olmi because I needed the affinity with Grogroth. There is a special mechanic in Termina in which uh, you can get one Book of Enlightenment and then you can only get another one uh, if... Um, how, is it, how is it said? If you got all the other books, all of them, if you get all the books in the game, you're able to get guaranteed one Book of Enlightenment, but no more after that, only one. So, my plan, I counted the bookshelves that were still available. There is the possibility of getting nothing from a bookshelf, and it happened to me a lot of times. I had to reset a lot in order to do it. I made like two attempts in which uh, they were failed at the orphanage, but after that, I was finally able to reach the orphanage. We will see. I mean, I wouldn't show you these if I, if I failed, but still. Also, the other question is, uh, what did we farm? How did we farm? Where did we farm? I still didn't farm in this moment, guys, remember. A complete book collection, if you, if you may say so. Exactly! We need a complete book collection in order to get the Book of Enlightenment. That's uh, kind of symbolic. You can only get the Book of Enlightenment if you have uh, enlightened on all the books of the world. What do you get after Book of Enlightenment from bookcases? Is it just nothing? From, what, from my experience, yes, Blindfold. It's just nothing. Absolutely nothing. So here it's just the the road back to the from the foundations of decay. Here, we're, here, if I remember correctly, we are gonna go back to Doctor Kaffer. Remember, I still didn't farm. I still didn't farm. Of course, in the video, the moment in which I farm is cut, but uh, you're gonna see it. The only real problem that I can see is that we need a way to be able to deal with the mob and Sergal. And without all this road, in my current save file, I wasn't able to do it. There was literally too much stuff in my way. 
in particular in the way to the moldy apartments. Also, let me end the poll about Sir Gal. I'm, I'm happy you guys said that I'm gonna defeat it, thanks. There are a lot of small mechanics in these games that are so cool, like I just learned your sprites actually age in the first game when you hit with Ruin, yeah, and they also can die because of it. Just because you own shitty lore books doesn't mean you read them. I mean, yeah, Gecko, but technically uh, it, it's a symbol that you might be enlightened. Come on, I think it's symbolic. Shut up, Gecko. I just wanted to, to, to poetize everything. Oh, here there is another funny moment. Look at it. Okay, I need to juke the granny, okay? The, pro the problem is the granny doesn't go after that point. I don't know why. I tried a lot of time to do it, but she just immediately stops once she arrived at that point. I mean, the old lady, sorry. So I decide to go while she is not looking, and uh, I'm barely able to do it. There is one problem though, guys. Remember, there is Levi up there. There is Levi. What's gonna happen now? Of course it's gonna happen that I fail, because Levi is what's gonna come. I have to I have to escape. Here... 3 HP. I died a little bit inside. Because of that stupid cane smash. I was so close to dying. So freaking close. But eventually, uh, this was not the way in which I want to exit from, but... Uh, from here, we have access to the moldy apartments, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there is the sewers that lead you to the moldy apartments. And from there, reaching the shopping street, you just, you just have to go up. I could have been attacked by the mob, I think. No, I don't think there is a trigger for the mob here. But still, here we are. Shopping district is reached. We have collected all the bookshelves possible. And we just have to go to Dr. Kefir. We still didn't farm, though. We still didn't farm. Three, three cheap running for my granny. That's how I remember masochism mode. <laughs> Here I had uh, some good luck, uh, because of the fact that the umbrellas were not in, were not in the way. Imagine if mobs could be, cause you could use ladders, the game would be even more horrifying. Imagine if they could follow you between screams, uh, like the Gould brothers. Uh, they would be crazily good. So, a little bit more walking. I also take the Leechmonger ring, so I don't have to do that later. You know, I just want to do some quality of life stuff. I also uh, took the Zero Witch for the same reason. Now... The last thing that is missing is we are gonna go to the orphanage. This took like 50 minutes in the only in the in the correct attempt, just doing all that you have seen that you've seen so far. Took like 50 minutes, not counting the deaths. How I move so fast, Henry? Uh, welcome to stream. This is uh, a recording of me that I made today. I made it today off stream because I wanted to be sure I was able to do it uh, in a in a good amount of time. Yeah, this is pre-recorded, Henry. It's just to show the prequel to today's run. I finally reached the orphanage. I quickly go to the to all the rooms because I want to loot the bookshelves. In this room in particular, there are three bookshelves, if I remember correctly. I get the tail of the pocket cat, uh, Alchemilia. Alchemilia is gonna be very useful later, potentially. We're in a multiple phase boss fight, made me realize what the Zygarde boss fight in Pokemon could have been. Oh, Library of Ruin, huh? Ah, I'm gonna see. In the meantime, as you can see, I'm already starting with the Pinecone Pig because I, I ran into some enemies and I have it equipped. There, I don't I don't think that was Book of Enlightenment. No, that wasn't Book of Enlightenment. I still need to, to collect some bookshelves for it. If you devour Death Mask, does it prevent it from respawning? Death Mask? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. It would be ab abusable. I'm not sure though if I need to can, so I'm not gonna say it because I, I have less knowledge about Terminal than I, than I have for the first game. So I hope someone in the chat that knows better than me is gonna is gonna answer you. So here we get a newspaper article. We are almost there. Welcome Raccoon! I'm showing what I did today. Welcome Raccoon! Raccoon, your strategy sucks. Your strategy literally sucks. This is the real way to beat Termina. Wheelchairless. You're gonna see. You're gonna freaking see. Fuck your strategy. No, okay. I I'm sorry, Raccoon, I'm just joking. Uh, don't be angry at me, I'm just joking. So, no, I, d I don't want to risk. Uh, I don't want to go for the Poe and, and the, the other stuff in case I get soft locked between two uh, sheriffs. Uh, and I think I'm only missing, like, two libraries at this moment, which are those on the upper floor. Hey, Harry, bought some sort of... Welcome, random meme! Welcome to stream, my friend. I've never seen a death mask respawn after head, cut, or organ harvest. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Now, this is the last floor in which there are bookshelves. I think this is the moment in which I get the Book of Enlightenment to watch. Book of Enlightenment! I got it! I finished all the loots in the bookshelves. All Dark Raccoon videos are misinformation. Yeah, they are. Dark Raccoon sucks. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Dark Raccoon knows a lot of stuff about Termina. But still... 
just as you can see, I tried to take a bookshelf and it says nothing because I already took everything here. I got I got uh, stun locked. I farmed. I cut off the farm to get uh, murky vials, and then I make them blow up essentially. Okay. I start by sewing off heads. Now we have everything. We just need to farm, guys. It's time to start the farm. Of course, I cut it off. But as you can see, I got seven ratkin heads from the farm. Counting also the heads from the uh, cherubs uh, and the um, the soulstones that I got from uh, the, the Lumping Doctor Kefir. I think we have four soulstones. Four soulstones. I got seven Ratkin heads. I farmed for 3.5 hours. You're gonna see all the stuff that I have in a second. Now it's, it was just time to... to uh, what was I doing here? I don't even remember. Oh, I was going to buy the Hardened Heart. Yeah, I have 99 shillings in this moment. Uh, I, I'm gonna buy the Hardened Heart. Uh, there is the Death Mask, but it's not a big problem. If you're an angry Pokemon crossover, when? Welcome, uh, Hope Esteem. Welcome to stream, my friend. First to farm by babies until you could blow them up. Exactly, Grandma Gun Sales. That's exactly what happened. Honestly, don't want to push for Polo down with this strategy. I want him to be happy. Shut up, Dark Raccoon. My strategy is way better than yours. You're gonna see. You are gonna see, I swear. Four soul stones, but can't cure your spine problem. <laughs> and here I get... Uh, I, I think uh, I just position myself uh, in front of uh, Father Hugo and I stop the recording. I think... Uh... Yeah, I don't go for the, the effigy. I could take the effigy easily in this moment, but I don't want to. Also, for some seconds in this moment, you will be able to see my inventory. I'm gonna show it regardless once we start, but... Uh, I hope you are seeing correctly, and I hope you're liking it. So, without further ado, guys... Let's start with today's episode. Sorry, I was muted, sorry! <laughs> I was talking! I was talking! <laughs> professional streamer, by the way, professional streamer! Let me, since I was muted, now it's time to drink a little bit. I hope you were able to hear me now. I would uh, emphasize, emphasize your attention on the blue herbs, the red herbs, the freaking lavender. Lavender is gonna be huge today. Today we, ref we will finally start to use mind. So, I have one last way to craft a murky vial. A single one. I have 24 golden chanterelle, but I can only use one because I have one oil. So, now the, pro the point is, uh, Father Hugo is gonna be easy, very easy. Let me let me show you the fight with Father Hugo, okay? Let, uh, uh, let, tr trust me, guys, trust me. I have to put the heart in heart. Trust me, guys, this is the fight with Father Hugo. Trust me. Follow me, follow me, you're gonna see, it's easy. We start off uh, by using a murky vial. If we fail to place the, the, the burn on him, we just reset. Poop. I think I missed the torso. We don't die because we have the hardened heart regardless. Did we? Did we burn the torso? No, we didn't. 
uh, reset, guys. Uh, thank you so much for the following, Goni. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, this is the strategy. That's why I saved right in front of Father Hugo. I wish you don't. Uh, uh, I wish you don't mess it up. Uh, otherwise, I'm here to help. No worries, Dart Raccoon. You are not needed. So, as I was saying, uh, let's uh, retry the battle. Uh, let's put once again the, the the murky vial, and that's it. See, this is much much easier. We don't need to care about RNG. I completely removed the RNG. It's a safe scam strategy, yes, bloody gems. It is, but it's the only way to do this without losing my sanity. I forgot the hardened heart. Wait a sec. I forgot to keep the hardened heart. So are you doing a raccoon strategy, but safe scammer? No, Gecko, I'm not doing raccoon strategy. I, I mean, I, I didn't check a racco Dark Raccoon uh, video about it. I mean, he told me to use uh, two murky vials at the end of the turn, and uh, I come well. Thank you so much for the five donations of membership to the chat, my friend. Jesus, uh, thank you so much. There, here they are. Be a good shot. Now your chance to be a big shot. Be a big, 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 big shot. Thank you so much, I come well. Really, I really appreciate that. Jesus Christ, five subs. So, while the big shot goes, we're gonna defeat it. Okay. We don't even need to, to to put the regen on us, honestly. I'm just gonna do something though. I'm gonna craft uh, like a 10 mixed herbs uh, just for extra precaution. So. Let's use a murky vial and let's hope uh, that we get the burn on him. We, we cannot die, guys, remember. We cannot die because we have uh, the hardened heart. Did I burn him? I think no. And we reset once again. Yeah, but with Raccoon Strategy, you killed Hugo first try. Gecko, I had a lot of luck. Shut up. Shut up. I had a lot of luck with Raccoon Strategy. Hitting the head two times is insane. Don't say with Raccoon Strategy, you killed him first try. I had luck. And in this strategy, in this challenge, you can, you can use luck to an extent. That's why I'm removing luck with this strategy. Stop, like, destroying all my beliefs. Because you are not able to. You're just gonna be annoying. I'm sorry, my friend. I really love you. No, no need to be... I, I, I enjoy you. I enjoy you saying that. Because I forgot to put the hardened heart. So maybe I'm stupid. And thank you so much for the follow, Ecliptic Titan. It wasn't lucky. Strat is just good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There is no evasion on the head. Absolutely. Uh, you have 95% chance to hit the head with Murky Vial. No? You don't have 95% chance? How do you know that? That's not true, I failed a lot of heads in my attempt. So let's keep the heart and heart. There, there it is. To be fair, if scamming is actually pretty good for the Rack strategy. I mean, Dark Raccoon strategy requires two murky vials. I only have one. So regardless, I couldn't use that. I only have one. Boop. How much soul stones do you have? I think five, uh, four. And I'm gonna get another one once I open the, the path to the accent. Did I burn the freaking torso now? No. S reset. Okay. We change a little bit the strategy now. I'm gonna place a gasoline canister before using the murky vial. That way we should be able to destroy it. I'm gonna get burn more guaranteed. Since we're talking about removing the RNG, I'm, I'm also gonna use a gasoline, a freaking gasoline canister. You're gonna see. Check the head. No, uh, Karas, there is a problem with the head. The torso, the um, Father Hugo is gonna die once the, the torso is around 50% of health. Head requires to be at 0% health. So, since the burn is percentage damage, I need more turns to kill the torso, the, the head, to kill him with the dots on the head. That's the problem. So, no. I'm not gonna check the head for that reason. Let's go. The strategy can be lowered by a lot if you do a oatmeal lantern. I don't have ornamental lantern, uh, Dark Raccoon. I don't have it. Stop using uh, RNG items. These are all uh, guaranteed items. Stop using RNG items like the Murky Vial. I only have one because I was blessed by RNG. But stop mentioning other RNG items. Goodbye. Poop. And... Poop. I missed the head two times, by the way. Did you see that? I missed the head two times. Oh, uh, yeah. You can just use two Murky Vials. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> I know I'm <laughs> being a little bit annoying in saying this. But it's just to emphasize that I think it's too much RNG in that in that situation. Too much. Oatmeal lantern. Yeah, I said the incorrect word, yeah. Okay, now. It's time to use uh, mixed herbs. Uh, Aikomuel, thank you so much for another donation of membership. Uh, Jesus, you're gonna make the whole chat green. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Aikomuel. I really appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. Be a good shot. You got one more. Thank you so much, Aikomuel, really. 73 damage, it's good. Now, we may also just use the light blue vial to get more health and be sure we don't die. To reduce the RNG even more. So, oh, twitching. Good, 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 good. 70 damage. This should be the last turn in which he's alive, potentially. Mixed herbs. We should be fine. Grand Magan sales is white. Time to get races towards everyone, not green. <laughs> no, please, guys, don't do that. Here we are still fine because of the hardened heart, and it's over. Father Hugo is go. I come well. <laughs> Thank you so much for another donation. <laughs> You're donating like they were chips. You're just eating chips in this moment. Thank you so much, I come well. I really appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. You will never, you'll be, never be able to do me green. <laughs> I mean, if you don't turn on the, the the donations from the chat, yeah. In case you want to farm Book of Enlightenment, you might wanna ask Rupa later. He farmed four Book of Enlightenment with the strat. No, you cannot, Raccoon, because uh, the, I, I checked the code for the bookshelves, and if it works the same for all the bookshelves, you can only get two at maximum, because the game checks if you have uh, a Book of Enlightenment, if you have uh, gained the Book of Enlightenment, so it doesn't work anymore. But I'm gonna ask Rupa regardless, because uh, maybe it's interesting, but still. Now it's time. It's freaking time. I did uh, I did win up in a... I mean, uh, it wasn't too much of a difficulty because uh, now we know how to deal with it. So. RPG Maker success letting you know. Rupa is a math guy. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. So. It's finally time. Do we have the all the necessary stuff? Yeah. Let me show you my... I have two possible plans for this. I have five soul stones because of the one that I just picked up. The thing is, I could take one, two, three, four, and take Mischief of Rats. And then with the last one, I could take uh, uh, Necromancy. The problem with this uh, is, if I do that, uh, I don't have a way to put a dot on the enemy safely. Like, uh, the only thing that can put a dot that I have is a gasoline canister. What I'm gonna do, and it may be a wrong decision, but I'm gonna take Branch Toss. I'm gonna take Necromancy. I'm gonna take Pyromancy Trick, and then I'm gonna take a Rot and Agility plus one. This way we have access to a second turn using only one small thing's amulet against boss fights without having to escape. Wrench Toss is cool, yeah, it is. And especially cool when we have the, the Pipe Wrench to be used with it. So, now we still have the small thing's amulet equipped because uh, we need to be sure that we are, we are going to be able to escape from the stupid gold brothers. Hey, for a question, did you ever finish patching, uh, patching Fear and Anger 1's glitches? No, Pocket Cat, I didn't. Welcome to stream, by the way, Pocket Cat. There is a bug fixing stream tomorrow. I'm probably going to patch it tomorrow. But uh, I, I maybe I'm, I have a, a problem tomorrow. Maybe I won't be able to do the stream because uh, I may have to go away to do some commissions for a friend. But uh, in case I, I postpone the stream, it's gonna be on Saturday. All right, here we are. Now, while we don't have other party members, uh, we have to immediately go and take uh, the freaking uh, hunter refugee from this one. How can you use branch toss with one uh, with only one arm since you need one to prop yourself up, uh, or do you just face plant and hope for the best? What do you mean? Uh, I can use branch toss with only one arm. I can. There's no problem with that. Uh, I do can. I only need one arm to use branch toss. Let's let's quickly run through this. Uh, why did you say yesterday that you won't postpone? Because uh, because the people can change their opinion, their their ideas, Gecko, and uh, unexpected things may happen. That's why. So, uh, eleven plus two, di ah, divided by twelve plus one. What are what are you doing? Uh, okay. So, it's time to heal ourselves a little bit to be sure we are not gonna die immediately. I could put a Pyromancy trick on him in order to deal a dot, but I guess uh, Pipe Wrench will be f uh, Wrench Toss will be fine. So, let's start the battle with Levi. Hello, Levi, stupid crybaby. Just go to hell. Poop. I think I stunned him, so in the extra turn, I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I may blind him, but I don't do anything because I can uh, equip the Wrench in the normal turn and I still have access to my extra turn for using it. There it is. Skill. Branch toss. Boop. 
Now we do it again. Pipe branch. And just like that, we defeated another Moonscorch contestant. Tanaka didn't get invited to the museum in Mezukis. <laughs> I know why you're saying that. <laughs> we can continue like this. It's gonna be easy. Uh, you can tag people in chat. Yeah, you have to use the... Uh, uh, how is it called? The at. At sign. I think it's called at. And just like that, Levi should be over. I think... It, oh, okay. There is another... Maybe one or two more branch tosses. But just like that, it's over. Come on. Levi getting bullied. I mean, he was the crybaby. What's your strat for multi? Uh, you're gonna see, Dark Raccoon. You're gonna see. It's gonna be fantastic. I have one strat. If it fails, uh, we can just try the other one because, uh, as you can see, we didn't take much time in order to reach this, plo this moment. All right, can I go past him? Uh, okay, I can go past him. Perfect. Now, uh, let me re-equip the pipe wrench just, just to be extra, extra sure. I could keep the pinecone pig because I don't need uh, anything whatsoever in this moment, but I don't really need to. If I enter in battle with him, I'm able to block him and I'm able to pass. Easy. Now, let's enter in battle once again so we block him here and we can proceed a little bit without him following us. Also, here. I'm gonna block him here so I get some, uh, some steps to be taken without him. Uh, bro, you have to go up immediately. Okay. We should have enough time. This one without the pendulums, we can kill it easily. We can kill it easily. I could go for the head. No, I don't need to, honestly. I can just use it as a mid shield later. And here we are. Entering battle with this one. So once we escape, he's gonna stand still for one second or something. And after that, we should be cool. We should be cool. Yeah, we were able to juke everyone. Easy! I practice, guys. Uh, do you see I practice? I'm so happy! Terminal, you can have zero mind. You can, Gustavo. I'm spending the whole run having zero mind. Five different streams in which I had zero mind and I'm still fine. Alright. So you got a book of enlightenment to be able to save before Hugo, right? Yeah, Dark Raccoon. That's the first part of the strat. Step one is done. Now there is step two. Step two is a little bit more complex. But eventually, it's easy to achieve. It's just uh, a little bit complex in the, in the procedure. Let me drink a little bit. For demonic entities, ash, they are nothing. They are useless entities. And I get another golden chanterelle. We don't need golden chanterelles anymore, but see... Oh, wait. I have to go back. You don't need to use the at. Uh, okay. Giving demon kid for claymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, the claymore that I cannot use. <laughs> so, Libya. <yeah. laughs> yeah, exactly. Imagine if that was the plan. Also, I'm feeling very sad because I cannot use the Sergal Spear even after I defeat uh, freaking Sergal. Let me... Uh, I have the... My glasses... Uh, th there is water on my glasses. Wait a second. Okay. On oh, my eye glasses, I think they're called. Alright. Now that everything has been settled inside the orphanage, we potentially will not need to enter the orphanage anymore. Maybe later if we want to get some of the... Oh, Death Mask is here, yeah. Maybe later if we need to get some affinity with Grogro for Sylvian after we defeat the Radiating One. Chanterelles are, use are useless because of oil now. Yeah, Chanterelles are useless now in this moment. But uh, Murky Vials themselves are useless now because we have access to freaking Pyromancy Trick. Which doesn't have 100% of putting burn. But still, even if it doesn't put burn, it's gonna be um, a good damage on face. So it's a way to deal damage and to potentially have the same effect. We have a reusable murky vial that doesn't have a 100% uh, uh, burning chance, basically. Another addition to Frapolo lore, he wears glasses. D you didn't know I wear glasses, guys. I thought you knew it. I never mentioned it because I was sure you knew it. Why would you fight the Radiating One or do you mean Dysmorphia? Uh, Dysmorphia, yeah, sorry. I assumed she was the Radiating One because she says that she ra she's radiating, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm just tense because I'm so excited we are finally gonna be able to progress. Because the strategy that I have uh, is perfect. It's flawless. Uh, a flawless strategy. If Rapolo is going for an extra masochist run... Uh, uh, wait, uh, I, I can't look. I have to <laughs> be careful about the umbrellas. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Perfect. Uh, go up. Did he, did he make it in time or not? He did make it in time. Let's go from down. Easy. 
the umbrellas are easily skipped. Uh, I'd smash Death Mask into a bloody pulp. <laughs> with Death Mask, I always imagine them flipping us like a paddy with those swords. Uh, imagine flipping us like a, like a paddy. That would be very funny. So, now the strategy is gonna go back to the starting village. And to go back there, we need the access to the sewers. After that, I just need to go by memory. Access to the sewers is easily guaranteed from here. There is once again the granny, but now we have a way to fight back. And I think I am gonna fight back. It's time to get the revenge against the granny. That stupid moron that blocked us across the whole run. I'm not even gonna heal myself. I swear, I'm not even gonna heal myself. Let's just go and kill everyone in the way. We have our pipe wrench for a reason. I think it is up here. No, it's down. I was going the other way. Famous last words. No, 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 no. It's easy. Granny is easy. Trapolo, while I have a D&D session, I wanted to be here and tell you good luck. Thank you so much, Lolozo. And good luck with the D&D session, my friend. There is a granny down there. I didn't remember that. But see, Frapolo, no. Frapolo, yes! What do you mean, Frapolo, no? Frapolo, yes. So. Guess who locked themselves out and uh, had to climb through a window? What? Jesus! Uh, I hope you're fine, Will. I hope you're fine. Alright. First of all, let's deal with the stupid moron near the granny. Oh, wait! Uh, your head is exposed! Oh, Thank you so much for the follow, Mario! Thank you so much, my friend! Alright. Now, let's eat a little bit. I have 99 turnips, but I don't need them. I'm gonna eat a mushroom stew. Just uh, to, to add the injury to the joke. Oh, I could use Necromancy on Levi Doppelganger, but I guess it's useless. And now, it's finally time. Where are you, stupid granny? I'm gonna punch you in the face so hard. Where are you? Where are you? She should be just here. Did she disappear? But Uh? B bro uh, Thanks so much for the follow, Archangel33. Where, where is the granny, guys? Yeah. Wait, no, wait, 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 a, wait a second. Did she... Oh, she... Fo no, wait! Uh, the granny that was down there is the granny that <laughs> that followed me all the, all the way! <laughs> okay, now I understand. The, the, the granny that was down there when I said uh, there is a granny down here. Huh, interesting. Was the one <laughs> that was here. Okay, now I understand. I understand everything. Everything. Easy. We don't even have to fight the granny, honestly, at this point. So. How do we go back into the village? We are gonna use the Forbidden Passage. The passage we never used across the whole run, because there is not one, but two death masks in the way. We are gonna use the passage with the elevator. It's finally time to go to the village by using that passage specifically. I could do it more easily and more safely using the Shagnar passage, but I generally want to feel some progression. This is the moment in which... I mean, no, wait. Uh, we still need to go and get into the bank. We still need to go into the bunker to get uh, the other one. Uh, to get the other goal. Uh, no, whatever. We go later. Into No, wait. There is a sickle villager in there. No, 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 no. We are going from there. No worries. Also... No, wait. No, we cannot go from there. I, I'm remembering now. There is a reason I cannot go from there. Because... Uh, when I get new party members, I will not have 100% escape chance, so no. We're gonna go from Tunnel 6, we have access to uh, a goal and a sickle villager without having to interact with the, the uh, death mask. Hopefully you all guys are doing amazing today, by the lol, by the by. I love you. Okay, thanks so much for coming, raccoon, see ya. Free rats. <laughs> yeah, now... No, wait, I don't have a mastery over vermin, I didn't do for that strategy. I was uh, in doubt if I should have used uh, a strategy with Mastery Over Vermin, but in the, end I, in the end I decided no, for the sole reason that with that strategy I wouldn't have access to a dot. That's really the whole reason. Oh, I didn't say goodbye. Oh, I thought by the bye was, uh, was um, like a goodbye, sorry. I thought it was <laughs> a goodbye, but still. Why am I broomed away with just showing uh, love to you guys? Because you said by the bye. What do you mean by? I think by the bye is an expression that that tells you're gonna go away. Like, if I tell 
All right, guys, I think now it's time for me to go. I'm expecting people to, to say, oh, okay. Sorry, I think uh, Fram just wanted to get rid of you. Oh, by the by, by the way, I thought it was like another way to say goodbye. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, my English uh, sometimes with this uh, slang is a little bit caring. Current. Current is the correct word, yeah. Find yourself someone as devoted as Granny that followed you. <laughs> yeah, Granny and Neighbor, I think, uh, are true identities! <gasps> Okay. <laughs> you scared me so badly. How do I do? Does he have a. No, he does uh, Yeah, I want to blind him. The problem is he's gonna destroy me on the first turn because on the, fl the first turn, blind is not applied. Hmm. I think I have to guard. I think I have to guard. He's probably gonna destroy me, but uh, I think guarding is the most safest way to try to do something. Okay? We are fine. I think before doing anything, I would want to be full health. But I think if I don't do something... He's gonna murder me. No, he's gonna murder me if I don't do something. Let's try to blind him. Let's generally try to blind him. Was he blinded? No. I don't even think you can blind him, honestly. Let's guard once again. Vomit. Static. Oh, sorry. Wait, why did Caligura attack me? Why did freaking Caligura attack me? Ah! <laughs> I loved that moment though. It was <laughs> it was pretty nice as a moment. I loved it. I wasn't expecting it, but still. You sleepy? I'm not sleepy. What do you mean sleepy? I wanted to guard. But still, it's not over. Like uh, we didn't lose anything. We are just here. Caligula dies, uh, not deserve to live, for real. No problem, guys, we can still do it. Is it mandatory for him to... I don't think it's mandatory. I was just unlucky, I think. Did I miss the torso? Did I freaking miss the torso, really? No, okay. 250, I think it's the torso, right? Okay, the torso has been burnt. Now it's just time to use mixed herbs, and it's gonna be fine. Do not guard for Caligura, he will double double damage you! I didn't know that! Interesting. But still, we wouldn't have been able to survive potentially even without the guarding. We need more party members, really. We have that so much to fickle hounds. Oh! Uh, now I understand. Now I understand. <laughs> Alright. Let's just guard and let's wait until it's over. Beep. 79 damage, Jesus. But we are fine. We're fine. Let's use a light blue vial to be extra safe. And let's guard once again. Permanency trick. Miss! 66. And it's over. Easy. Tatakae. Tatakaete. <laughs> I love that phrase. Tatakae. I sometimes forget that Frappolo's time is ahead of mine by like 6 hours. Yeah, here now it's 2041. Uh, we have Hardened Heart, and as I am able to see... Yeah, we do have Hardened Heart, Astral Maestro. We have everything ready. I'm not playing around this time. We are gonna... Like, if Caligula didn't appear, it was almost a jover for uh, every everything in the run. I was almost able to get Necromancy and stuff. From turning to Tanaka real. <laughs> Imagine. So. Let's try once again with the same strategy, because we still weren't able to see if it actually works or not. Like, I wasn't even able to take the goals. But still, now, without uh, possibly Caligua that attacks us, I should be able to go from there. Also, guys, remember, if you didn't, uh, smash like, because at 100 likes, my stream is gonna be blessed by YouTube algorithm. I have to do a little bit of marketing from now and there. So, Branch Toss is there. Pyromancy trick, Necromancy. Then, Rot, and Agility plus one. Caligua is mandatory. Then no problem, we go there from another way. No problem, we go there from another way. Caligura mandatory? Who freaking cares? I'm gonna show you who is mandatory in this run. If I don't want to face Caligura, I'm not gonna face it. 
Smash that like, hit that bell, abuse that suppress subscribe button, exactly. Wait, abuse? Uh, abuse is the... Are you the pocket cat <laughs> to say that thing? The birds can break the action, yeah. In uh, in um, Maso mode, I come well. The hexen will be still uh, intact. They will enter the, the room after you use it one time and they will smash it. That's what happens. I tried to like but accidentally reported your channel for harassment. No! <laughs> I mean, it happens. Maybe you're not completely wrong though. So... I mean, if you decided to do that, you're not wrong whatsoever, but still. Mass is not going to these difficulties ever. <laughs> also, the, the gold bros are gonna follow you into a lot of different zones of the, of the world, basically. It's around uh, 21 right now in Italy. Yeah, it is uh, 20, 21 minus uh, 20 minutes. So. We may kill Liva. You know what? Let's test the new damage that we have, okay, guys? Let's make some uh, condensed lavender. Where is it? Here. Condensed lavender? I know it's a waste. You may actually argue, and it is a waste, but I really want to try this immediately. So. I'm gonna stun him, and then I'm gonna use Pyromancy Trick to see the damage. Because this is also useful for later when you have to fight the things such as the mob or Sergal. I, I can uh, understand the damage a little bit more. Because I used Pyromancy Trick very sporadically. Welcome, Levi! So. Let's start off by using Wrench Toss. Boom! Ra oh, we didn't stun! Uh. You never miss the stun with the freaking Wrench Toast, no? You never miss the stun with freaking Wrench Toast, no, 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 what are you saying, no? It's impossible, it's 95%. Fuck you! So. Now, what do we do? Now we, we use a uh, Mixed Derbs, I guess. In this turn, if I try to guard, he is gonna... I think I have to uh, keep the pipe range in this turn. He's gonna do uh, rapid fire. I don't care actually. And now you need the two men up uh, later. Uh, Wrench toss on the torso. Boop. Now can we do our damage check, please? Okay, we can do damage check. Let's go for it. Pyromancy trick. Deal damage. 62, but uh, we were able to put the burn. 350 burn, by the way. 350. That's not bad at all. Let's use our unique cloth fragment. Now I think... Oh, wait. Uh, the stun went away. No, it's still stunned. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Pipe wrench. 95% of the time, see, it works 100% times. Wait, why did I use Pyromancy? Whatever. It takes uh, 10 mind. Psh! 10 mind is ridiculous. Let's pipe branch him. Let's uh, branch toss him. Sorry. Sorry. Easy. What do those triangles actually mean? Uh, which triangles, sorry? Which triangles I do can? You mean those in battle? Now we can just run from all the battles. Also, let me re-keep the pipe wrenches to be sure. Just to be extra sure. It actually turned out much faster. I mean, yeah. Like one or two turns uh, faster than usual. Join me? Oh, the, oh, the rev points he means. Uh, rev points uh, increase your damage uh, and... Uh, they can give you an extra, uh, an extra attack on the normal attack if you use the, if you use the three of them. That's what happens. Oh uh oh, did they block me? No, okay, they didn't. And the pendulum guy blocked me here. Okay, we have to do the other strat. In this strat, hmm. Wait, first of all, let me heal myself. Where have I? Okay, I have full health. Also, guys, I could craft the makeshift armor if I wanted, but uh, it seems a terrible armor for now. So I'm gonna avoid doing that. Hello there. How are you doing? Let's branch toss the stupid mouth. Boop. No. Escape. Let's try once again. Wait, uh, I'm gonna branch to the other mouth. Oh, I forgot to keep the, the branch. Uh, I mean, I can... No, you know what? Let's escape. Let's use this one. Let's put it and let's enter the fight once again. Is this the... No, this is the pendulum one. Easy. 
head, bye bye. Boop. Ah. You know what? Pyromancy. I, I have Pyromancy Trick. Let's just use it. I'm gonna genuinely use Pyromancy Trick on the freaking head. Let's see if it works. It worked, but uh, not enough damage. Uh, let's branch toss once again to see if it works. Come on! Can I defeat this stupid moron? <laughs> Pendulum once, we, we skip that. I'm in fact going to Alice. Are you going to Alice, Dalemir? Interesting. I could kill the legs at this state. I could literally kill the legs, yeah. Why am I even going for the head? I could just kill the legs. I know she can attack without a head, but if I destroy the head, I remove one problem. Let's destroy the other mouth then. Easy. One mouth is destroyed. Now we have to destroy the other one in order to kill her. No, this is the pendulum one! Won't they say- won't they- well, they chase you that far? Yeah, they do. Mouth! Goodbye! No worries, we can try as many times as we want. There is absolutely no problem in that. We removed the RNG even from this one. Go! I mean, okay. How, as many times as we want, but- but, uh, come on. Do it! Uh, please. Pendulum guy, we skip it. Okay. Let's try once again. Come on! <laughs> Is it that difficult to hit a freaking Rontiel head? How much evasion do they have? 85% or something? I mean, let's just go for the legs, you know what? Go on, Frap, toss the branch. No problem, now we just- we destroy the leg. So the, the head should become exposed, I think. I've never tried to destroy the leg on the Rontiel, but my best bet is uh, it is indeed gonna be exposed. Let's see. Which are better, Rontiels or Mumblers? Mumblers! I mean, uh, Mumblers are way easier. You mean better in the sense of uh, stronger than Rontiel? Of course, Rontiel. The Pendulum Arms are very, care are very dangerous. Poop! Easy. First try. First try, death. Move. And now we pass. They have 80% evasion on the head, Jesus! If I didn't have a plan, this would have gone so, so wrong. But uh, I had a plan, so we are fine. Now, I mean in the sense of prettier. Oh, prettier? Mumbler. Mumbler is way prettier. Uh, I gotta be honest, that the Mumbler head looks so fluffy for some reason. It's not fluffy whatsoever, but it looks fluffy to me. Like, it, it looks something I would love to caress a lot. What are Mumblers? Mumblers are creatures from the first game, uh, I come well. A creature from Field Dagger 1. Those the, the purple things inside of the of the thicket. What do Mumblers actually do? Mumblers deal mind damage, Karas, with both hands, and also have a special attack called like a, a soul mind or something, in which they, they remove half of your maximum mind for the battle. Chillbro, contain yourself. Contain? What did I say? Did I say something uh, strange? I don't think so. So, let's eat once again the mushroom stew. We're fine, we're still here. I could just go for the moldy apartments immediately, but for the stretch in which I'm going now, that uses necromancy, I cannot go to the moldy apartments immediately, because uh, if I had if I had taken Mischief of Rats, then uh, I could have done that, but at the, at the current moment, it's pretty difficult. Can't wait for no wheelchair item only, no saves run. No, 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 Dalimir! After this, we take a break from hard challenges in Termina. After this, we take a break. I'm not gonna judge Frap, there are definitely worse creatures uh, to simp for, uh, for that people do. No, when I say it's fluffy, I'm... Oh, come on! Guys, uh, it's not like if I like one thing, uh, I mean it in that way. Not everyone thinks about that in this way, like... Guys, uh, whatever. I will do for pull 24 wheelchair list item only after Tanaka item only. Then I have time. Tanaka is not gonna get released uh, very soon. So I have time to, to properly rest and to destroy you once uh, freaking uh, Tanaka comes out. When Tanaka comes out, I am gonna do item only also because uh, I enjoy the concept of having a character specifically for item only. Thanks so much for the follow, Arsenit Soy. You said caress, bro? There is no going back from that statement. Uh, caress? Yeah, what's the problem with caress? Caressing a person is... Wait, uh, caress? Guys, whatever. You're playing Fear and Danger, almost everyone does think that way. 
No, they don't. Like, for example, I don't. But still. Here we are. The, the umbrellas... Oh, oh, the umbrellas are blocking me. Okay, let's enter by... Whoa! You weren't here! That's not true! You're lying! Whatever. Okay, he's... Uh, next to me on the door. We are fine. No! Yeah, petting. I meant it like petting. What do, what do you think? Uh, what 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 do you what do you think I said? Am I getting blocked by freaking umbrellas? Okay, we have to fight them then. I guess I guard in the normal turn. Hmm. If I guard, he's gonna deal me a lot of damage. But then I can uh, pipe a wrench toss in the extra turn if I stay alive. Let's see. 14 damage. That's good. Three bites. We are fine with one HP! One HP for the win. Let's go for the torso. Torso should be blocked. I think. It is indeed blocked. Let's heal ourselves very quickly. No wait, it was the wrong turn to heal! Oh, whatever. We, we would have been fine even without having a freaking... Uh, how is it called? Uh, Harden Heart. Let's use once again Mixed Herbs. I'm using a lot of items, I know, but it's not a problem. Alright. I think uh, with another uh, Combustion, uh, Parmancy Trick, I should be able to win. I think. But just to be extra sure, since I have to heal myself regardless, I'm gonna heal now. And on the next turn, I'm also gonna pass. Because he's gonna take damage from uh, Carousel of Close. We should be fine. Tender Bite, we should be fine. Come on, can you just stop? Did the burn finish? No, the burn didn't finish. Why didn't he take that? Oh, he has one health! Go to hell. No, he doesn't have one health! Bro! Why didn't he take burn damage? Am I really gonna die against an umbrella? Okay. <laughs> For one second, I thought I was gonna die against an umbrella. Let's enter back here once again. <laughs> Okay, we, we are poisoned, but that's not a problem. We have low mind, but that's not a problem. We have mixed herbs to heal ourselves, and that is not a problem. How are, are we fine? Okay, I moved down. I moved down. I'm late. Uh, uh, welcome, Bao. Welcome to see my friend. I think... Uh... Where am I? Precisely. Okay, I know where I am. Perfect. Whew. Finally. <laughs> okay, this was <laughs> this was tedious. A petition for fighting against Mumbler Balling. Ah. All right. Stupid umbrellas. But still, now we're fine. We are so fine. The the only problem we have is we cannot go through Tunnel Six to that place I wanted to go. We have to go through the village, but that is also gonna be fine because that means we can smash Caligra while we go back. You're gonna see. I have a plan. I have a big plan for this. For the next time, Sewjobs head are the actual three head at the bottom. I know, I know. Kill those three and they and they die. Torso has three k HP. Mazo. No, it it didn't have three k HP. It had way less than three k HP. It literally required me... No, I mean, uh, maybe it has 3k HP, not considering the percentage uh, you have to deal to it in order to kill him. Maybe it has only 15 per 50, uh, 1500, maybe. I have a big plan. Yeah, I do have a big plan, in fact. And am I gonna get attacked by uh, the lady because she's gonna go near me once I attack uh, Levi? I think it's gonna happen. We're gonna see. I don't have the pipe wrench equipped! Uh-oh. I don't have the pipe wrench equipped. Pyromancy trick. Pyromancy trick is definitely gonna destroy the Levi's head. Come on. I missed! Oh, but he missed too! Okay. Now, now... <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. If I miss, but he misses, it's fine. <laughs> okay. We're fine. Uh, oh, okay. She's blocked by the body. We cannot take the head for now. Later. Later. I freaking missed her! <laughs> well, Levi... <laughs> Whatever. You was asking about uh, where are you? So I'll tell you uh, you're in pre -heaval. Yeah, 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 I understood that later, I understood later. 
That that double missing was so funny. <laughs> that double missing was were generally so funny. Not even against someone that misses, Levi is able to win. <laughs> the Levi that the uh, this is a win for the Bremen army community, technically. All right. If we cannot go through the tunnel, see. Also, sometimes I like that uh, Olivia just moves uh, uh, f uh, f on the side. I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes she just moves on the side, literally. But still, at the at the current point, uh, we have access. Wait. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, guys. I may die, but I have one thing that I want to test. Okay, guys. Do you allow me to die because of one thing that I want to test? I want to test if I'm able to reach the train. In this moment, if I'm able to reach the train, like from the door of the sewers, I could be able to reach the train, I think. Mm, no. No dying? Okay, then no. What do you mean to, do you allow me to try? No, okay, no, 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 sorry, I forgot, I'm not able to reach the train, no, 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 no. Man up, not safe scamming. What do you mean not safe scamming? For a second, I, I forgot that I'm not able to reach the train from the, the sewer's door. For a, for, for a single second. Now I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. We are gonna go through the foundations of decay. We're gonna pass through a death mask. Through two death masks. But if my strategy works, we're gonna get a lot of party members. You will see. Olivia can use a ladder with one arm and no legs. Yeah, Olivia is the MVP. If you die in game, you die in real life. Wait, if I go from here, there is a problem, though. If I go from here... Hmm... There is one problem. So the fight with Caligura in that place is mandatory. Raccoon said the fight with Caligura in that place is mandatory. Wait, uh, is it mandatory? I don't think it's ma... I think he's just gaslighting me. He's definitely gaslighting me. No, 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 no. There is no way it's mandatory. No way. I tell you, no freaking way. I'm just gonna try. He is gaslighting me. What a dangerous enemy in your opinion? I think it's Platoon. Uh, my my danger, dangerous enemy in my opinion, I think... Uh, the Death Mask is a dangerous enemy. You have uh, no ways to deal with him until the very late game and uh, the possibilities of him appearing are very high. Because of how many times you may pass through zones if you don't know about him. Uh, I would, uh, you find him through glass shards uh, on first turn. He only vomits on the first turn. Hmm. I think I'm able to... No, I don't I think I'm able to juke Caligula. But I don't think it's a mandatory fight. Like, the head appears. If I wait until the head appears and then I go down, I should be able to do it. For masochism mode, there sure haven't been a lot of... The Mungo does not his due panic in the city. Yeah, true. He doesn't do the, the hanky panky thing. Yeah, on the, on the first turn he doesn't do that, that's true. What is gaslighting? Gaslighting is making me believe something that isn't true, essentially. The core of it, it's that. There are some other uh, slightly variations of it, but definitely, uh, but basically it is this. If Terraria and Fjernanger had a baby. Imagine if Terraria and Fjernanger had a baby. Imagine a... Uh, ch um, a uh, horizontal scrolling game of Fear and Anger, but with Terraria characters. It will be crazy. Pass through Caligula's place a few times for him to get out and fight. Oh, so maybe... Maybe... He's gonna... Oh, no. Just to be sure, let me prepare myself. Are we ready to deal with Caligula? No. But are we gonna do it regardless? Yes. Freaking yes. There is not much we can do for now. Let's try. Caligula appears down here, if I remember correctly. Best streamer, thanks. I <laughs> star, thanks. It's time. I'm gonna fully heal my mind just to be extra sure. Let's see what happens. And welcome, Caligula. Chuck my balls. Alright. Glass shard on the first turn, so. That's not what I Missing! I missed! <laughs> Come on! Ah. I could use a gasoline canister, though. Hmm. 
how do I deal with killing? I cannot escape, and I have the status effect that is gonna destroy me. But, uh, if I... A white vial heals that status, if I remember correctly. Let me try. This is experiment... No, no. I wasted a turn. Perfect. Wrench toss the freaking torso. Or something. Ah! Why did I freaking <laughs> miss the glass shards? Come on! If you guys are thinking it's on Google, then it's not real. There is a there is a way in which I could be able to not fight Caligula. It's difficult, but I guess uh, if I if I die regardless, uh, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go there using the the elevator. There are gonna be some uh, uh, death masks, but if I if I'm able to, to juke them, I can just get the party members and escape. Just ask Raccoon for help. Je Gecko! It's not like Raccoon is the only person in the world that knows how to play a, a freaking game. We are here to play, we are not here to be guided. If I want to be guided, I ask. But in this moment, I just want to play. Come on. Did we burn the... the did, did we burn the torso? We didn't. The head is burnt, but it's not enough damage. No, reset. Frap moment guest slider. Frap moment guest slider. On what? I'm not gonna deal with hanky panky bloody gems. I'm not gonna deal. I'm gonna deal with ha with hanky panky by not dealing with hanky panky. That's how it works. Let's craft. I forgot to craft the mixed herbs. Then marky vial, and we should be good. Pipe wrench. There is a gas leak. No, I'm not. What, when I mean it, I don't. I'm not gonna deal with hanky panky. I mean, I'm gonna have another strategy that is gonna make me circumvent. I clicked the wrong button, but we're still fine. This doesn't need a reset, to be honest. This absolutely doesn't need a reset. Let's just do something. Let's place a canister, and let's use a murky vial to be able to deal some damage. Come on! Boom. Now he should definitely be burnt. And I forgot the heart and heart! Uh, <laughs> okay. Time for, for time for uh, uh, jokes is over. Now I'm gonna go into focus mode. Because today I really want to beat Sergal. So now it's time for focus mode. So. I'm gonna do everything in the best way that I think. No worries, no worries. Now, it's the moment of doing that. Murky Vial. Burn him. Did I burn him? 48 damage, that's, that's not a problem. I think I burnt him. Let me see. I didn't... Uh, okay, I burnt the head. The head is not gonna be enough. But since you guys are saying so, let's try to, let's try to do it with the head. I'm gonna follow what you say, guys. The head has been burnt, we just, we're just gonna wait. Let's see what happens. Permanent trick. Not a problem, to be honest. It only takes 30 head, that's the, the 30 damage. That's the real problem for which the head is very slow to kill. No, it's not, uh, it's not good, it's not good, let's reset. We didn't say anything. No, someone said to go for the head, Gecko. Previously. Previously, someone said go for the head. S said the, something like go uh, look at the head if it's burned or something. The head uh, requires zero percent health to be to be killed. That's why. The poison damage is not good and burn damage is not good against that. Why am I keeping the pipe wrench if I cannot use it for now? Whatever. Now let's place the canister. I said about head. Yeah, it doesn't work, Karas, because uh, burn is uh, percentage damage. Is this gaslighting? No, it's not gaslighting. Karas just confirmed me. Gecko, <laughs> why in my stream so you are against me? <laughs> You're a non-believer always. Join the believer side one one time only. All right. No one said the head frap. Yeah, Karas said it. He just confirmed me. What do you mean? <laughs> are you gaslighting me once again? Did I burn him? I didn't even check. I didn't even check if I burned him, honestly. Let me see. I think yes. I saw 250 damage on the torso. We're fine. 
We are so fine. Now is the turn in which we use the light blue vial because we may take more than 80 damage. Come on. 72. Good. Easy. And now we have one... Oh, oh. I used the, in the incorrect button. We lose. We lose. Or... No, maybe we don't. We don't. We do lose. Oh, okay, no! We are still alive. We are still alive. That was all planned. That was all freaking planned. Gecko is a believer. Gecko is not a believer. There is no way Gecko is a believer. Boop. Now. Headmaster key. Let's sew off the head. Hugo, get the clothes on for only sake. Is this Karas in the chat right now, uh, Mr. Fropolo? Yeah. Uh, the Karas 257. Let's give credit to Raccoon. About what? I didn't use Raccoon strategy for this. What do you mean let's give credit to Raccoon? I literally used my strategy, the strategy that I always used. Whatever. So. Now we're still gonna take Necromancy. Or... Hmm... I may genuinely try to do the Moldy Apartments immediately. You know what, guys? Let's try to do the Moldy Apartments immediately. It takes way less time, and in this way we can already see if the strategy I want to do, for, I want to do to go for is gonna work. Trust me. Hugo Mastered Head. Yeah, he did. So. For the strategy, uh, for the Moldy Apartments solo, I need to take this. And then Pyromancy Trick. This is all I freaking need for the uh, solo strategy. There is also a possibility that I can kill the gold bros with this plan. But I'm not gonna do it for now. I just understood what it meant. What? In this specific strategy, we are gonna go immediately to the moldy apartments. The, s the sooner the better. We don't have uh, Vrench Toss, unfortunately. We lose uh, Vrench Toss with this strategy. But um, I think it's gonna be easy because... Oh, oh! Did I really click the incorrect button? <laughs> ah. If you kill the gold brothers, can you do save the Xen? No, you cannot, Mr. Top Batman. You cannot uh, interact with the with the freaking uh, uh, gold bros before he destroys the the Hexen. You cannot do that. Ten part finale. No, it's easy. It's easy. Trust me. Trust me. Now. I, I, I had problems way more difficult than this one. There is no way I'm gonna... I should probably leave the stream because there are uh, rockets in my town. I'll be okay, but I won't be really able to get focused in the stream. Okay, Julia. Hope you'll be fine. Thank you so much for coming. Write later on the Discord to, to tell us you're safe. Uh, just, just for precaution. See ya. The brothers need to be buffed. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Zeris. Welcome to the stream, my friend. It's time to use Murky Vial. We are lightning gas. <laughs> Boop. I should have burnt the torso. Let's see. Yes. Torso was indeed burnt. Mixed herbs for the win. We shouldn't take too much damage. Then we use the light blue vial. Oh, he missed. Good. Now, 75 health. It's gonna be healed from a mixed herbs, so we go uh, exactly to one to one hundred. We are still fine. Guard, and we should win in a few turns. Easy. Sixty nine damage, uh, nice. And I guarded again because I'm stupid. Why am I doing so many mistakes? Seventy eight. Okay, no, no, we are still fine. Now we use the light blue vial. I mean, I I spared one uh, one healing item doing this. I'm watching the past and some weird things were mentioned. The past? Which, uh, which weird things? Wait. Uh, what do you mean weird things? Why will you die when, you are, when I will stream? Uh, I mean, maybe it's destined to happen. Wh which, some, which weird things, uh, uh, Gecko? Tell me. Would I want to bump uh, uh, into him in a dark alley? <laughs> I, I'm sure you wouldn't want to dump into him in a, in a dark alley. For past I believed you... So I'm a believer 5% of the time. Uh, okay. Okay, that's a good... Uh, that's a very bad probability, honestly. Like, uh, 
like, uh, it's a probability that when it happens, you feel very pissed off, but when it doesn't happen, you just, you like, uh, are always tense about it happening. I don't know how to explain it. Are you making many mistakes because you're focusing too much on Hugo's juicy specs? Yeah, I confess it. Gecko is a wrench toss, exactly. Gecko is literally a wrench toss. You have to take Gecko as a wrench toss, and if you do that, he's gonna be your best friend ever. Now, let's go for the easy strategy, shall we? This should be the easiest strategy, if it works. Otherwise, it's gonna be a nightmare. Let's be careful to not click the incorrect button, so otherwise I'm gonna get blocked once again. Stupid machine, no one loves you. <laughs> The other problem that they see, in the multi in the multi apartments there are two problems. Possibility of mob to spawn and freaking neighbors. If the neighbors stun lock me in one angle, it's over. I have to remember to take the master key. If I take the master the pinecon. The P oh the pigeons, I, I did read the pinecon. I think I'm pinecon obsessed or something. So Gotta fight uh, Kaligma nuts. <laughs> No, not gonna fight it now. Thank you so much for the follow, Winter. Thank you so much, my friend. Not gonna fight Kaligma Nuts for now. We have a plan in which we're gonna go immediately to the moldy apartments. If you're able to do that, we don't even need to fight Kaligma for now. Why did you die to uh, Gold Bros three minutes ago? I I misclicked. That's how I died to Gold Bros. So, Levi is actually a problem now because we don't have a way to not take damage from him in a guaranteed way. We may blind him, but it's still not guaranteed. Uh, I mean, I have Mischief of Rats, but Mischief of Rats uh, sometimes misses. I think it's better if I just skip him for now and go back to take him later. I'm not in a hurry regardless, so... I guess it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so fine. That's the best burb noise they had. Yeah. I mean, that's a goal. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. I have to be careful. Uh-oh. Am I gonna get stuck? Am I stuck? No, I'm not stuck! Okay, Levi is, is gonna block the freaking wrong TL. Or not. And I'm stuck! Am I stuck? Yeah. How do we do this? We do this by fully healing ourselves, first of all. Let's use one blue, one single blue herb to get a little bit of health. It's not full health, but you are okay. You can't just wear a hardened heart and leech ring. I could, uh, actually. That's a good idea. No, wait. Oh, wait, I have the extra turn. Yeah, I can do that. But I don't have a way to deal... Like, I only have a pyromancy trick to deal damage. Uh, I don't like this. I don't, want, I don't want to take damage like this. But I guess I don't have any other choices. Yeah, let's use the, the Leechmonger ring. So, why can't you fight... Why can you fight with one arm? Because, uh, uh... What do you mean, why? Oh, wait, I forgot to heal my stamina. And I don't have 20 agility! It's not a guaranteed escape anymore! I lost a leg. No, it's a reset. Ah! <sighs> I seriously have to focus a little bit. I'm playing horribly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm genuinely sorry for how I'm playing right now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try, try to play better now. Sorry. I'm gonna focus a little bit more. Sorry, chat. For a second, I'm gonna stop looking at you. I'm not saying that you are the reason I'm being... Uh, I'm being... Uh, uh, I, I'm losing the focus. But regardless of that, I'm not gonna look at you for a second to get a little bit better, okay? I'm not saying it's your, it's your fault. I, I'm saying this particular phrase because I know Gecko is gonna say, "Now don't give us, the, don't give us the fault for you being stupid," or something. So it's time to use the Merkival, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm not blaming you guys, but for now, I will not look at you. So, did we put the burn? No, we didn't. <laughs> Reset. 
I love you guys. I freaking love you guys. But I, just because I want to provide you with uh, the solution to this uh, run, I freaking want to concentrate for a second. <laughs> Stop blaking the Angfrap, they did nothing wrong. See? That's exactly why I said it's not your fault. Thanks so much for the follow, Nahuel Gonzalez. Uh, Gon Gonzalez. Uh, uh, Gonzalez, yeah. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm not blaming them. <laughs> That's exactly why I specified, uh, you stupid moron. Alright. So. Guys, Frap is gone. Let's talk about how Ragnavaldo is the best character. I'll pretend I didn't read that, okay? I'll pretend I didn't read that so you guys can talk about it. No worries. Shadow people are in the, in the walls, but the voices aren't real, Frap. Yeah, absolutely. Please burn the freaking torso. It's unbelievable. Come on. Okay, the torso has been burned, finally. We can use the mixed herbs and we're fine. I'm gonna take some damage, not a lot, but still. We're fine. I'm gonna use the light blue vial to be sure I don't take too much damage from him now. Guard. Okay, twitching. Twitching is very good. We're gonna take like 70 damage. 62 damage is way better than I expected for this to go. Then. We are still over 80 damage, 80 HP. If we are over 80 HP, it's absolutely doable. And we are at 1 HP. Now it's gonna be a little bit of RNG. Please. Mm. Please. Miss! <laughs> 75 damage from Combustion, Jesus! Why, does, why sometimes he does like 30 damage and sometimes he does... Uh, 75 damage. Does it increase every turn with Scorched Earth? I think it's just a, a row, uh, like a, a percentage increase. It's not like it increases every turn, right? Mark's a really cool guy for teaching that to Rag. Mark? Oh, Mark's manship. <laughs> okay. Now. Let's still go for the Mischief of Rats uh, strategy. It's gonna be harder to deal with Levi, but uh, I'm gonna try with the Leechmonger plus uh, uh, freaking... Uh, Pyromancy trick. He shouldn't do uh, multi-hit attacks. I think Combustion has insane damage but can't kill you, only put you to 1 HP. Oh, Combustion can't kill you? I didn't know that. That's absolutely interesting, I didn't know that. I know way less about Terminal than I know about the first game. Okay. Rot, Agility... Oh, I can't. Uh, Master of Vermin, Mischief of Rats. And then... Pyromancy trick to put the dot. Scorched Earth, triples the fire damage, Jesus! I mean, yeah, the damage output uh, makes it seem like that, but still, triples the fire damage is so intimidating to hear. Imagine, guys, you play a game, oh, you know, if you do this, you triple the damage you deal. Jesus Christ. I wish I can drone myself in, the, in his personality. In which personality? Wait. Uh... Right, start focusing. You're right, Gecko. You are right. You're absolutely right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna look a little bit less to the chat until I get the Hunter Effigy. Then we can talk a little bit more. Then once I get to the multi apartments, I have to focus a lot, okay? Now, let's focus. <sighs> okay. We are ready, guys. We can do this. Let me drink a little bit. <coughs> It's so funny. Start focus. Let me drink a little bit. Mix nerves. And uh, I could also use the conde I could also prepare the condensed lavender for later. Just to be safe. Yeah. After that. It's time to deal with Levi. Let's put the Leechmonger ring and let's see if the strategy actually works. It should, right? Oh, let me use a condensed lavender. Wait. I was almost forgetting. See, if I was looking at the chat in this moment, I probably would have forgotten. I'm not. Uh, I'm not accusing you once again. I'm not accusing you. I'm not accusing you. I'm not accusing you. There was one Eon Star. It was in his video of face step. Of what? Stream sponsored by Water. Hello, Levi. Okay. Let's place the pyromancy trick on the head. Go. Weeping. Weeping scope is weeping. 
I mean, let's try to... I have 30 glass shards. Using one glass shard is not gonna ruin my day. I could deal more damage with the Pyromancer trick, but I guess it's, it's just better if I wait and guard. Weeping? Let me see how much do I heal with Pyromancy trick. Miss! Weeping! Levi, why today are you weeping so much? Boop. <laughs> Wait, uh, magic damage does it doesn't heal me. Magic damage doesn't heal me. Uh, were you guys lighting me or were you serious when you said uh, use Leechmonger plus uh, Hardened Heart? Uh, whatever. I guess we are fine. Weeping once again. <laughs> How much do you weep, uh, <laughs> Levi? <laughs> I feel generally sad for him in this exact moment. <laughs> that guy just kept weeping till he dead. <laughs> the guy freaking... <laughs> I'm so sorry for him. Ah, Poor Levi, this time I'm, I'm, I'm generally feeling sorry for defeating him. In this moment I wanted him to win. Why did the raccoon turn away from us when we were supposed to save us and teach Frap the way of Termina? Gecko, I'm able to play, no worries. I don't need Raccoon to that extent, like it's not if without Raccoon I cannot play, no. I'm a, I'm a player, I can do stuff, I can make decisions. I am gonna win, guys. I'm gonna win the challenge. And potentially, today. Potentially, we are not missing much. August and Pub are already dead. Shagnar is dead. Levi is dead. We are only missing 8 contestants to kill today. A circle, eight contestants. A circle, eight contestants. Pav is already dead in Mazo mode. Yeah, I come well. In Mazo mode, Pav is already dead. And the same goes for August. Only eight guys, exactly. Only eight people to kill. And one of them is uh, very easy, which is... Um, I could kill Marina with a glitch. I could kill Marina with a glitch, but I know you guys would roast me for doing that. So I will, I'm gonna try to fight Marina, actually. So. I should not have missed... I should not have, I should not have missed all the previous stream. No worries. No worries. Uh, they were dead on the start. Only Shagnar we killed... Uh, we killed... Uh, we killed... Uh, with a strategy. I'm always uh, right when it comes to focusing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to stream, uh, Fluffy TH three F zero X. Welcome to stream, my friend. Speaking of contestants, you need to kill balls. I I repeat, Caligula is not a problem for what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill Caligula after we deal with Sergal with the current strategy that I'm using. Since I took uh, Mischief of Rats, I have a way to stun the arms of Sergal. That's how we're gonna deal with him. I wouldn't roast you, it would be funny to see Marina dead after you run. I mean, uh, the problem is this. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to fight Marina immediately, I want to escape. But escaping makes her die. So I don't know, like, uh, because I don't want to fight her immediately. It may, me, it may make me die. I have another plan for that, for later. But doing it immediately, I, I really want to run. But if I run, she dies. Uh, I'm gonna think about it while I'm on the spot, okay? I'm gonna think about it on the spot, on the freaking spot. Now, let's not forget we have to pay attention about the, the freaking umbrellas. Also, my mind is going down very fast, Jesus. Another plan for dying. Uh, the other plan for dying is going immediately to the to the moldy apartments. Now, I've watched a couple of bots, but this is my first live. Happy to be here. Welcome to stream, Dan. I'm happy you're here, my friend. You can't give in to your delusions. I was going in the, cor in the correct way to, walk, to, look, to look in chat. You can't give in to your delusions anymore. It's time to wake up. You're right, but I'm gonna stop reading your message while I walk around in pre-evil. There is no Easter bunny. Uh, how was that phrase from Mega Mind? There is no Easter bunny. There is no. Uh, that phrase aged so badly because I think it's related to someone that passed away. I think. How was it called? Uh, come on. Can someone help me? There is no Tooth Fairy, and then there was another... Uh, there is no Queen of England! There it is, there is no Queen of England, that's the phrase. <laughs> there is no Queen of England. 
I'm sorry. Okay, that phrase aged so bad. Aged so freaking bad. Okay, we avoided the, the bell guy. Now, we enter into the, into the zone of the moldy apartments and we pray Jesus. Let's use uh, wine vial, I guess. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay attention to these small details. Do I have a pipe? I do have a pipe. I'm gonna use all the stuff that I obtained. And we're also gonna go full health for this. Let's use two blue herbs. Now we should have the sewer. Yeah, I took the sewer winch uh, before even uh, starting the the stream. Yeah, I remember it. We should be able to reach it. There are the fecal hounds. They are not a real pro. They were they were very near to the exit uh, today. Also, I need to pee a lot. If I'm able to deal with the mob and escape from the moldy apartments, I'm gonna take uh, one minute break in order to go to pee. Okay, guys. Here we are. Ah, why are you blocking my way? Ah, it's lagging so badly. Okay, come here. Oh, it's actually blocked. Oh, then come up here. Oh, he cannot enter in this circle. Okay, okay, okay. Now I understand. Okay, then we have to juke him in another way. Hello? Hello! Goodbye. Let's see if we are unlucky once again with the mob spawn, okay? Let's see if we are freaking unlucky once again with the mob spawn. And... Uh, <laughs> We had our answer. Let me escape for a second. Uh, who is this? This one I may actually kill it. This one I may genuinely kill it. Let's try. Mischief of rats. Come on, stun. Stun. I think I did stun the important parts. Uh, I did stun basically everything. I could kill the mullet, uh, but I think I have to kill the left arm before doing anything else. No, let's go for the torso. What is better for this fight? I think it's better if I kill the torso. Was it burnt? It was indeed burnt. He's still uh, uh, stunned. I'm gonna reset Mischief of Rats just to be extra sure. Please. I think I only was able to attack the mallet with it. The the right arm doesn't have mischief anymore. Because of that, I'm gonna use a condensed lavender immediately. Then. Permanency trick is already applied. The only thing I can do is, is just use mischief of rats or wait. And I think I'm gonna wait. Slam. 15 damage is containable. I made the wrong, the, the correct decision, I think. Now, Mischief of Rats, once again, I need to stun the Meat Mullet arm. Come on. I think I did. Let me check. Everything is stunned once again. Okay, we just wait. I don't need to do anything in particular in this precise turn. Uh, yeah. In the extra turn also, right? Because, uh, yeah, all the parts are still stunned. I don't really need to be be scared and try to reset them immediately. I can reset them in, them in this extra turn that I have here. Mischief of Rats, once again, go! I also killed a leg. Good. I'm using like a 200 mind to defeat a simple enemy. I may replace the Hardened Heart with a freaking uh, Battle Stone. To gain something from it. And... Uh, we're good. Ah! Hello, mob. How are you doing? Let me enter. Okay. We are inside of the freaking moldy apartments. Now, the problem is, there is no reason whatsoever to enter here and do stuff. Because if the mob is alive, we cannot leave. I think the best plan now is to attempt to defeat the mob. Okay, guys? Let's go full uh, health and mind. We have to kill the mob. Welcome, Dexy. Welcome to the stream, my friend. We are just gonna try if this plan works. If it doesn't work, 
I'm gonna go back to my usual strategy with necromancy. We are so freaking ready. I'm not playing around. Let's make uh, more mixed herbs and more condensed lavender. Also, let's start with the freaking hardened heart because we are gonna take a lot of damage. Let's go. Hello, guys. Miss you for threats. Please! Okay! 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 That's good! They are both stunned. I'm gonna use another Mischief of Rats to reset the stun count and to potentially stun even the rifle guy. Good! Everyone is stunned. Now. Now we place the freaking gasoline canister. Aiming wildly once again. Wait! They are still stunned. Oh! He wasn't stunned. Okay. In the extra turn, I think I use par either Pyromancy Trick or... Uh, mm. I don't need to be greedy. I don't need to be greedy. In this turn, we're gonna heal ourselves with a Condensed Lavender. Now, uh, Mischief of Rats once again. Come on. Boom! Boom! Everyone is stunned. Good, I think it's finally time to pop the freaking canister. Pop it! Rifleman was burnt. They are still not burnt. I think I can take one turn to use a combustion on uh, uh, Pyromancy Trick on the meat grinder to deal to put burn, maybe. No, wasn't burnt. Mischief of Rats once again, please. Okay. Where they stand? They were. Okay, now let's do something. I want to prepare for a plan B in case I miss the stun, okay? Was it uh, blinded? No. It wasn't blinded. So I should go once again for it. Yeah. Is it blinded now? It's still not blinded, but I need to pre prepare the mischief of rats. This is where we apply the strategy, guys. We have a permanent way to... Mm, almost permanent, I mean, when I finish the mind, it's gonna be Jover. And then you can't see if it's blinded or not. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Then I'm gonna hope it is. And I'm gonna do the same on the half cocooned 8. Can you branch those at the arms of the Sow and Gunman? No, I cannot uh, attack the arms. I can only attack the, the, the enemy itself. I cannot attack the single arms. Unfortunately, no. Now, let's try to use the Pyromancy Trick once again. Please. Burn him. Wasn't burnt. They still have one turn of stun. This is the turn of the stun. Let's try. Burn! Okay! I burnt the middle guy. Let's stun them once again. Good. Now. We do the same, and we actually burn the, the 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 one on the right. Yeah. Come on. Everyone is burnt. Now it's just a matter of time. I still didn't glass shard the one on the left. It's time to glass shard the one on the left. I cannot see if they're blinded from what uh, someone said, but I think I should be good. Let's reset Mischief of Rats just to be extra sure that we are doing great. Mischief is not cheating. What do you mean is cheating? <laughs> not that I get something that let me not die immediately. It's cheating. Of course. Now I really... I could just wait. What can I... I, I want to be sure the one in the middle is be, has been blinded, so I'm gonna use another glass shard. And he was not blinded and I lost an arm. I mean, maybe he was not blinded. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I lost an arm, but we don't care. We don't have... Uh, in this strategy, we don't freaking have the stupid... Uh, how is it called? The stupid... Uh, wrench toss. We are not gonna get it. We use a condensed lavender. 
then. Is the stun still pre The stun is still present. Uh, maybe I shouldn't... Uh, I shouldn't do that. I could use another... No, there is no need to use another canister. We can generally just wait. I'm gonna use a dark blue root to counter the bleed... Uh, the bleeding effect, okay? That's why I'm using... Uh, that's why I'm using it. Miss you for threats. Yeah, I could use a nettle. Actually, I could use a nettle. You're right. Let's use a nettle. Freaking meat grinder guy. You're gonna go down. I think it doesn't... Uh, he doesn't take more damage from... Uh, whatever. Let's wait. I have another skill that deals damage, but it requires one rev point. I may use it. I have, I have almost never used it. Let's test it, okay? Let's test this skill. Rot. Huh? Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, interesting. I I didn't know this. I generally didn't know this. That's very interesting. Wait, it's way easier like this. It's not cheating. What are you? What do you mean, guys? I'm not cheating in this. Okay, he turns into a mullet guy. Easy. I mean, it's still a problem, but uh, with uh, a lot of time, we're gonna be able to deal with him. Also, Rot did the shit damage, so I'm not gonna use it again for damage things. Hmm. I'm gonna use a small mind heal, such as wine. Good. They're taking very low damage. Why the, dam the damage decrease? Wait! Uh! Rot decreased the, maxim the maximum HP. And so, now they're taking less damage from dots. I sabotaged myself. In small words, I literally sabotaged myself. Okay, let's try to deal some damage. They're still stunned. Let's do another permanent trick. Missed. Miss your threats. I sabotaged myself. Jesus. Okay. The one in the middle is, is not stunned. The one in the middle, I have, to, I have to use it again. I have to use it again, or he's gonna deal some damage to me. Come on. Good. That's why we play, guys. That's why we play, to discover these things. I sabotaged myself because of what I used. That's my mistake. I learned from it. Interesting. Boop. I may seriously make, make use of some artificial souls, to be honest. Like, I genuinely have an idea. This is an extra turn, so if I- Oh wait! Uh, my, uh, I have to stun them all. I have to stun them all now. <laughs> Alright, now we do something. We remove the hardened heart and we put uh, the artificial soul. With the artificial soul, everything is gonna cost like 30% less. Especially mischief of rats. Hello? 24, yeah. And 7. Let's deal some more damage. Yeah. Even if I deal some damage, I'm still gonna be able to use two mischief of rats in the worst case scenario. Immediately use another one. I could have waited another turn, but uh, I think it's just fine like this. I don't want to keep another uh, other stuff. I want to keep my 100% escape chance. Because uh, after we deal with the mob, the bellend that is near them may attack me immediately. And if I don't have 100% escape chance and the bellend just attacks me, it's Jover. That's why I'm not keeping other stuff to the small things amulet, okay? It's, it is taking long, but I want to be sure that I'm gonna win. They're still stunned, that one is not stunned. I'm gonna use another mischief. Come on. Still not stunned. Let's try once again. Come on. Stunned. Yes. Now, let's deal some more damage. They are seriously a boss. They are very annoying. Very anno- Oops. Wrong button. Am I gonna die because of it? Probably. Please. Okay, one is dead! Oh, oh, that one is gonna attack and I don't have a way to deal with the... Oh, oh. I don't have a way to deal with him. 
I don't have enough mind to use... I have to hope either he misses because I used the glass shards... Or this just happens and we are fine. Come on. Boom. Where they stun? Yes. Uh, Pyromancy trick uh, on this one. Now we use another mischief because uh, the, um, the stun ran off from uh, the, the middle one. I want to be extra sure. I will copy Punky and Opinion from now on because they are good and I'm, unity, and I'm for unity in chat, but sometimes I will still go lizard man mode. Lizard man, uh, lizard man mode. What do you mean? Okay, so more damage to the one on the right. Come on. Hey, 63 damage! The one on the right took 63 damage. It means it has one health. If I understood how does the game work. Let me see. They are both stunned and this is an extra turn. I may seriously think about uh, try to, trying to execute him. I mean, no, 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 no. There is no need to. He's gonna die regardless when I use Mastery uh, Mischief of Rats. If he has one HP. No problem. Now we use Mischief of Rats and he should die. Come on. Yes! We have only missed 51? Is it over? I'm gonna go to a deserved bathroom pose. Okay. Stay here for one second. I'm back. Hello there. Also, let me let me let me open the window. There is a bed. Uh, it's smelling here. Okay. Now. Whew. <sighs> the piece was the most satisfactory thing that I had today. The most freaking satisfactory thing I had today. You cannot understand the satisfaction I proved. Well, peeing after defeating the freaking mob. Okay, now <laughs> I don't have the arm anymore. That's pretty funny, but you're fine. Now put leaf again. What do you mean put leaf again? Oh no! <laughs> wash your hands. I did wash my hands. What do you mean? I did. I did. I did. No worries, Pistachios. I finally beat the game today. Good job, Samurai Senpai. Good job, my friend. When are you gonna do Olivia wheelchairless Mazo mode? Now, Master Key. Oh, oh, I don't remember the combination. So I'm gonna open the video that, that says the combination, guys. You, you better don't say anything about. Oh, hey, you're cheating. I, I remember. I know the combination. I just remember them in this exact moment. When are we doing a blind determine? Guys, serious question. And no, wait. I'm gonna make a poll for this. Would you guys be interested to watch a blind playthrough? Because remember. In a blind, you, you don't see anything. Blind playthrough of Termina. Yes. No. Like, uh, the problem is you're not going to be able to see anything in that moment. You're literally not going to be able to see anything. 
Finally, finally managed to join uh, Frapolo. What the hell happened to Olivia? Welcome to Rondo Anvil. Welcome to stream. Uh, Olivia defeated the mob. That's what happened to Olivia. That's literally what happened to Olivia. Yes, he's winning. Uh, why you guys want to watch a freaking blank screen for uh, four hours each day? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm gonna leave the poll there for a second. In the meantime, let's go to the to the washing machine because now we have the se the part two of the difficult part of the moldy apartments. Uh, okay, this strategy with the mischief of rats works, by the way. That's good. I was so lucky to get seven ratkin heads. Set a password. So, uh, one, three, uh, two, six, eleven. Perfect. First try, guys. First freaking try. Let me stop the poll. Okay. We are, I'm gonna think about making a blind determine, okay? Let's enter. Olivia is moving with the force of will, guys. This is literally force of will. Now... I'm gonna stay silent because there is the best soundtrack of Termina. Can you learn symbols and craft some books? Uh, you can, Samurai, you can. Only 52 votes. Yeah, I mean, if the people don't vote, they're not interested in votes, so... I don't need to keep it up uh, forever. There it is, Marco. You stupid freaking moron. Uh oh. You lost the arm? I lost the two arms, Victor, actually. Two arms. Here we are. I have to go to the end of the room, if I remember correctly. I absolutely love this track. It reminds me so much of pain. Of Oh, of so much pain. Yeah, I, I agree. Absolutely agree. Especially in the moment in which there is the violin. Wait, uh, just for precaution, do I have the hardened heart? I do have the hardened heart. Good. What was the vote about? I was gonna, gonna uh, Van, someone tell me, can someone tell me please? About making a blind playthrough of Termina. Like when I say blind, uh, I mean literally blind. Love this music, freaking love this music, Jesus. Love it. Okay, I should be fine. Come on. Good. How am I gonna go back? Oh, I can just fall from the ground. Konnichiwa, kawaii desu, domo arigato. Welcome, Songwang. Welcome to stream, my friend. Alright, now there should be Marco. If I remember correctly, Marco is gonna appear. Marco? Marco, 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 where are you? Was this the correct room? I think yes. I think if I follow that neighbor, I'm gonna arrive to the correct place. I did! I did, I did, I did, I did. That's the ladder. That's the ladder. Good. Uh, how's it going, uh, Songwang? Uh, we are almost there. We have two effigies. Uh, two freaking effigies. We just have to leave them all the apartments and deal maybe with the bell. And uh, after that, we are good. Uh, come on. All the neighbors should be on the right side. So here I should be free. Ah, uh, the sound. Come on. Come on. Holy Marcoroni! <laughs> I love this music. Jesus, I love this. Even if it's the freaking 20th time I, 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 I hear it, it still uh, gives me goosebumps. I love it. Here we are. We done it. We did it, guys. We escaped from the moldy apartments. Now we just have to deal with the bell lens. Also, wait. Uh, inside of this room, there is a... Mm, I'm afraid if I enter the room, Marco is gonna appear from somewhere and block me or something, so no. I'm not gonna enter for that reason. I never faced the Marco Moonscorch, the outside of the tower. Uh, did you know Caligura is Italian? Yeah, it seems like an Italia guy. He seems a mafioso. Do you play uh, RimWorld? No, I've never played RimWorld. What's that? Like, I, I heard it, but I never, like, tried to check it out. And here we are. <sighs> Is Caligula? Yeah, it's, it seems a mafioso. Literally. He seems part of mafia. Thank you for Apollo. Uh, thanks to your video, I failed my marriage and my wife wants to divorce me. <laughs> Glad I, I was able to help her. Did you did you pray to Grogroff with her on a, on a circle in which you, you two already played, uh, prayed to Sylvian or something? Remo remote is Kino. You can commit war crimes. Ooh, interesting. We don't think about that, though, for now. Because... Uh, we're only missing one effigy, and the effigy we're missing is the easiest one. It's literally in front of the entrance, but we have to deal with a Belland. Belland may still destroy us. Even with all the stuff that we have. 
even with the fact that we defeated the mob, Bellant may still kill us, unfortunately. But we have 100% escape, escape chance. So, if you're, if you're able to not get stunlocked by two Bellants at the same time, we should be good. We all have to deal with Bellants sometimes. Oh, he's immediately at the end, at the exit. Wait, uh, is there only one? There is a- oh no, there are, there, is, there are two, but one is blocked by the corpse. Okay, hmm. How do I freaking do this? I cannot keep the wheelchair. The problem is if I, if I miss both the spear hand and the hand that uses choke, it's over. Hmm. I have a I have a birch. Can I birch up the bellend, guys? Guys, tell me. Can I birch up the bellend? Please, tell me. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay. I have an idea. Okay. In this moment, the other bellend should follow me here, bro. Bro, can you follow me? I think he did follow me. No, he didn't. Wait, actually. Ah! Stop! Wait! That one went down? Am I able to escape? No. Hey! 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 Okay, okay, okay. There is a fecal hound up here, but I should be able to juke him. Uh oh. Come on, come on, let me enter inside of the sewers. Oh, oh. We are not gonna use the bird trap because we had a, a little help from up there, from freaking space or something. Okay, from here we have access to the church. We don't need to go. Wait, uh, is there Caligula? Ca Caligula? Ca Caligula? Caligula? There, there is the beekeeper. Where do I? I think if I go up. I'm able to reconnect to the other one. Here there should be the old lady. Is the old lady still here? Ah! Uh... Mm, no! Extra turn, okay. Is she immune to... Mm. 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 Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. No. Not gonna go back that up there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we cannot go there from here. We just go to the shopping district and we're fine. We have to juke the bell and a little bit, but we are fine. You use her skill to defeat her, this is funny. Yeah, but no. I missed the Mischief of Rats. Maybe she's immune or something, or maybe I just was uh, unlucky with RNG. But just to be sure, I'm gonna go up here. It's not a long road to reach the other place in which there is a, a freaking sewers connection. It's just here to the shopping district. Ah. <sighs> You held your breath so hard, Purpura. You cannot understand. My heart stopped moving. My heart literally stopped moving. I love every time. Uh, uh, uh. Come here. I need to juke you, my friend. Okay. A uh, juke. Juke is a big word, but still. We should be fine. 
I should have enough time for her, yeah. I definitely have enough time. Today I was, uh, while I was doing my my uh, workout, I, I listened to, uh, I, I, I remembered it because I said time, I listened to an Adventure Time AMV, AMV with a song that I loved, it's called Unstoppable, from I think uh, the score, why am I going down there? Why am I going down here? Oh wait, no, no, it's, it's correct, I have to go down. I have to go down. Okay. I was listening to listening to a song from the score which is called Unstoppable. It's crazy! I loved him so I loved it so much, Jesus, you have no idea. Frap is working out frequently. Oh uh, yeah, I, I usually try to work out from three to four times a week because uh, otherwise uh, all the stuff that I eat uh, is gonna make me become uh, in a state in which I don't want to become. Not because it's bad, but because I don't like it. Not because it's bad, guys. There is no problem if you want to to, to, to be like that. Thank you so much for the follow! Uh, infected Rage LP, thank you so much, my friend. There is no problem, really, if you want to do that, but uh, I don't I don't like uh, to be uh, overweight. So I try to stay... I try to do workout, etc. I was forced to sing Undefeatable by one of my mods, and I love her so much because of that karaoke session. Undefeatable, you mean the uh, Sonic song? The one, uh, I'm hanging... Uh, wait, uh, I cannot sing it. I cannot sing it, otherwise I'm gonna get copyright striked. Alright. Uh, here we are. Fatollo, no, no. <laughs> Fatollo? Fatollo? Fa fatto... Eh? Fatollo. Oh, Fatollo, you're saying fat, Frappo. <laughs> Probably ca campaigning a healthy life with working out and drinking water. Yeah, I, I only drink water in the day, I never eat. No, I'm joking, I also eat. Alright. Karaoke cannot be copyrighted. Um, yeah, it can, uh, Rebel Wolf. I watched uh, an article on Chrome and they said if you do karaoke, uh, you can potentially be copyright striked. So I just, just for precaution, I'm not gonna do it. Like, um, it's not confirmed, but you know, everyone says everything and the opposite of everything. But uh, by the way, guys, uh, we have almost arrived to Sergal. We almost uh, arrived to Sergal. Now the question is... Uh, repeat the name of that Unstoppable song. I wanna listen to it uh, right quick, uh, or just type it out uh, for me to copy and paste. Uh, the score. Like, score. Like, uh, you know, the points that you can sign if uh, taking a game. Well, thank, you so, thank you so much for the follow, Flint the Dra Dragoon. Score. Like the point that you can get in a game. Fat 3 what? Graso Frapollo. <laughs> <sighs> what do you do in your workouts? I do plank, I do... Uh, how is it called in English? I... I use the... Uh, how is it called? You know... Uh, uh, crunches, I think they're called, but it's not crunches. Like, uh, I use the machine on which you do crunches and I use uh, uh, weights. I use weights, uh, I, I do different uh, type of... Uh, um, how is it say? Uh, I I don't know the gym. Uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know the gym vocabulary. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly how to explain them. Unfortunately, pool. Uh, maybe it's pool. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it is pool. Uh, pull up bar. It's not a bar. It's the normal weights. Uh, the single hand one. <laughs> we may say the single hand one. I'm talking like it's a fear and danger uh, gameplay. The single hand uh, uh, bar. Trap is rag IRL. No, I'm not rag. I'm more like Kahara, but not even Kahara. My plan is to become like rag. Because rag has a very good physique. So, I mean, I think everyone can agree objectively Kahara is like a, is the most good physique ever, ever seen in a, in a protagonist in a game. Like, maybe there is, I don't know. Uh, which other games have a protagonist with this, uh, with this good physique? I don't know. Mm. Can you think about something? Kahara. Now Kahara is not uh, is not uh, doesn't have muscles to that extent. Uh, Kahara is way way less uh, muscles than than Ragnavaldr. You want to be a, a worst character? I mean, no. When I say Ragnavaldr is bad, I'm only referring to the part of the gameplay. On the on the uh, story aspect uh, and even on the aesthetic, I really like Ragnavaldr. Don't take this out of context. Don't take this out of context. Don't take this out of context. Please. Dante from the Devil May Cry series. I mean, Dante is in a good form, but uh, doesn't have muscles. He's in a good form, but uh, doesn't have muscles, Dante. Ragnavaldor literally has uh, shoulders bigger than a head. Of course, Ragnavaldor needs that buff physique to spam bloodlust. <laughs> yeah, this is a win for the Ragnavaldor bros. Ragnavaldor, aesthetically speaking, I love it. 
I'm gonna... I'm never gonna repeat this if you ask me, but uh, Ragnavalder, aesthetically speaking, is uh, very good. I love it. So, like, it's one of the coolest designs of the first game. He, Pocket Cat, uh, Anki... There are a, a very few designs that I like. I don't like a mus muscular man, <laughs> come on! I like the design! Ah! There is a, you know, in the previous stream, guys, uh, there is an out-of-context moment that someone made in which I said, I like men. You can, uh, you can combine this one with that one if you want. <laughs> you can literally combine them and see what happens. Crap is one of Rag Bros. Ah, uh, uh, whatever. Do you like Jojo? I watched, like, uh, three seasons of Jojo. It's one of the worst animes I've ever seen. I don't know about the manga, I know the... the the drawings are cool, but the anime is one of the worst anime I've ever seen. Baki, I know I don't want to try Baki because uh, one of my friends uh, uh, used as a premise that uh, it's an anime without uh, that doesn't want to be uh, uh, interesting and deep, and with that premise I can I cannot expect anything from freaking Baki. I like JoJo. Sure, Dark Raccoon, you can like Jojo, it's not like if I say that I don't like it, you cannot like it. You can like what you want. There's a moment in your bones when the fire takes over, blood is running, heart is pumping. Uh, yeah, that's the song, that's the song random meme, exactly. There's a moment in your bones where, that's, I love it. Huh? Uh, sorry. Uh, what's Akira? Akira, I really want to watch it. I'm just waiting for the correct moment, but yeah, I really want to watch Akira. Bestermina character, in your opinion? Bestermina character... Uh, mm, I think Bestermina character, in my opinion, is Marco. It's not the best Termina character, uh, over, uh, objectively, but just in my opinion. Like, uh, objectively, potentially, the best character could be either uh, uh, Abella or Marina or something like that. I don't remember. Dark Raccoon told me, but I forgot. But the problem is, uh, I like more Marco and I think it's more abusive. I love the, the double attack mechanic and also the fact that the, his attack is not elemental. So, while, yeah, he doesn't deal increased damage to anything, he doesn't deal lower damage to anything. What's your favorite anime in that case? Attack on Titan. My favorite anime for now is Attack on Titan. In the past, uh, I don't remember. But still... I don't watch a lot of animes. Oh, another anime that I watched that was really fantastic is Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist, but I watched the Brotherhood version. A lot of people told me I should watch, watch the other one, but I enjoyed the Brotherhood regardless. Like, uh, Full Metal Alchemist never has uh, peaks, but never has uh, downgrades. So, it's one of the most uh, uh, constant animes that I've ever seen. I love it for that reason. Gans, I watched Gans, Dark Raccoon, I love Gans. Thank you so much for mentioning it. Gans is also one of my favorite ones. I freaking love it. Like, uh, I didn't watch the manga, and I know the anime ends prematurely. And uh, I was watching the manga in one moment, but I still didn't finish it. I was arrived at, like, at the arc. Uh, I know, I don't, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. I was watching the manga in the uh, reading the manga in the past. If you ever get to the mood uh, of, for an emotional anime, then watch uh, To Your Eternity. All right, uh, I re I'll keep in mind that one. I will keep in mind that one. Since you are Italian, have you ever heard of Senseiya? Of course, I've heard of Senseiya. In Italian, it's called Cavalieri dello Zodiaco. Senseiya in Italian is called uh, Cavalieri dello Zodiaco. This is your life now, guys. Okay, we're gonna wait until the food debuff goes away. What is wrong with Olivia? No, she's just chilling. What do you mean? She's just chilling. You like Gens and not Jojo. Minus 10 points. Deal with it. Cry about it. All right. It's time to juke the priest. Hello? Boop. I could fight him. Because on the first turn he doesn't attack. I could use Mystery for Frats to kill him. But for now, I literally want to see if I'm able to kill Sergal. Uh, good good day, sir. How are you doing? How, how are you doing, Poe? If I escape, uh, he's gonna despawn, I think. Good day, good day, good day. No, 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 no. No need to put your PP on your on my face. No need to put your PP on my face. <laughs> I've never heard Dore Doro. One time a friend of mine told about it, but I never... Ah! I never watched it. I need the... Uh, Poe to go away from here. I don't like Poe. Please. 
I cannot believe there are people who enjoy the Gantz anime. The manga is good, but Gon's animation did a terrible job. I mean, the anime is not terrible, I liked it a lot. There were some moments in which I was a little bit eh, but still, frappuello. <laughs> okay, the pod disappeared. Alright. Is this enemy only available in the muzzle mode? No, it's available even in other modes uh, if you uh, trigger the lamp in Dr. Kefir, but there are some spawn points that are only available in muzzle mode from what I understood, basically. No need to put your pee, -pee on my face, we can't take it out of context. No, you can't! I'm pretty confident you cannot take your uh, PP, uh, PP uh, out of my face uh, out of context. I'm pretty sure you cannot. Please turn around. No, he saw me. He freaking saw me. All right, guys, uh, I have a confession to make. Let me, let me, no, not a confession. Let me explain. I don't want to fight Marina now and I want to escape. The problem is if I escape, she dies. Do we fight her or do we escape? I am afraid I'm gonna die if I face Marina, because I'm not prepared and I don't remember what does she do. I freaking don't remember. Fight... Uh, or escape. I'm gonna make a poll, of course, guys. I'm making a poll. Alright. The poll is up. No glitches. I know I said no glitches, but... Uh, I, I like I'm not supposed to to fight her right, right now. I would just uh, escape. Can't escape escape from crossing fate. No. Uh, then at least tell me how does she work? You already know how this poll is going. No, actually, fight is only fifty five percent. There is a chance. There is a small chance. It's increasing, guys. Guys, please, please. Want me to join voice chat? No. It's gonna be one shot! Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna use v Mischief of Rats and pray Jesus. Also, since I'm not gonna escape, I don't need the second small things amulet. I can just put Artificial Soul to, to require less health to use uh, spells. Alright, then. Pipe to smoke tobacco. Her cocoon causes damage if he engraves sigil on his face. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. If you kill her head in the first turn, she won't do anything. Uh oh. I don't think I'm able to kill the to kill the head on the first turn. I generally don't think I'm able to kill the head on the first turn. But I'll try my best. Alright, I'm gonna use the mixed herbs before entering in battle so I get also the region. Let's go. Pray to Jojo and Otena stand. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, wait, I don't have 100% evasion in this moment. Do I fight him? I guess it's easier to fight him. Taco, uh, big damage, I didn't like that. Let's try another time. Come on. Did I stun the important body parts? Stun, 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 stun. Everything is stunned. Literally everything is stunned. Let's use a freaking mixed herbs. Alright, we're fine. Permanency trick on what? I have to kill the ra Rectus Abdominis. What do I have to kill? Uh, the bubbling abdominal... Bubbling? What is the bubbling ab... Oh, this one. Boom! It's not dead! Once again! It's still not dead! I was able to burn it and it's not a bu bu Oh no! It's not bubbling anymore! It's easier if I just escape. I, I can set up this better. Just to be sure I'm gonna stay like this. Hmm. I think I'm approached by Marina once I get m nearer to the stairs. Okay, fight me. Uh oh. No! I wanted to put the region on me! No! Can I open the menu? I can't. 
so I can't escape ga- Oh, but I can't escape regardless! Uh, I could use the skill to escape, but uh, no. I can't escape regardless, okay. Mischief of rats, I guess. Let's hope! Please! Please! What is it? Uh, grow growth? What does grow growth do, guys? I didn't stun the cocoon. What does grow growth do? Black o Black orb! Can I stun the cocoon? Hmm. No. Don't tell me the cocoon. Okay, the cocoon is stunned. The cocoon is stunned. There is only the head. Does the head do something, guys? Tell me. Does the head do something? Please. Please, does the head do something? Please. Tell me. Does the freaking head do something? Focus body and then cocoon. Stun to victory. Does the head do something, guys? Loving whispers. Does an attack. It looks at you. Hit the cocoon. That's all I've seen. Head to. Okay. I'm gonna pretend the head doesn't do anything then. Let's try to burn the cocoon. Loving whispers. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If it's only loving whispers, we can outsmart this later. Now, condensed lavender. I only have uh, two more condensed lavenders. I have to uh, make good use of what I have. I really need to burn that stupid cocoon. The less turns I spend in this battle, the better. I missed a scratch. Hmm. This is bad. I need to use Mischief of Rats once again. Come on. Was it stunned? Cocoon is stunned, and uh, almost everything else is stunned as well. Can I use Rot? No, wait, the rot uh, is in contrast with the mischief, with the pyromancy trick. Let's burn the cocoon. Okay, cocoon... Uh, maybe it's burnt. Uh, we're gonna discover in a second. Cocoon was not burnt. Thank you so much for the follow. The, dead po the death post. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay. Tear her fucking head off. Should I? I want to burn the cocoon before doing anything else. Mm. Can I burn the cocoon? Or is it uh, immune to burn? You should focus the body first. Hmm. Alright. Let me... Let me burn the torso then. Boom. Is it burnt? Torso was burnt! Good. Everything is still stunned, but I think just for extra precaution, I'm gonna start uh, using uh, Mischief of Rats immediately. 450 damage, that's good. The torso is gonna die, probably. So that means it has 4500 health, by the way. 4500! Jesus. Everything is still stunned. I may... Cocoon kill you. <laughs> Let's burn the cocoon. Scratch. I don't really care. Cocoon was not burnt. I think the cocoon is immune to 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 freaking uh, to freaking uh, burn at this point. It's time to use mischief of rats. What happened to Olivia? Olivia is uh, is 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 just chilling. Olivia is generally just chilling. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I don't know. Thank you so much, my friend. Everything was stunned. Everything important, at least. I'm gonna heal myself a little bit. The torso is gonna take damage regardless. Loving Whispers. Yeah, the, the heal from Loving Whispers is uh, useless. Uh, still one turn. I can try... All of our parts are 80% of, of taking fire damage. 80%. Let's burn the cocoon. Please. Burn the freaking cocoon. It's still not burnt! Uh, how is it possible? I'm gonna use a small mind recovery item. I don't have a small mind recovery item, unfortunately. No. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Pyromancy Trick and in the extra turn, I use the Condensed Lavender. Wait! Uh, I burnt him! I saw it! 
I saw it. I burnt it. I burnt the freaking cocoon. Okay. Now we're talking. Mischief of rats. Please hit. Please. Did I hit it? I think I only missed the head. Let me double check if I did hit him. Yeah, I did. Everything except the right arm has been stunned. It's time to use our last condensed lavender. After this, it's gonna be a matter of uh, uh, conserving the resources. Okay, the body's dead. No more scratch, there is only the cocoon. Cocoon, which is currently stunned. I'm in the extra turn, so it's better if I do something and then maybe in later I convert. I'm gonna use Mischief of Rats to try to maintain the status. Come on. Uh, did I reset the stun? Yeah. Two turns stun. Now, we remove the hardened heart. We place Artificial Soul and Battlestone. The Cocoon host is vulnerable now. Is it? Still one turn. Uh, let's reuse Mischief of Rats. Come on. Also, wait, no. I cannot do this uh, because later I need to I need to have double uh, uh, speed to escape from the battle against the the pillar man. Is it still? It's not stunned anymore. I have to stun it. I have to stun it now. N please. It's stunned. Hmm. We finished the healing. I should have crafted more condensed lavenders. I should have definitely crafted. I should have definitely crafted more condensed lavenders. I cannot do another mischief of rats in this turn. Next turn, if in this turn I do nothing, I can use another mischief of rats. I guess that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Or I can just use a lavender to heal a little bit in the meantime. <gasps> yes! Ah, <sighs> we get the changeling soul. Freaking Jesus! Yes! Ah. Let, give me, give me your stupid head. Ah. This is not over, guys. This is not over. There is still. Uh, I'm not celebrating too much because there is still Sergal. There is still Sergal, guys. I cannot celebrate for now. So, green herb to heal this. Now let's craft uh, all the condensed lavender we can. I'm still not celebrating because there is Sergal. Sergal may seriously be a problem. Blue herb, I may craft something else. I have 10 mixed herbs, 5 condensed lavender. And I have to pray Jesus that we, uh, with Mischief of Rats I stun at least one of the two arms. With the Arden Heart I can stay alive forever. The problem is I need to stun at least one. Still no time to celebrate, guys. Still not time to, to celebrate. Full health. Let's smoke something else with uh, 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 another tobacco. Another tobacco. Q Giga Chat music. You mean pray to Holmir? Yeah, Jesus is Holmir. Let's go. There is also Mastermind here, but we don't have to fight him. And I think it's avoidable pretty easily. I just need to keep walking like this and it should be fine. Yeah, I'm so fine. Come on. Come on! Uh, uh. Here we are. Here we distinguish men from children. Here we freaking distinguish men from children. Is everything ready? I'm feverishly checking if everything is ready because I'm really tense. I could remove one small thing against the circle I don't need at all to escape. I could either put the one with necklace, but no. No. I'm gonna put either the artificial soul or the battle stone. I think the artificial soul is better. I, I, I save 11 mind on the usage of Mischief of Rats. And 3 mind on the usage, usage of Pyromancy Trick. I think artificial soul... No, Battlestone is better. Hmm. Good night, I, I come well. Thanks so much for coming, my friend. Ah, this is.
this is difficult. Let me drink a little bit in the meantime. I have to open the new bottle. If we defeat Sergal, we have almost arrived to a save point. Why did we start talking about anime 20 minutes ago? Someone asked me about if, we, if I say if I saw Jojo, and after that we continued. Let's take the battle stone. No. Let's take uh, artificial soul. It's time. I'm gonna smoke uh, another time to have 100 mind. It's time. See you on the other side, guys. Matane Kokone Magnificat, that is my name, the last name you hear before heads start to roll. Let's see which head is gonna roll. Ooh! <laughs> Double stun! Yes! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy moly! Ah! <laughs> Go to hell, you stupid cat! Okay. Burn! Everything is burning, I guess. Everything is freaking burning, guys! Now we have to stun him again. Yeah, we do have to stun him again. Burn to hell! Come on! I missed something. What did I miss? The hand is stunned. The other arm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use uh, something to stun that one. I'm not freaking gonna use the missile threats to stun that. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Weak, weak, weak! What do you mean weak? You're not doing anything! You stupid moron! Stupid scripted lines! You're literally not doing anything! I'm the weak one! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Absolutely! Hmm... Okay, let's just guard this turn, and next turn we deal more damage. I could also blind him! Let's blind him to increase everything! Boom! My spears, get ready! Your spears are not gonna be able to do anything, you're also blinded! Look at you! You're just a moron! You're gonna fall like everyone else! Fall! Did I stun? Stun? Stun! You're just gonna fall! You have no idea what you're talking about! My blood is rushing wild, yeah, yeah, yeah! Lowers his stance... Oh! I didn't know this! He has a coin flip attack! I didn't know he had a coin flip attack! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> he has a coin flip attack! <laughs> <laughs> is it stunned? It is stunned, I'm gonna guard in case he does that once again. Okay, mischief once again. You realize that now? I did. I, it, it never happened to me, my friend. Everything is stunned. In the normal turn, I'm gonna guard. In the extra turn, I use the mind restore. Huh? Did I destroy the head? I did destroy the head! Goodbye! Goodbye! <sighs> Guys, we are almost there! We are almost at Donovan's house! There is only one bell end between us and Donovan's house! One bell end! One freaking bell end! I have a bird trap! I may use the bird trap to kill the bell, but I, I, I'm afraid it's gonna take too much time. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Leave in her victory nap! Come on! There is a guaranteed treasure chest up here, I'm gonna take it just for the lulz. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I imagine if I failed now because of freaking rare or something. Imagine! Come on! Only one bell in between Frapollo and Donovan. That could be taken out of context, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Do you think uh, it's at least possible to, to reach the ending today? 
Uh, I genuinely think it's possible. I don't need to kill much stuff. The real problem is gonna be moving between places. The real problem is gonna be moving. But now that we have a guaranteed Exen, I may just farm soul stones. Like, there is a priest that I may kill, etc. The moon god has noticed you. Imagine if I ju just die to moon god now. Soul devour necklace, I guess that's it. Come on! Come on! My strategy worked, by the way. I'm so happy my strategy worked. Get Pav's head for safety. Uh, Pav's head? Where is Pav's? Wait, Pav is in front of the tower. No, I'm gonna die if I go in front of the tower. I don't have enough time. I think I have barely enough time to reach the tower and then enter to face uh, Perkele uh, as a final boss fight. Okay, now there is the question. Is the freaking Donovan's house reachable from here easily? Thank you so much for the follow, JHK. Thank you so much, my friend. <sighs> Artificial so I have to re-keep the small things amulet. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Come on. The lantern of uh, freaking uh, Bloodborne. We start to go down diagonally so we take less time. We go down diagonally. Now there is the bell end. Where is the bell end? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. 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 Let's go. Yes. Oh. Oh. Wait. I'm far for the microphone. Wait a second. Wait a second. <sighs> Guys, it's time to go and save. It's time to save. Please, please. There is a ritual circle. God of fear and anger. Is it your last save? No, we can use the heads from Pocket Cat to get more saves. We can use those. I think Pocket Cat is in the museum, so there is no problem. All right, now. Now we have to think about what to do. Frappo, calm down. The neighborhood is hearing you scream. True, solo. That's true, and also I have the window opened. That's another problem. Wait. I think it only took 24 hours or Farmland Saga, but this is now the finish stretch. It is! I'm so excited for this. Alright. I don't have enough contestants' heads in this exact moment. I have uh, Tanaka and Marina. If I go back and take Levi, it's gonna be three. But, uh... Mm, I have no souls. There is a priest inside of... Oh, I have to go back from the, the mausoleum, though, if I want those... Let's go to the museum first of all, I want the Chuck Chuck. Chuck Chuck is gonna increase the magical damage that I can do. Let's see if we're able to reach the museum. I think we are, but uh, I think it's gonna be pretty close. I'm gonna skip all the items, I want to see if I'm able to reach the museum. This is not the correct way to reach it. I'm pretty sure I'm either gonna reach it uh, almost uh, at the end of the time. No, okay. I think we're fine. Potentially. Pango Pig is a best god. Pango Pig is the best god, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Now. Inside of here there is Tanaka. Let's kill Tanaka. Why not? And also there should be... No, Mechanical Dancer, it's me. <laughs> but there is Tanaka inside of here. It's gonna be the first time in which I face Tanaka, actually. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I don't know what can Tanaka do, honestly. Are you gonna face your judgment? My judgment? What do you mean, my judgment? I want to kill Tana... That is Tanaka! I think. Uh, hello? Uh... Bro? Hello! Can I escape from you? Okay, I can. Are you gonna follow me? You are gonna follow me. I want to see something. Can, can I bird trap him? Can I freaking bird trap him? 
Did you beat Sergal? Yeah, we did, uh, Pistachios, we did. Try. I don't want to waste a bird trap. Uh, okay. <laughs> I like Tanaka. I like Tanaka a lot. Okay, thank you so much for not telling me, guys. I really enjoyed this interaction. And Vic, uh, Vic Carillo, I think it's pronounced Carillo. Thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend. Now you have the little crow molar near your name and you can use the emojis. So thank you so much. <laughs> I love the fact that Tanaka just ignores the, <laughs> the, the bird trap. So if I remember correct correctly, Tanaka can blind. How do I deal with blind? I have no idea to deal with the I have no, no way to deal with the blind. I just I just have to hope that mischief frats hits. Let's put artificial soul. And that's it. You cannot take one of the best armor in the game. Oh the fluted uh, thing, right? Mischief frats, go! He doesn't add the um, glass ceiling. Uh oh. Am I gonna get blinded? No, I'm fine. Everything has been blocked, except for the arm. Now, let's use it again to be sure he has the... I should have crafted more condensed lavender. I forgot to craft, to craft the condensed lavender, actually. We are gonna die, but still. It's gonna be nice to see if you're able to deal enough damage to him in a, in a good amount of time. Burn. Burn is a good thing. Uh, we may be able to win immediately. Hmm. I have, a, I have four condensed lavender, actually. Sorry, no, no, no. We are fine. I may just use another part. Mm. Another mischief. You are now facing judgment. I'm. Fa oh, this is judgment. Okay. What do you mean judgment? Why judgment? <laughs> Easy. Is it still stunned? One, 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 one. Let's use pyromancy tree. And uh, no. Why? Let's heal a little bit with the misturbs. Greetings, Trapper. Welcome, Reddit girlfriend. Welcome to stream, my friend. Let's guard, in case he has a coin flip attack that I don't know about. Mischief. He just fell through a glass table. Yeah, it seems like that. I agree. I like this design. The right arm has not been stunned. Let's try again. Come on. Did I stun him? I did stun him. Yes. Now... I mean, we just wait. There is really nothing we can do in these turns. Yeah... I could use a nettle or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glass shard Tanaka! He has literally a glass shard on his head, but I'm gonna... He can be blinded, bro! What do you mean? He's literally... His whole head is inside a piece of glass. How do I blind him in this state? Whatever. I guess Tanaka is just the best boy. Easy! Latent soul. Shillings and the lucky coin and also we can take the head. How can we take the head from that? Have you ever played Ultra Kill? No, I didn't pumpkin fights, but there is a YouTuber that I follow which is called the Rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! Rata, which has done uh, a, re a review about uh, Ultra Kill. But I didn't watch it. Do I get for pulling to Ultra Kill? Easy. And Latent soul is ours. Now... Uh, let's go to Pocket Cat to be sure that he's here and to be sure there is no difference between uh, normal mode. You should play it. Hmm. I'm gonna try. Can't believe you make it. You made it here without Grow Growth. Yeah, I don't like to use poison, uh, po poison smog. To be honest, the black smog or whatever that's called. I don't like it. Like, uh, it's uh, it's too much in my opinion. Of course, if I failed this strategy, I would have used that. But uh, I try to do it without uh, black smog because I don't like it. To be honest. Didn't you just pass Pocket Cut? No, I didn't. What do you mean? I like how Fraps just avoids all the loot boxes. Yeah, I don't care, bro. I literally farmed with the Pinecomb Pig. There is no loot box that I can uh, that I can enjoy in this moment. You kill the Sigma, one hundred social points. <laughs> Where is the Pocket Cut? Is it here? No. It is an FPS, single player, but an FPS nonetheless. Ah. Oh. I hate FPS, so I don't think I would like it. Here, what happens? Oh, okay, this is the clock room. 
Black Smoke is too much in my opinion, has infinite mind and went for mischief span. Bro, I worked for this uh, mischief for this infinite mind with a strategy with the artificial soul and using the pinecone pig. And mischief of rats requires three affinity with the god of fear and hunger. Black Smog is uh, a poison on all body parts for f basically free? Bro, I think there is no comparison. There it is! Uh, wait! Uh, I know the. He has the. The checker pants! Uh, so I know. Oh! Give me the stuff, give me the stuff. By the way, Darker Coon, why are you getting offended by that? Did you use uh, Black Smog? Uh, poison Black Smog? Uh, wait, why is it lagging? Okay. Let's take... Uh, bro, it's lagging! Let's take the Book of Enlightenment before it lags. Okay. Now... We can only fight original Pocket Cut in Mazu with Dan. Yeah, I can imagine that, I can imagine. Desperate to give Pocket Cut head. <laughs> Alright, now who do we have to kill? We have to kill Mastermind, we have to kill uh, Caligula, then... then... Uh, who else? Marco? Mastermind, Caligula, Marco? Am I missing someone, guys? Mastermind, is it, is it worth going for Spice Forge? It is worth! Mastermind for Spice Forge, yeah. I have to kill Mastermind, Caligula, uh, Marco... Uh, who else? Who am I forgetting? Shagnar is dead. Oh, the mayor! The mayor! The mayor. Did you go back for Levi's head? No, I didn't. Thank you so much for the follow. I cannot hear your uh, see your name. Uh, Dank Bandit. Thank you so much, my friend. Ah, I can't believe you are still 100 constant spectators, guys. You're fantastic. Thank you so much for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. And here there is a bell but I'm not scared. Jump off that place, you moron! You got the ultra calling good ending. <laughs> oh, there is a death mask here. Oh, cute. Cute. Wait. Uh, I have. I don't have one hundred percent escape. Death mask. Ah, not triggered. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. All right. Let's enter here to reset the timer. Now, the question is: uh, Do we go? Yeah, we do. We do go for mastermind immediately. The problem is, I need a. A freaking soulstone in order to be able to use uh, what I get from Mastermind. But I guess I'll be fine. Can I craft more condensed lavender? I'm finishing the, the mind, actually. That may be a problem. But uh, I think I can just perma enter. When I get to Spice Forge, it's gonna be way easier. I can just Spice Forge, Mischief of Rats, or something. It's gonna be easy. Enter in battle. Mastermind drops one soulstone. Oh, okay. Easy. Thank you so much, Rupa. Thank you so much for telling me. Let's go down. Hello! As I was saying, hello and goodbye. Uh, it's lagging a lot. Jesus, if it's lagging. The Bellend is my. Like, even Dark Raccoon told me. Uh, the Bellend makes uh, the game lag a lot. Bro, what is this? Uh, this uh, this uh, FPS? Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I, I forgot to tell you. You remember I wanted to take a new PC? And you remember there was a problem which uh, the the one that I that was responsible for it uh, was unable to find a motherboard compatible with the with the new uh, series 12 which has a uh, uh, 12 cores. He found it. He found it. Tomorrow I'm gonna get the 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 price, and uh, I'm gonna tell him uh, okay, buy it, and assemble it, and he's gonna give it to me. It's gonna happen. Mastermind. Oh, hello. No! My leg! Hmm. We can still do it with only one leg. We can still do it. I mean, no, wait. Pocket Cat! How do I freaking deal with Pocket Cat? How do I deal? Uh, perfect guard for Marco. Okay, Mischief of Rats. You could do Sylvia in the mayor's house. True, true. Uh, sigils with the hand. Did I stun? Uh, I didn't stun the hand. Let's use it again. Come on. Uh, did he miss? Uh, yeah, he missed once again. Stupid hand. And now the problem is uh, he's gonna attack. If he does hurting and destroys my last limb, it's Jover. I mean, we have to risk, right? We have to risk. Try. If it does hurting, I'm I'm here regardless. Okay, no. 
Or maybe that's the hand of Locust Storm, uh, or Mischief of Rats, sorry. If he does Mischief of Rats, at least. I don't know how, what does he do in this game. The Yellow Mage in the second game is, uh, in the first game uh, is bad, I don't know how bad is it here. But he should take increased fire damage, like, uh, the Yellow Mage suit should take increased damage from fire, in the first game at least. If it's the same for here, I'm gonna be fine. Then... I can put regen on me. I guess this is a good moment for doing that. I need to use Mischief of Rats after the turn ends. Let's just guard. Then... Mischief of Rats. Come on. Boom. Left, uh, oh oh, left and right are, uh, oh oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, goodbye guys, hurting, no my leg, my leg, wait, uh, how am I attacking without uh, limbs, I don't have arms and I don't have legs, what am I attacking with, B bro, how can I do stuff, let me know for Paul if you want a tip for this, no, no worries, no worries, uh, it's easy, how do I... How do I even... Uh... Br bro, I'm I'm attacking without, uh, without limbs. How is it possible? Mm... I mean... That's fine. Am I gonna be able to move after the battle is the question. <laughs> am I gonna be... Or am I gonna like instantly become... Uh... Im non movable. Oh, okay. Can I move? Yeah, I can. How can I move? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. What? <laughs> How am I moving? How am I free? <laughs> <laughs> right leg, uh, no, but uh, the, the 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 freaking the freaking uh, mastermind destroyed my right leg before the battle. What happened? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna heal myself with the CVL seizure. That's the correct play. That's absolutely the correct play. But Jesus, what? Reset with a shamed. No, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe I didn't lose the first leg because I entered the fight immediately. Maybe. Okay, now. How do we go and uh, heal ourselves? I mean, I have a soul stone. I have a soul stone, right? Uh, one single soul stone and s two soul stone shards. Uh, what can I get at the hexen? Let's go at the hexen. I don't. Uh, I don't lose anything by going there. I don't lose anything by trying to see what what is inside the hexen. Coping. Uh, I'm not coping. Spice forge shouldn't be available immediately. I may need to do something else. I need to to take some uh, some things before it. But still, I mean, we we are fine. In some way, shape or form, we are fine. <laughs> this is the best run in the world, guys, I don't care. <laughs> this is the best challenge in the world. Like, uh, Ragnavaldor ascending item only was difficult. This uh, is difficult, but it's uh, more charming in some parts. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, do I have something to heal myself? Uh, no. It's better if I escape. Goodbye, goodbye, my friend, goodbye. I think she will stop breathing. <laughs> she will not. You must have both legs. No, someone destroyed them. I can guarantee you someone destroyed them. Okay, here we are. Wait. Oh, I had the full uh, escape chance. Okay. Easy. Glitchless uh, up to now. <laughs> At this point, being carried by the rats is more believable. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the rats are carrying me or something. Uh, oh, a ratty. Oh, sorry. All right. What do we get with this one soul stone? I could get the necromancy finally to have a strat against freaking uh, freaking Caligula. I could get gun proficiency. Engrave. Engrave gives me a permanent boost. Hmm. Engrave may be a good call. Wrench toss is useless now. Roots that reap is also useless. Hurting is uh, ah comical. I'm either gonna take Engrave or Necromancy. La Dance Macabre, I don't do too much magical damage for now, Rupa. For now, La Dance Macabre, I mean, uh, yeah, if I take La Dance Macabre, I'm, I'm more near to Spiceforge. But you see Meditation. Meditation is bugged. 
So the pro for now, my damage is coming from Dot. It's not coming from uh, normal attacks. Uh, 20 more wind, uh, mind two uh, would be useful. Uh, yeah, potentially. Engraving, God of Fear, and Hunger Engraving to get what? Uh, five agility? Hmm. That may be a good idea. So I can perma stay in battle with something such as Battlestone or something. I agree. I like it. I absolutely like it. Engrave. God of Fear and Hunger. Now I should have 26 agility. Yeah. So I can go to 21 by putting someone else. And I'm gonna put uh, Battlestone. So, um, guys, uh, you know what time it is, right? Uh, we are gonna farm until we have 100 mind. <laughs> everyone needs to dance. What do you mean everyone needs to dance? Okay, we defeated uh, Tanaka and uh, Mastermind. Also, we have a Book of Enlightenment. I think it's time to to use it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I am in front of the mausoleum. Uh, come here. Okay. Oh wait, uh, I cannot farm with the battle stone against him. I forgot. I thought it was at the start of the battle. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> also, I have the beheaded wizard. Mm, maybe useful against some nothing, but still. What do I keep instead of the small things amulet? I keep artificial soul. Then I guess. And uh, artificial soul and battles. No, artificial soul and hardened heart. Yeah. Yay, farming with that. Are you gonna get house milk? No, not farming now, nighty night. I'm gonna just go back to the mausoleum. Welcome, Gabe. Welcome to stream, my friend. We are doing it. We are almost at the end of the run. We only need to kill a couple contestants, then it's over. There are. There is Marco. There is uh, um, Dysmorphia. There is freaking. Uh, how is it called? Caligula? And then Karin and Pocket Cat, I think. That's it. That's pretty much it. For Paul, hello. Welcome, Gabe. Welcome. The computer crashed. What did I miss? Uh, we defeated Mastermind. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, welcome back, by the way. He doesn't know. What don't I know? We are halfway there. We are, we are indeed halfway there. Yeah. I'm enjoying this a lot. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna put Battlestone for a second. I'm gonna enter in battle against uh, against one of the Bellends. Let me stay at 100 mind. I'm gonna kill the Belland. He doesn't know. What do you mean he doesn't know? He doesn't know what? Time to use Michi for frats. Go! Uh oh. Ah! Ah! I would have been dead without Mischief of Rats. Let's use it once again. To stun the stupid arm. Did it... Uh... Right arm is not stunned. This is bad. I'm gonna use Mixed Earths and Hope. And Hope. Yeah, that hurt. I, do I, I mean, even if I die now, I don't care because we already are over the difficult part. Javelin. Okay, that's a single hit, right? Also, he didn't uh, one-shot me regardless. Mischief of Rats once again. This nightmare is over. Also, Raga the only was legendary. Everyone who says otherwise is thinking is drinking Fraps Clown Juice. No! I said it is legendary. What poses have you vanquished whilst I was absent of your beautiful and intriguing show of performance? Uh, Tanaka? Um... Uh, Sergal, we have to take another plan. We cannot deal with the Bellend like this. Tanaka, Sergal. Um, who else? Uh, Mastermind, Marina. I think I think I'm missing someone. I think I'm definitely missing someone. A uh, mob. We defeated the mob, freaking the freaking mob, Gabe. All right. Uh, I think I just escaped from the Bellend. I can, like, juke them, in quotation marks. Small things I'm like. I wonder how you can kill a Valkyrie on island. Didn't Terrar kill you? Uh, on island? I mean, no. The, the, I should have time to do that. I should definitely have time. I think uh, I have the time to, to do that without problems. Uh-oh, am I blocked? Am I blocked or can I move? Please? Oh, I can move, but uh, it's blocking the way. 
Okay, we are fine, we are fine, we are so fine. I think uh, once I go back to the church, it's a good moment to use, uh, to pop the Book of Enlightenment, because uh, regard uh, even if they were very close to each other... Ah! <laughs> you have time to deal with Valkyrie, don't worry. Okay, I'm not gonna worry. I was scared because of this stupid pillar man. Okay. There, there are the monsters, the, the Crimson Father they are called, or whatever. Alright, then. I could kill the priest here to get another soul stone guaranteed. Yeah, let's do it! It seems doable with Mischief, Mischief of Rats. I may have to reset in case I'm not able to apply Mischief of Rats on the first turn. I'm gonna use uh, Hardened Heart, Small Things Amulet. Uh, I don't even need the Hardened Heart to be honest. Battlestone. Let's go. Crimson Father drops Soulstone. No, the priest drops Soulstones. Crimson Father have a chance, I think, to drop Soulstone. I'm not, I'm not sure, Jack, but I think they have a chance to do that. Go. Uh oh. Did I miss one arm? I did miss one arm. I'm gonna try once again. Did I stun the other arm? Okay, everything is stunned except the head. Which part of the body does hurting is the question. Let's try. Uh, which is out for you? How was he able to attack me? The, the army stunned! Bro! You're cheating! You're a cheater! I call this a cheater, guys! The army stunned! How is he attacking? You know, I'm kinda glad that I came super late to this for Polo Stream. I would have put in my entire life's torture away on the very boss fight. <laughs> right arm does hurting. Yeah, but uh, he used the pyromancy trick, but he's stunned. Stunned, not silenced. What do you mean? Uh, no! Uh. No. Let's escape. We don't have a way to deal with him in this moment. Or, I mean, uh, we could deal with him, but uh, I, I, it's risky. Do you still have any Fungus saves left? Uh, yeah, I have a Book of Enlightenment. I get one Book of Enlightenment every every three contestants' heads. I keep getting this ad about a woman cheating at doing uh, pull-ups for up talking about working out broke my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think now it's a good moment to pop the Book of Enlightenment once we go back. Also, mm, I may need to deal with the priest though. I really need that Spice Forge for the future. I know the hand with the Gregor seal does hurting. The problem is, uh, why was it he able to freaking uh, attack even w with stun on the body parts? Let me drink a little bit, guys. Just a second. <sighs> Alright. We can complete this today. There is the chance to complete this today. Absolutely. Now. Let's go to see to Mayor's Manor to kill the mayor and to get Sylvian Affinity. That's what we're gonna do. Mayor's Manor is very near to here. I'll, I will have to deal with one Death Mask, but that's fine. That's generally fine. I don't think Death Mask is gonna be too much of a problem. The only problem is, uh, and don't tell me, guys, I know somewhere there is uh, a platoon. I don't know where, though. Don't tell me where. Don't tell me. I got back and Frapolo somehow managed the Aaliyah, made the Aaliyah potato. Why and how did you break her animation? Welcome, Zionis! Uh, it's, uh, it's very easy. If she loses her arms, uh, she's gonna walk like this, uh, basically. And also, supposedly she lost also her legs, uh, yet she's still moving. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's go to 1F. We have to be careful about the bear traps. We don't want to lose uh, the... F ghost limbs we apparently have. If only he had smog for easy priests. I mean, uh, I prefer like this, I prefer like this. Having to do a little bit more steps before being able to take out the priests. So, let's smoke a little bit with our pipe. Then, we are gonna be able to reach the, 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 the house, I guess. We have the time, we have the time. Hello, Death Mask. How are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? Uh, welcome! Nothing there. You mean the, the enemy of <laughs> Lobotomy Corporation? No, wait. Uh, if I enter inside that house, uh, I'm blocked. Uh-oh. I have to go up. 
Okay. He stopped following me. But I should have enough time. Maybe. I should have enough time. This is the first pop from Rare. I still have like uh, a couple seconds. Okay, that's still the first one. Come on. Easy. Oh no, there is the pull. No, not today. Not today, you idiot. Okay. There was the pull, but now it should be disappeared. Because I did reset the area. I think it works. By the way, yeah, this pull already triggered. So uh, pulls can be triggered multiple times in the same places. Okay. We're fine. Here there is a sickle villager. If I had necromancy, I could have taken him. But I guess for now we are fine like this. Bird trap. What about it? Uh, sickle villager, we may kill it. But I guess for now... Uh, whatever. We kill it. We kill it for later. The second activation of the radio here only triggers the noise. Oh, it doesn't spawn a pole. Okay. Sets up a bird trap. It's fine. Let's just... Uh, I could just destroy the arm. Mm, nah. Let's burn. Miss! Uh, mm -hmm. Dodge the bird trap. Stun once again. Easy. You're not interested in defeating Po, just asking a question, not asking you to do it. I may try, it's easy by the way, because I, I just have to guard and attack in the extra turn, but I need to have uh, magical damage. Pyromancy trick should count as magical damage, so I should be fine, but you know, just for precaution. I finished uh, the mind, I don't have any more mind. I could use uh, here a battle stone actually, but not now. I have two turns to kill the torso, can we do it? Why don't you use necromancy? I don't have it! I'm gonna use it if I get it. Absolutely, if I get it, I'm gonna use it. Later. Let me glass shard also the head for some reason. I have the time. And I have a lot of glass shards, so there is no reason to not do that. Also, let's let's play a little bit dumb, okay? Let's put the battle stone! This villager is blinded, his eyes are bleeding. Yeah, I know! I know it! I don't need to worry about Panphobia regardless. We can just guard. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage from the sickle if it hits, but there's a chance it misses. And it missed. Slam. Missed. Easy. We can just farm with the, the Battlestone. We can literally just farm with the Battlestone. He doesn't like people sharing his art, so I would prefer if you just checked in the server. What? There's a disadvantage, disadvantage, on, uh, disadvantage on using necromancy. True, I cannot fully escape from battles anymore. I don't have any more 100% chance. That's why I'm, uh, I want to do it only if necessary. For now, it's not exactly essential. It may be essential later. Also, I can open this door, I guess. It's useless, but I can open it. Let's put back the small things I'm... Oh! Guys, I know how can I farm mind. The priest! The priest can make me farm mind. I just do nothing on the first turn. He does the E and I escape. I enter in battle. I guard. He does E and I escape. I enter in battle. Guard. E. 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 Escape! Easy! After watching a show with my family, what did I miss? Welcome, Zaima! We killed Sir Gal. We have a save file inside of Donovan's house. And we are back here at the Mayor's Manor to kill the Mayor. And to potentially uh, use a Sylvian Circle. Frap genius as always. Thanks. E. E. Alright, we are fine. E. It's not cheating. Okay, come here, because I need to pass at one point. Now... I mean, I don't need to take off anything. I can just literally do this. He's stupid. You abuse a religion. <laughs> the religion of doing a E with the teeth. E! Okay. Here we are to the Major's Manor. I think it's finally time to use our Book of Enlightenment. Once we use the Sylvian Circle, I'm gonna use the Book of Enlightenment, okay? With the Sylvian Circle, I also get access to uh, Pheromones, which may potentially be useful if I take the, the freaking uh, Necromancy. And uh, regardless of that, uh, I don't need Affinity with Growgroth. 
and I don't need affinity with anyone else. We are good. Sylvian, you are mine! Oh, that's so cute! We, are, we have our limbs back, finally! These are needed for the uh, pocket cut battle. These are so needed for the pocket cut battle. Rare is gonna be hell without Blood Golem. No problem, Rare is gonna be easy. I have a plan in my mind for Rare. I have a plan. If only Sivian could also fix your legs now, for God's sake sake. <laughs> Hello, Major! Okay, this is the moment in which we make the save file. I want to make a save, a save here, because I already killed a lot of contestants and I almost have uh, enough heads to get another Book of Enlightenment. Bam. Good. It's time to attack. Wait, uh, am I fully prepared for it? A small Things Amulet? Uh, yes. No, wait, a Small Things Amulet? No. Let's put the Artificial Soul, and that's it. Or double... Uh, I don't have another Battlestone, I didn't take the one in the, in the church. Whatever. Let's go. For follow the man with a plan. I am indeed the man with a plan. Mischief of Red. Permanency trick? Oh, seven. For a second, I, I, I didn't see a number. <laughs> my, 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 my eyesight is going away <laughs> in this exact moment. Uh, Gruggling sound. And we are fine. Torso. What do you mean, run ruined? Why run ruined? There is. Oh, no. Oh, oh. What will the rats do now? They aren't carrying Olivia around. <laughs> They're just gonna wait there, they're just gonna chill. <laughs> Mischief of Rats, come on! Boom! Uh oh, left arm wasn't a stun, I have to use it once again. Can you attack with counter stance by Will Charles Olivia? I don't know, I think uh, yes. I would need to test it, and for now I don't I don't have the, the opportunity to test it. But I, I think it's possible. Because it's not technically the normal attack, it's an action that performs the normal attack, it's uh, complicated. Let's also use the glass shards for some reason. Get fluid arm pieces in museum. Nah, we don't need it. I mean, yeah, with that I can kill Pocket Cat easily. Later, later. I've never taken those pieces, by the way, so I don't know where they are, so you guys have to guide me. I just know they exist. Hmm. I don't have mind anymore. I have to use my mind very carefully, otherwise it's gonna run out. Gurgling sound. I think it should be almost over. Mischief of Rats once again, please hit. Please. Please. Did I... Stun, 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 stun. Yes. We can just guard to replenish our mind. Gurgling sound, gurgling, uh, whatever. Gurgling, gurgling. Whatever it says. More gurgling sound, gurgle, gurgling. Okay, easy. Yeah, he's blinded, that's why I was waiting. Search, uh, just to be sure, in case uh, he, uh, in case my, in case my stun fails, I blinded him. Easy. We're only missing Valkyrie, uh, Pocket Cat, Marco, Dysmorphia, and uh, that's it. Just go to museum and look around, we don't want to, to hold your hand every step. What do you mean hold my hand every step? The majority of this run I was by myself, what do you mean? Hold my, hold my arm every step. <laughs> you are hilarious in this moment, Gecko. I could farm once again- oh wait, I don't have one- oh, whatever. I had two, two chances of escaping. I could farm once again. Let's put- uh, Freaking small things emulate. Henrik's cooking and slow metabolism can help you in final boss fight. Sl Hunger can help me in final boss fight. Oh, you mean the cooking uh, items that I get? Maybe. We're gonna see. Okay, priest. Bring me back to 100 mind. E. By myself equals chat and raccoon advice in clown language. <gasps> Gecko, raccoon almost... Like, the only strat that raccoon suggested, I didn't follow it. What do you mean, raccoon? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're hilarious. We watched the streams. I didn't use anything that Raccoon said. I tried, but I, in the round in which I performed correctly, I didn't use the strat. What do you mean? Master Cool can help, yes, but not in the very final fight. Okay, interesting. Don't you still need two small things for guaranteed escape? Yeah, I, no, only one, bloody gems. I have 21 mind uh, using um, the, the engrave. 21 mind. If only I had a safe way to kill the freaking bastard. 
Whatever, let's go to kill this mo No, this Morphia. Ah! Rusty Nail! Pfft. Raccoon actually carried. What did Raccoon say to carry, guys? Tell me. What did Raccoon say to carry? <laughs> I'm interested. I'm interested. Tell me. Which strategy did Raccoon tell that I followed? Tell me. We need more mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the time, we're gonna get everything. They just... I know they're just trolling. That's why. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah. This is the tile with the glass. I can go one tile up. Rewatch yesterday's stream and you will know. The only strategy he suggested in yesterday's stream, Gecko, I didn't follow it. I, di I literally didn't follow it. Like, uh, the strategy against Father Hugo, I defeated him with my strategy. <laughs> oh, oh, Rusty Nail once again. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat. Ah. Okay. Are you gaslighting? No, you guys are gaslighting me. Whatever, I'm not gonna look at the chat now. I have to focus f in order to uh, skip the death mask and the stupid moron here. Okay, he's fine. He's chilling. He's chilling. Okay. I could have just told to him. Is the death mask back inside? Oh, the death mask is back inside. Easy. No, death mask is not back, in back inside. Uh oh. I'm dead. There is no way I'm able to reach the, the other place in time. I wasted too much time here. No, I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. Yeah, there is already the, the, the pulsating. I'm dead. I made a good decision, decision in using the Book of Enlightenment. I made a wrong decision here. You know the time for Polo, uh, Pistol, Raccoon, they... Eh? Wait. Uh, I'm dead. During the room, I didn't uh, give him credit. Eh? Ah? What are you saying, Gecko? Whatever. Oh, it's there! Come on, I was almost there. Ah! Whatever. If you kill him, you reset the timer. I don't care. I saved inside of the Mayor's Manor. I can just go back. I saved inside of the Mayor's Manor. We are still here. Dark Raccoon had theory. Doesn't he hate the lore? Dark Raccoon didn't have... Uh, what do you mean? Theory about what? I had to be in the meso mode, the protag took a fat nap and slept through the first two days. Yeah, that's potentially what happens. Okay, we're back. I should be ready. Battlestone, yeah. I mean, no, I can't take off the other small things I'm letting put the artificial soul for maximum performance. I may also... I may also remove the hardened heart to put another artificial soul, because he's not gonna kill me, he's not gonna even hit me. You could have infinite book of enlightenment now. It's a glitch, uh, Rupa. If uh, if you, if you can have it, because uh, I know there is a code in the game files in which uh, he prevents you from having more than two book of enlightenment from bookshelves. So if you can, uh, tell me, is it a glitch or no? Tell me. If it's not a glitch, I'm still not gonna do it. So, what are you doing, Gecko? Are you guys lighting chat? Oh, oh, I missed. Whatever. Gecko is, is gaslighting chat, I think. Right arm, left arm. I have to stun the left arm. Comically large silverware man. I don't know what Gecko is saying. What is he saying? Which theory? A theory? The Raccoon had a theory on my stream. Oh, I know what you're talking about. No, I didn't steal that. Oh, come on, guys. You're... <laughs> Gecko, if you really want to defend that point, you're ridiculous. Ah. The Moonscorch guys doesn't attack, you can kill them to reset the timer. Hmm, true. I mean, in that point, I don't need uh, to kill something. I, I, just was playing I was just playing bad, that's why I needed to kill something. You're gaslighting everyone. Yeah, uh, you're right, Gecko, I'm gaslighting everyone. I'm gonna stop. Uh... <laughs> I'm literally gonna stop. Time travel theory, I remember that was a fun theory I came up with. Dark Raccoon, I had a similar fear. I don't know if you came up with uh, with it too, but I had a very similar fear about the Fear and Anger being Undertale. I stole Raccoon's Valor. Yeah, someone cannot have the same fear as someone else. Yeah, exactly. Everyone must have different theories, guys. Everyone, guys. Uh, you you heard what, what Gecko said. Everyone must have different theories, otherwise you are stealing someone else's stuff. No, no, no. There is no way you have the same theory as someone else. No, two people cannot think the same thing together. No. There is no chance, no, absolutely no. 
You're right, I stole it. Absolutely, I stole it. I stole it. I absolutely stole it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. I'm just joking, by the way. If you are feeling offended because I'm uh, literally... Uh, how can I say it? I'm attacking you like this. If, you, if you're offended, tell me I'm gonna stop. By the way, uh, for example, the theory that Vitruvia is not a god is just bad. The Vitruvia is not a god is just bad. I have that theory. If you think it's bad, uh, okay. I can understand why you think that. Then why do you think Vitruvia is, not a, is, is a god? Tell me. Of course, uh, the trash thief furry wouldn't s would steal Frapolo's dreams. <laughs> the trash tears furry! The trash thief furry! <laughs> I love you, Zionis. <laughs> the trash thief furry! <laughs> it's a silly theory I came up based on Homestuck stuff. I like the, I like, uh, uh, the theory. Yeah, and I like my theory that I came up with uh, based on Undertale. There is no problem, they can coexist. It's not like I stole your stuff, what do you mean? Prepol, you won't get blocked if you go into the hut with heads on the walls. You just have to kill the moose corks right outside. <gasps> That's true! There is a possibility. That's true. I'm joking, but if Vitruvia shaped the humans, how can it be a new god? Uh, Vitruvia can receive... Like, uh, the theory that I had at the time was that uh, we know nothing about Vitruvia, almost. We, know, we have some sporadic information. The only real thing we know is uh, she probably was commissioned from Sylvian to make the, the, the humans. So, either uh, she has uh, some power on, on his own, or Sylvian actually gave her power. Gave her power to do stuff. And that may be, like, the first new god. Or something like that. The first new god. The literal first new god. Am I able to escape? All right, now. Oh, I didn't have the <laughs> small things I'm going to keep. The... Okay, we should be able to... If I'm able to move before... Okay, I think I moved before the death mask. We can just kill this guy and we should be fine. Which is a commission creationist. Yeah, it's something like that from what I understood. Let's just burn the torso and it's going to be over. Boop. We can just wait. I could uh, attack more. No, I want to be at 100 mind. I remember mentioning about it in stream before to frap. But he came up with a Undertale Fury afterwards, kind of similar to my... Uh, Dark Raccoon! I, I had that theory long ago. I just didn't say it. But uh, then again, I didn't steal it from... Do, do you... Tell me honestly. Do you think I stole the theory from you? Tell me. Are we really talking about this? Come on! If you really think uh, I stole the theory from you, I don't know what to say. Are you just gaslighting me, please? Tell me you're just gaslighting me. I'm curious. The dungeon of Hjernanger was safer before the Rondon army arrived or... Uh, I think it was, uh, like, it has, it has always been that strange, uh, that's a strange place with a lot of mystery, so no, I don't think it was safe. Frappy is not burning. What do you mean he's not burning? He is burning. Oh, wait, he's not burning! Oh, wait, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at the chat, I'm sorry. Now, are you burning? Okay, now he's burning. I don't think you stole it, I don't like lore. Okay, that's fine. Still... Even if it's a, same, a similar theory, like, uh, we can have similar ideas, uh, there's no problem with that. Okay. Easy. Let's escape, let's go back inside to reset the rare. And we should be fine. Now we just have to rush to there. Weird to me not to like lore. Fungalore is fascinating. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's fine, you can play just for the gameplay, there is no problem with that. Like. Uh, there are a lot of people that just play for the freaking gameplay! Do I do I have a... Do I have the small things I'm let? Yeah, I do. There are a lot of people that play only for the gameplay. There is really no problem with that. Like, it depends from how deep you want to, to dig inside of a game. There are people who just are satisfied with the normal story. There are people who want to know more and so watch, like, videos or something. There are people that uh, make up their own theories based on stuff. There are people who do all of these, like... Uh, it depends. Uh, every every layer of this uh, type of uh, of, of uh, experimentation with uh, games you are given is fantastic, in my opinion. Like uh, all the all the work people do for the stuff is fantastic, in my opinion. Either either if it is gameplay, because uh, gameplay people may come up with I don't know speedruns. There is Jasm or Dark Raccoon that do speedruns. 
people that like lore may come up with, with interesting theories such as Maude Doug or uh, or uh, Worm Girl. That's it. All right, let's go to uh, 2F, I think it is. Here we are. So, uh, this more theater time or uh, something else? Uh, how many heads do I have? Mastermind uh, and gentleman. I need to kill someone else. Uh, it could be Dysmorphia. I may lose an arm, but I don't really care. I don't really care if I lose an arm. If I lose an arm, cry about it. How do I reach? Uh, I don't need to care about how to reach the circle because the Crimson Fathers are not gonna catch me regardless. Sorry, I'm new to Fear and Anger. I don't know much. Uh, welcome, Elstan, <laughs> and Star. In this in this chat, I don't think uh, everyone knows everything. There are a lot of people that don't know a lot of stuff, uh, including me, of course. I'm not saying uh, I'm the best person in the world uh, as, uh, at knowing Fear and Anger mechanics, especially in Termina. But uh, there is really no problem with that. Like, uh, you're able to learn with the time. All right. Oh no, I need the church keys for this one. I need the freaking church keys, okay. Let's take them. It's gonna make one Crimson Father spawn, but one Crimson Father is fine. One Crimson Father is fine. We don't. Cr we we won't cry. Don't worry. Uh, I'm always uh, right. Trust me, you Star. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. After this Morphia, there is Marco, uh, Valkyrie, Pocket Cat, and I think that's it, right? Marco, Valkyrie, Pocket Cat. Pocket Cat. After this Morphia, right? Am I missing someone else? Uh, no, that should be fine. Follow me, follow me! Easy. Monster? Who is Monster, Rupa? I don't remember who is Monster. Oh, Caligula! Right, there is Caligula. Caligula is easy. Easy. With Mischief of Rats is gonna make it even easier. Ragnar Denki ascending is canon, uh, Darcy maybe canon, and Kahara I don't know. Uh, yeah, like Ragnar and Enki are confirmed, like basically confirmed from the second game to be basically canon. Darcy and Kahara, there is some speculations, like uh, Kahara was a nobody. So the fact of him not being recorded in, in history doesn't mean that his ending didn't happen. The same goes for Darcy. Also, there are some things that may, uh, that may make you understand that Darcy as ending did in fact happen in Termina. I'm not gonna spoil them, but uh, there there are some speculations about it. It's time for this Morbius. <laughs> this Morbius. <laughs> okay. We can use the beheaded wizard. Actually, we have a chance to reflect magic from now and then. And wait, uh, I'm not gonna put the hardened heart. In this moment, the hardened heart is useless. We don't want to go down to one health, regardless. If we go down to one health, then we deserve to lose, honestly. Do we agree, guys? Do we agree that if we go down to uh, one earth, we deserve to lose? It's better if I use the artificial soul and metal stone to get uh, uh, enough uh, enough MP, enough MP to use my stuff. Agreed. Perfect. Can I craft something though? I mean, no, I didn't take anything, and I couldn't craft anything before. Why would I be able to craft something now? Okay. Let's go. Dysmorphia time! Hello? Look at you! Do you have a purifying amulet? I don't! You mean a purifying talisman? No. I don't. But no problem! We're just gonna hit Mischief of Rats. It's that easy! Look! Easy! See? Let's burn the torso and we're fine. Boop. Did I burn her? Yes. Easy. Now, this turn we can just wait. I could glass shard her just to be extra sure. I don't know if I can glass shard her, if I can blind her, but I'm not gonna do anything in this turn regardless. Necromancy, because necromancy isn't affected by uh, stun, but it's fine. Now we can stun everything. Uh, can I stun? Yeah. Everything is stunned once again. I can just wait. I could blind... Uh, I don't think I can blind the ghoul. But I guess I'll be fine. 
C, yes. Uh, sorry, I said C. C means yes in Italian. I still remember when you had a, a bad mic and we theorized about uh, the true F, F Younger endings and when I came with Rag as ending his canon, you were denying it with every fiber of your soul. <laughs> yeah, people change idea. At the time, I didn't believe it. Uh, now I do believe in it. But I remember that moment, yes. You can blind the goal too. Okay, then I guess I could try. Did I stun the goal? I didn't stun the goal. I think it's better if I try to stun once again. I'm gonna take this extra careful. No! I missed the... Mm, 16... Oh, 16. I thought it was gonna be way more than 16. <laughs> Screw you, moron. How is the mischief here? Wait. Uh, one arm, steal stun for one turn. Okay, I mean, we can just wait. I may try to glass shard that goal or just do nothing, you know? I can just do nothing and be fine with it. Ah, uh, let's use a glass shard. Okay, guard. So I'm gonna take less damage from the scratch. Easy. It should be almost Jover. Mischief of Rats. Hit, please. Hmm. Did I do it? Stun, 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 stun! Easy! Easy. And now the radiating soul is ours. Uh, she doesn't have anything if I remember correctly, but I can take the head. Good. Excited for Terran Starvation myself. In the first game, you mean? Yeah, in the first game, Terran Starvation is, uh, is good, but it's tedious. If the torches weren't a real mechanic, Terran Starvation would be my favorite mode. So much cheese. I mean, Mischief of Rats, we got it. Why, why wouldn't I use it? Now, we are only missing Marco, Monster, uh, Valkyrie, and uh, Pocket Cat. Only four. And we can take another Book of Enlightenment. And Zionis, thank you so much for the five dollars, my friend. Rag S ending is not canon because Chromoler is alive in Oza's intro. Changed my mind. I mean... Uh... I may agree with you, Zionis, but the point is, uh, Crow Molar, there may be more Crow, like, you know in this game there is a Crow Chimera or something, there may be more Crow Molars, it's not sure that that Crow Molar is the only one, there are a lot of servants of the God of the Depths, and since uh, the God of the Depths is the God of the Crows, it may just be that another, uh, another, per another person got turned into that thing, you know. But still, thank you so much for the five dollars, I really appreciate it, my friend. Zionis speaking fats. No, I mean... Uh, who knows? There may be another possibility. Still, it's not a bad theory. Like, it's not like it's the worst theory ever. It makes a lot of sense. That's why Frap used the torches as a valid argument against my insults on Pinecon Pig. Yeah, Pinecon Pig uh, makes Terran Starvation uh, absolutely playable. And also makes uh, item only genuinely achievable without uh, breaking your head. That's why I love Pinecon Pig. Torches are extremely easy to manage due to free ones in mines. In Terran Starvation, it depends. If you, uh, bloody, if you know where to go, how to go, everything precisely, they are enough. If you don't know it, you may lack some of them. And I know you may say you don't start by playing Terran Starvation if you just started playing the game. Even if you are not, if you are not a seasoned player. It's the same. You're not always gonna know where to go. You're gonna have doubts. You're gonna have stuff, something like that. That's what I mean. But still, uh, should we go back to the mausoleum and uh, take another, take another book of enlightenment before trying to kill something else? I think yeah. At least have five torches uh, surplus and can craft ten more. You're fantastic, Gecko. You're a good player. But I, I mean. You did multiple runs on this game. Imagine someone that did his first playthrough in normal mode and wants to do Terran Starvation after that. Torches are gonna be a nightmare. You're gonna uh, be at half of your playthrough without torches. You just have to increase the brightness of your PC and hope to see something. Once from mines are really abundant. Unless you are totally new, you're fine. I don't agree. I don't agree. I absolutely don't agree with you, but uh, it's fine. And Gabe, thank you so much for the 5 euros, my friend. Zionis, you just cannot accept that Ragget is ascending even though you just gave a very valid argument. Yeah, the argument of Zionis is valid. The point is, uh, it's open to interpretations. But really, thank you so much, Gabe, I really appreciate that. Also, another valid argument could be that Ikiturso is alive. You may say there are more Ikiturso. 
then I say, if there are more Ikitursu, why aren't there more Chromolars? Termina, have an immortal enemy like Nashva? I don't think so. I don't think so. I may be forgetting about something, but I don't think so. That's the gist of it. Here we are. If only I was able to kill this stupid priest, I would be able to take... Wait, uh, I have an idea! I'm not gonna use the bird shop on anything else. No, wait, I used the bird shop on Tanaka, what am I saying? I used the bird shop on Tanaka. Can I deal with the priest? Hmm. I think there is no way to be able to deal with the priest without taking uh, limb damage. If I have the fluted armor, if I have, if I had the fluted armor, that's a way in which I can deal with the priest. Hmm. I mean, uh, I don't really care about uh, even if uh, I get I lose an arm. I think it's better if uh, it's better to kill him right now and later be safe. I think. What happened after second Caligula fight? Oh, I defeated Sergal Karas. Welcome back. I defeated Sergal and now I'm defeating all the Moonscorch people. I should be I should be over tonight. Tonight we should definitely complete this. I guess uh, I can just try. I mean, let me let me heal myself. Okay. Let's go. Wait, uh, what have I equipped? Small thing to get uh, the escape. No. I don't need the small thing. Let's put the beheaded wizard. Even if he attacks me, I'm still able to reflect if I have luck. I may use a hardened heart. Hmm. I may use the hardened heart. If he does both attacks in one turn, I'm over. Let's do something. Let's remove the artificial soul. And let's put the, the hardened heart. Let's go. So, Mischief of Rats, just for good luck. Johnny, someone needs to make that meme. Which meme? A seagull molar is the crow molar at home. <laughs> I mean, technically, mm, seagull molar is stronger than the crow molar, in my opinion. So, I don't know. I may just try to go for the... Guys, I have an idea! I have a, a very good idea. I have a very good idea. Follow me, okay? Follow freaking me. Artificial soul. Okay. Follow my plan, okay? Permancy trick on the head. Mist, no worries. I get the battle stone uh, mind back and I can try once again. I just need to wait until I get good luck. Come on. We're gonna hit it eventually. <laughs> eventually! Come on. It's called Fuga Melodies of Steel. Yeah, we, we have the we have the time. We have the time. It has like a 80% evasion on the head, I think. Trap found the run scamming strat. Run scamming. It's a strat. It's a strat, so. Alright. Come on. Fuga is good. Yeah, Fuga is fantastic, especially in this game. Come on, bro. Can I hate you? Does he have 100 evasion like uh, uh, the final boss of ending scene in the first game? Bro, does he have freaking 100 evasion on the head? Am I just getting really unlucky? Um, <laughs> tell me, guys. Am I just getting really unlucky? Okay, yeah, I was just getting... <laughs> I was just getting really unlucky! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, now that the priest is down, we have a new soul stone, and potentially if we reach a new god circle, we may get another one. For now, we are not going to be able to reach one. I don't know what I should take at the accent. Probably I would. I will take a Sylvian spell to heal me, because I'm starting to finish healing stuff. Oh, there is a pillar man. Good night. No. <laughs> I may just kill this one, you know? I have to pass through this part out of time, so I may just kill this one. Literally. Hmm. How do I kill it in a good way? I guess I just use the hardened heart. Or... Hmm. How do we kill the pillar man easily? I guess uh, hardened heart, yeah. 
just to be extra safe. Or I go with two artificial soul to consume less mind possible. Thank you so much for the follow! Who is it? Uh, Mephisto Mephistophilis. Uh, is it pronounced like that? Because Mephistophele is a Mephistophele is something. I don't know if I imp pronounced it incorrectly or no. But still, thank you so much for the follow. Miss you for Fratz, go! And... Uh, maybe it isn't worth it. I mean, we're gonna pass through these a lot of times. I think it's worth it. Burn the torso. Did, it, did I burn the torso? I did burn the torso, indeed. Let's just guard. We are fine. Miss you for Fratz once again. Gee whiz, I just realized I just need 20 more bucks and I'll be on the 900 mile mark. Yeah, you only need 20 bucks. You only need 20 bucks, Gabe. Alright, uh, the torso is stunned. There are some abdominis parts that are not stunned, but whatever. I'm not gonna take too much damage from it. Is it still stunned? The torso is still stunned. We can just wait. No need to rush. Why in God's name does this enemy have individual packs? Because uh, he has a special mechanic in which you can kill him by killing the, 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 the pack that is pulsating. If you kill it while it is pulsating, you're gonna instantly kill it. It's a pretty nice mechanic. Oh, I didn't stun the torso. Uh, let's use it again. Come on. Did I stun it? Okay, I did. We can just wait. Come on. The, the Pex mechanic is very cool. Okay, he had a lot of health, but it's a... Uh, I don't think I can sew off his head. How many bone, bone sews do I have, just to be sure? Four. Let's make an attempt. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it. Final lore fact. These guys are the singers of Olmir's Chore. Oh! Interesting. That's an interesting piece of lore. I think I can kill this one. Harden. That's not a problem. Is that the only thing? Okay. That is the only thing you're gonna do. Let me just burn the torso and you're fine. Miss! Come on. Why does it look like a, you know, uh, what? What, sorry, Captain Branch? I don't see anything similar to this. What are you referring to? Are you referring to a strange symbol that usually referred to a Sylvian or something? Because I don't see it. Where do you see it? I don't see it. Right arm. Oh, the left arm. Uh oh. Do I have the hardened heart? Oh uh oh, I don't have the hardened heart. Am I dead? Mission rats, please hit. How shredded are you? Shredded. What is? What does shredded mean? Wait. Shredded. Tra tortured. Destroyed. What do you mean shredded? Is it a figure of speech or something? Beefed. Um. As, as I said, I'm not at Ragnavaldor level. I'm a more Kahar. I'm, I'm between Kahara and Enki. I'm between Kahara and Enki. Like, I'm between the worst possible and uh, the average. I think. And something missed. What was that? Okay. All the important limbs have been stunned. No worries if he does, if he does a harden or something. Guy muscles are hella toned. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Bellend is killed. There is another Bellend, but I can just juke this one. Now I cannot get stuck anymore because of them. No! No! I'm stupid, I don't have 100 evasion! No! So. No worries, no worries. Uh. We are still gonna do it today. We didn't lose much progresses, no worries, no worries. We are still here, Jesus. We are still here, we just need to kill a couple of Moon Scorched. Bellend used Harden, Harden, yeah. We are not ending tonight anymore. We are ending tonight, there are not a lot of, of contestants missing. There is no reason to stop. I'm gonna continue till I finish. If I don't die too many other times. Also, I'm gonna kill the Bellends uh, as I go. Now I understood the way to defeat uh, all the uh, priests in the way, so we can get more soul stones. There is really no problem. What time is it for you? It is uh, 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 11 p.m. No, um, 20 to midnight. 20 minutes to midnight. It's 20 minutes to midnight. You can do it. Thank you so much, Dorondo. 
We're Dondo Rondo, sorry. <laughs> We're back guys, I'm gonna take dinner, we'll hunger hours, I might come back if Rappos is still on. I will be on. I need to kill a couple of guys. Now we know how to kill the priests, so this is an even better situation than before. This is even better than before, guys. Do you have uni tomorrow? I do have uni, but it should be in the afternoon, so it should be fine. Of course, if this, go if, if this goes on too much, I'm gonna stop regardless. But we have Book of Enlightenment, so we are able to stop, even if in the worst case scenario. Also, tomorrow is not an uh, important lesson, we just have to do a project work. And uh, technically there is no lesson, but we are deciding to meet together, so it's like there is a normal lesson. But uh, there is not supposed to be a lesson tomorrow. Get a gold girlfriend trap. Mm, I'm not into goals, honestly. I'm generally not into goals, uh, pumpkin fights. <laughs> generally, no. I need to find my birth certificate. Certificate. Did you? Oh, did you lose it? Okay, we can kill it uh, with the same strategy I adopted before. I'm also gonna use double. No, uh, small things emit. Uh, not double artificial soul. Otherwise, I cannot escape with 100% chance. You stupid little priest. Gold bros devastated. Okay, let's use Pyromancy trick, cool one, no, so if I'm interested in this game, do I, uh, uh, do I play through one first and the second? Uh, Captain Branch, uh, technically the game, uh, have connected stories, okay? But you uh, are gonna only understand little parts of them if you don't uh, focus a lot on some stuff. Like, there are some references between games, uh, but you are able to fully play one without, like, uh, having, uh, uh, lacking something, because the story of the second game is detached from the one of the, the first one, even though there are some uh, connected things. Oh my dear goodness, Frap, I forgot to ask how forgetful of me. How was the wedding that you went to? Oh, it was fantastic! It was absolutely fantastic, I ate a lot of stuff that was uh, so good, I will never be have the chance to eat that anymore, I think. And, uh, like, uh, the, um, there was also the... the they, th they threw the bouquet, I think it's called the bouquet, right? Uh, it was so funny because uh, there was uh, um, there was the the there, were, there was a big man uh, tall like uh, two two meters uh, that was almost gonna take the bouquet before the <laughs> before the actual girls. No, I just need to copy it for my military application, so I need to find and copy it. Oh, okay. I I remember that you have you are gonna apply for uh, military school. Good good luck, my friend. I hope they take you. I really hope if that's your if that's what you want to do. I hope they take you. Are we going to do the mil? Yeah, he's gonna do the military school. Play the first one before terminate, or you will feel down. Play it the other way around. Mm, I don't agree on the rondo. I feel the first game like it has a lot of bugs, but on the gameplay, um, on the gameplay, on the gameplay uh, side, it's better than Termina. I said it. Termina is far easier. I absolutely agree. Termina gives you a lot of opportunities to get new party members, and also the skills being a lot are just broken. Like uh, seriously, when you make a game this big, there is no way you're gonna be able to balance all the skills. It's very difficult. So yeah, the skills are indeed broken. All right, we're gonna skip the death mask using the exact same strategy I used before. It should work. Come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Death mask is coming. Death mask is coming. Death mask is not co- Oh, there it is. Of course he's coming. Don't forget you have a necromancy. I don't have necromancy, but I don't think it's a good thing to take because I'm gonna lose the opportunity to escape with 100% chance with, uh, with necromancy for how the game is programmed. I should be able to- Uh-oh. Oh. Did I block myself? No, I didn't. Okay, attack this one. We kill him. Then we go back inside and we are good. Termina is way easier. There is OP items and skill that made the game super easy. And in early game, if you recruit Abella, it's basically saved. Yeah, exactly. Abella breaks the game by herself. Even without you wanting to. Abella literally breaks... Can start with Branch Toast, which is the most crazy stuff on Earth. Now we have to enter the battle with the, the Death Mask. Then we go up. To reset the timer, we go down, and we're fine. I could also sew off the head of this moon-scorched villager, but I'm fine. 
Why is Abella so strong? Because of Wrench Toss. Wrench Toss by itself is able to kill the majority of the enemies. And even without uh, uh, starting with Abella, you can still get her as a party member or kill her for, the, for her soul, you know. Like, uh, Abella is able to do stuff that other contestants struggle a lot to do. I think uh, Wrench Toss needs a nerf, honestly. Abella is one of the only characters of Fear and Anger Terminal that I think needs a straight up nerf. I would, I would reduce the probability of uh, Wrench Toss hitting, because in that way, you have to take the gamble. And so people are gonna stop abusing uh, freaking uh, freaking uh, Wrench Toss every time. Wrench Toss is, is uh, not good late game at all, but for the first half, the, uh, she wrecks everyone. Yeah, I said she's able to wreck the majority of the enemies. I was referring mainly to the uh, early game ones, but even in the in the late game, I mean, stunning completely a body part usually, usually is not bad, even in the late game. Let's go to Chu F. Alright. Now we have to kill this Morphe again. Then we go to the Mausoleum and we are fine. I have to remember to keep the freaking uh, um, Small Things Amulet in order to not die. If uh, this Morphia uh, behaves in the same way she behaved before, it's gonna be an easy fight. After that we have three contestants' heads. We can take the freaking Book of Enlightenment and also some more skills, some new skills at the Axon. Osa, Major Abella. Uh, Osa Major Abella, but not at the start. Osa Major Abella, but not at the start. Abella is completely able to carry the whole run. Even in the late game, as I said, stun is always gonna be necessary. Marina Major than Abella. Marina, okay, the poison, but still, the stun is better than the poison, in my opinion. The stun is better than the poison. If you have a skill that poison and another party member, you cannot win. If you have a skill that stuns and another party member, you're settled. That's the that's my TED talk. I don't agree with you. Even if you're doing uh, genocide, you're better off recruiting her and just uh, tanking her to the tower. Yeah, potentially. I prefer one shotting enemies turn one instead of stunning. Also, Marina can do that. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, it's still a viable strategy using Vestos. It's not like since you prefer to one-shot enemies, uh, then stunning them so they don't do anything uh, is is worse. Like, uh, it's even potentially better because the enemies that cannot be one-shot can still get uh, can still be dealt with. I think we need to, t to take a step back to consider better what is uh, a broken skill and what is not a broken skill. Of course, but Marina and Dosa should be nerfed as well if a Belag is getting nerfed. Uh, I mean, you may say something about La Dance Macabre, maybe. And for Marina, I don't know, you mean uh, Toxic Smog? Maybe, yeah. Done with Analyze is not broken. You need to spend a turn to use it. And even then, a lot of enemies have a high health on the head. I think it's balanced. I think it's uh, definitely balanced, Analyze. There is no way Analyze is, is uh, unbalanced. Like, after a certain uh, a certain line, you don't have to nerf anything anymore, in my opinion. Mischief of Rats is broken, yes. Mischief of Rats needs a nerf of some type, maybe an increase in the mine cost could be something. I know you may argue in the late game is basically useless, the nerf on the on the, on the the uh, mine cost, but still it's a nerf. It's not a, it's not sexy, but it's a nerf. You can cast Dan, turn one analyze, then have Abella go for head, and it one-shots any enemy for 20 mind. Listen, you still need to spend one turn. Because uh, not all the enemies are gonna be one-shotable, as I said. Look at Sergal, look at uh, Perkele, look at uh, P Platoon. Like, uh, if you can kill uh, early game enemies, like, early game enemies already have... Uh, it's the same... Uh, it's uh, Marksmanship all over again! Literally, you can already deal with early game enemies regardless of that. You don't need that specifically. That's my TED talk. You cannot, you can not agree with it, but uh, that's what I think about it. You don't care about dealing with early game enemies this much. Like after a certain point, analyze become uh, uh oh oh. <laughs> oh! Go to hell! My strategy is work. <laughs> I didn't stun the, the arm, wait. <laughs> Parry these. 
I stunned the... I, I reflected the, the the attack of the Dysmorphia, that's what happened, uh, Platy. Okay, let's burn the, the torso. I need to burn at one point. The the left arm has been... is bleeding! <laughs> okay, we can just tank the damage from the goal. It's not too, too, too difficult. Yeah. You actually keep Nashva? I did keep Nashva. I like to t <laughs> I like to use Nashva against this. I don't have much better regardless. Okay. Please stun everything once again. Stand and stand. We are good. Let's guard. Now, in the extra turn, we really don't need to do anything. Like, uh, everything is already stunned. We may use this Lavender to gain a little a little bit of mind for the future. Then we guard any, uh, once again because there is no need to. Now, Mission Threats. We are so good, believers. We are definitely good. Najra is carrying the run. Did I stun everything? The left arm wasn't stunned and the goal was... Uh oh, oh. And they cannot cast uh, Mission of Threats. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, spasmic violently. Yeah, I love when you when you, when you spasm violently with your arms. I love it, <laughs> dysmorphia. Continue like that. Continue like that. I like it. Oh no, did the arm avoid it? The arm did avoid it. There is still a chance for him to hit me with the uh, freaking uh, uh, hurting. And there it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the best fight with this Morphia of my freaking life. <laughs> the best fight with this Morphia. <laughs> okay, let's use one of our 34 green herbs and we are good. Can I use the tobacco? No, I have to use the pipe. Okay. Head strat, head strat. <laughs> okay. We are gonna go back, now we are only missing, uh, once again, uh, Pocket Cat, Valkyrie, how is it called? Uh, Pocket Cat, Valkyrie, Mo Va Monster, and... Uh, there was another one, wait, uh, Marco! Marco. Alright. It's doable today, come on. We're almost there. And then there is a Percale, and um, a Rare. But I guess uh, the fight with the Rare shouldn't be too hard. The fight with Rare should be easy. I should get Necromancy before fighting him, probably. But even if I don't get Necromancy, it should be easy. Where am I going? Am I going the correct way? Yeah, I'm going in the correct way, yeah. The Giant, the giant is maybe a problem because he is able to stun us. So if we don't get the Mischief of Rats in, we are dead. If we don't get the Mischief of Rats, but uh, it's a good chance, so we're gonna be fine. Mob is not a problem anymore. Let's go to the Mausoleum. We have some Soul Stones to use. And we have a Book of Enlightenment to take for later. I'm gonna use the Book of Enlightenment if after I kill... Uh... Hmm, should we go for Valkyrie, guys, next? Wait, uh, let's make the it interesting, okay? Let's make a poll. Let's make, let's keep it interesting. Who is next? Katty, Valk, Giant, or Monster? Also, I don't know how to start the battle against the Pocket Cat. I sincerely don't know how to start the battle against the Pocket Cat. We'll see. You guys decide. Monster is winning. <laughs> Giant is winning now. Save cat for last. Oh, we are going uh, in circles, right? We we started this series with the pocket cat. We ending this series with the pocket cat. <laughs> what is this poll for? To decide the next moon scorch contestant we are gonna kill. Random meme. The, the fluted pieces. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get them. I don't know where are they though, Afri. Can you tell me, please? I've never taken them. I've never taken the the pieces. And here there is a priest. Let me keep a 100% escape chance. We are gonna kill you. So you don't stun by a tank shot, but stun by a heavy punch. No, I think it, it throws a boulder at you. He throws a boulder at you, I think. 
It's like a, it's literally the old guardian for the first game. In the museum uh, and one in the mayor's manor basement. I took the, the one in the mayor's manor. Okay, but uh, where in the museum? Like, uh, is there a good way to reach it, or do I just need to explore and I will randomly find it? Easy. Let's get our guaranteed soul stone and another head. Oh, a body throws. Sorry, not a boulder, a body. We are good. Love you guys, be right back. See you later, Eon Star. Top right ish. Uh oh, there is a problem though. There is no top right in the in the museum because it's endless, but I, I guess I understand what you mean. I guess I understand. You got a million challenge challenge views. I did! Guys! We are at one million views on the channel! I'm applauding myself. This is an applause for all of you guys that are following through my playthroughs, my guides. Thank you so much, guys. One million views. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all your support, guys. You're fantastic. One million views. Like, I remember when uh, an Italian YouTuber that I was following when I was very young got to one million views. I was so excited. And <laughs> now I'm literally that YouTuber. Oh. <laughs> wait, a, wait, a, wait a second. I need, I need to drink a little bit. <sighs> We are literally that YouTuber, guys. We are literally that YouTuber. Thank you so much to all of you. I'm so happy to hear that. And I'm so happy to have all of you here with him, with me. No, I'm not crying. I'm not crying, Arfi. No, no, no. There is a glass shard in my, in my eye. I'm not crying. All right, guys. We are going to finish this stupid gameplay today. I swear. First of all, we are going to take down the pillar, man. It's so smart, but I can concede you a golden Kalo token. Use it wisely. Thanks, uh, Crimson Kalo. Have some more respect for Frappolo. Oh. Okay. It's time to deal with the stupid big moron. Come here. Was the YouTuber Sabaku no Maiku? Uh, no, Janji. I wasn't there for Sabaku no Maiku eating one million views. Uh, unfortunately, I, I I knew him afterwards. Uh, but still. I think Sabaku, when Sabaku no Maiku, when I, when I knew Sabaku no Maiku, I think he already had far over uh, 1 million views because he already played all the Souls. Uh, all uh, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 at least. Dark Souls 3 wasn't still out in that precise moment. Wait. Uh, it's still stunned, okay. I have to burn the torso. If we are finishing today, I won't be able to see the ending. It's gonna take you at least one more hour. One more hour? No, it's gonna be done earlier. Pocket Cat, thank you so much for the two dollars, my friend. Oh, the heart. Can you... Uh... Pocket Cat, I'm sorry to ask this, but c can you die in my run? Because uh, if you die, there is one less contestant for me to kill. Can you please? Pretty please? But thank you so much for the two dollars, my friend. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Pokecat is real, oh my god, yeah, Pokecat is real, guys, uh, he's in my chat, <laughs> Pokecat is he was here all along, probably he's breaking up with Pokecat, no, I'm not breaking up, I'm just point. Uh, I'm just politely asking because, uh oh, mm. can you please uh, stun him, come on, did I stun him this time, okay, it's stunned, we're gonna use a mixed herbs uh, to go back to full health uh, just to, for extra precaution. I could have used a glass shard, but whatever. It's over. I love you, Pocket Cat. Die. <laughs> Shillings! Uh, oh, if I wasn't at this spot, I cannot sew off his head. Why am I still doing it? Just kindly asking him to Pocket Cat. Uh, yeah, you should kill yourself now. <laughs> okay. How do we deal with this? Let's keep the hardened heart. I don't care if I'm gonna spend more. Um, more mind in defeating the Bellend. I just want a safe way to be able to deal with him. What, 97? Let's go! There it is, one Bellend. Immediately. Mischief of Rats. Please, at least one arm stand. Poten potentially the, the left one. Javelin. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I lose an arm. No, I don't. I don't lose an arm. Let's stun once again. Come on. Come on, come on. Did I miss the arm once again? Okay, the arm is stunned and the left arm too. Now, we burn the torso immediately because he's gonna take the damage at the end of the turn if we burn it. We did burn it! That's good. 
Now we don't need to reset uh, Mischief of Rats. We can just use a Mixed Herbs. I could heal the bleeding, to be honest. Yeah, I don't need to do anything the next turn also. And I'm uh, infected, but I don't care. I have a 35 green herb, I do, really don't care. That's uh, that's uh, the damage. Uh, because uh, because I have uh, Penphobia pumpkin fights. This is literally a wheelchairless Penphobia. Oh oh, I didn't stand both arms. Please, at least one. Okay, stand both. Good good uh, good trade. Good trade. I don't need to do anything. I can. You know what? I'm gonna glass shard him just to be extra sure. Boom. Yeah, when you allow Belen to attack, he's pretty difficult. I'm gonna try to stun... I don't know if I can stun it, actually, but I'm gonna try. Did I stun it? No. Maybe you cannot stun him. Come on. Left arm is not stunned. Right arm is stunned. That's fine. We don't have a way to deal with the other armor, we just have to guard and pray we don't die. We have the hard and hard, we have everything. We are not supposed to die. Choke? Okay, we are not we were not supposed to die, in fact. Let's go back to heal our uh, our damage and put on this time I'm not gonna forget this freaking small things amulet. Okay. Green herb. Let's smoke a little bit. Okay. Whew. Let's heal also with the mixed herbs. I could at this at this at the ritual circle I could take a Sylvian spell with the the soul stones that I have. One Sylvian spell. Uh, I still have some other soul stones to use. I still have. Wait, actually, I could take Spice Forge at this point. I think I have enough soul stones to take Spice Forge. But if I do that, then I don't have a a, a defense against conflict uh, conflict attacks anymore. Your opinion to pineapple in pizza? I, I I think, like, I don't like it a lot. It's normal. And I think people that say it's terrible, etc. Thanks so much for the follow, Neo. People that say it's terrible are just too uh, related to traditions and stuff. I think we need to take a step back and uh, stop uh, trying to do things traditionally because uh, that's the way of the future. Like, evolution means changing something. Not all the changings are evolutions, but... Uh, all the evolutions are uh, changings. Uh, am I gonna get... Uh oh Am I gonna get blocked? No. Okay, easy. Did he follow me all the way over there? Chocolate on pizza? I've never tried, but I know there is a restaurant that does that, uh, and it seems delicious. It generally seems delicious. That's actually pretty insightful. Thanks. The run hasn't ended, yes! The run has not ended and it's going quite good. It's definitely going quite good. Let me enter! Okay. We are fine. Yellow va- uh, useless. Blue herb is good. Ketchup on pizza is so good, especially pepperoni pizza. I mean, if you like it. Uh, one time I tried it. Uh, it was not too bad, but uh, nothing too special. Arrow dogs tacos. Uh, I don't know. I uh, No? Wait, what do you mean? Mm, don't think so. Oh, I have two soul stones, uh, not three. Oh, that's because I forgot to offer the heads. Well, we can still get uh, pheromones. No, only pheromones, uh, then that's useless for now. That's useless. I could get flesh puppetry. I could get flesh puppetry, you know. Warding sigil seems useless. Advanced occultism is basically a joke in this situation specifically. Melee proficiency, undergrowth awareness, poison tip, toxicology, hurting, necromancy. I could take hurting to be able to do something in the moments in which I don't actually use a pyromancy trick. Or I could take La Danse Macabre. I think I'm gonna take La Danse Macabre to do slightly more damage. And then I'm also more near to Spice Forge and Greater Meditation. If I take La Dance Macabre... Can I La Dance Macabre while I'm I'm without the wheelchair? Hi, Paul, I've been watching your videos for a while. Now I'm, I'm really glad to see you. Oh, thank you so much, Raul Veles. I'm, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Which one I think I'm sending King Solomon? The Pole. All right, the Pole. Oh, no. You want me to kill Pocket Cat first? Uh-oh. How do I start the battle with Pocket Cat, guys? Tell me. 
How do I start the battle with Pocket Cat? How do I start the battle with Pocket Cat in this difficulty? I don't know how to do that. Okay, I'm gonna take La Dance Macabre. And then... Uh, Roots That Rip seems bad. I could take uh, Hurting. He's an indie museum, but can I attack him? We need a host channel where we can share our favorite soundtracks. I could think about that, Gecko. That seems a good idea. I can potentially do it. Do we have to fight? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Pocket Cat. I know I asked you to kill yourself so we, do, we didn't have to fight, but apparently we do have to fight. Okay, I'm gonna take Hurting. I need a way to deal some damage that is not Dot. I think. I think. Hmm. I could take Blood Sacrifice to get increased affinity with Grow Growth. Blood Sacrifice sounds good, actually. Mm. Make Love Not War Frap. Make a marriage with Pocket Cat. You played Terraria? I did play Terraria Diablo. I finished it in Master Difficulty, if it's called the one after Expert. Okay, for now I'm gonna take... Uh, I could take Blood Sacrifice as a long-term investment. And I'm probably gonna do it. I'm gonna still travel back to the to the church, and in the church there is a Grogroth sigil, so I can just get one free level of affinity with Grogroth, to later be able to get uh, potentially uh, Rod Golem. Okay. Uh oh. I mean, we can kill this one. We don't have to care about him if we kill him. Let's keep the, the hardened heart just for good luck. And pipe with the tobacco, and we're good. Let's go. Please stun at least one arm, otherwise we are over. Press F5 for a surprise. Yeah, I know the surprise. Not interested. Okay, we stunned both the parts. Now pyromancy trick. Easy. Burnt. We can just wait. Now we have to use once again mischief, mischief frats. Whew. We can do it. One million views, guys. You're fantastic. One freaking million. Best wife, Pocket Cat or Black Caleb? Pocket Cat. No need, not need, not even need to ask. Pocket Cat is the best wife. Press the power button for a surprise. Uh, I could do that, you know. My power button is broken. <laughs> So, uh, left arm, right arm, we can just guard once again. One million, wow, my heart is warm. Yeah, we got one million views total in the channel. Also, let me try to blind him once again. Pocket Caleb. Is he stunned yet? Uh, he's still stunned. Let me just guard. You have the objectively wrong opinion if you say Caleb. Power button actually works, 3% chance for it to work. Yeah, it's the, it's a worse, uh, it's a freaking worse, uh, how is it called? Branch toss. Here we are. How are we gonna reach the museum? I reached it uh, one time by going uh, up here. I guess it's gonna work once again. I guess it's gonna work once again. I could take the items here, but I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop moving. Following this path worked one time. It was, it was gonna work always. I mean, killing Pocket Cat is very bad though. If we kill Pocket Cat, we cannot buy Book of Enlightenment anymore. And I think I, sh I would be able to buy another Book of Enlightenment. I would definitely be able to, by killing other, other contestants. Punch your monitor for free glass shards. <gasps> That's true! I didn't think about it. That's that could be a cool, a cool strat. Alright, uh, it's time to find uh, the fluted arm piece. It's time to find the freaking fluted arm piece. Someone said in the top right-ish. Let's try to go somewhere near the top right to see if we're able to find something. Here there is the entrance to the clock, uh, if I remember correctly. Mm. Boom. I like the music in the museum. Pretty chill. Also, I found the room with the stuff. Uh, I'm gonna take both the Chak Chak and the Yege Getsu armor. Oh, there it is! I found it! I found the... The Fluted Armor is just near the other stuff. Okay. Glass shirt. Glass shirt. Flut fluted Breastplate. Alright. Oh, wait. Where is the Fluted Arm pieces? Where is the Fluted Arm pieces, guys? Is it still in the museum, Po? Welcome. Maybe it's finally time to kill Po. To see what does he drop. I mean, if he just does uh, 
Conflict attacks. I may also farm on him. Battle stone, artificial soul, ardent heart. Yeah. I don't even need to care about what I take as long as I freaking uh, pay attention to guard every time. No, okay, so it's still in the museum, Gecko. My question was if it was still in the museum. Calm down, my friend. No need to be angry about what I say. You have knowledge in RPG Maker. Do you want to do uh, uh, your game? What do you mean do I'm... Um, oh, uh, uh, do my game. Mm. Can I burn the genie? I'm not interested to do my game, though, because uh, I'm, I don't have this enough skills to do that. I don't think I can burn the genie at this point. Yeah, we're just gonna escape. Let's put on the small things amulet so we don't need to actually do this little theater every time. So one fluted arm piece was there. I can presume the other one is far from that. Just an, ass an assumption. Poe is gonna follow. Oh, uh, Poe is gonna follow me through the whole museum. Sorry for Polo, peace in the museum. Yeah, no worries, I'm not... I wasn't angry, but uh, thanks. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify it if it was still in the museum, that's the reason. Hmm. Alright, maybe if one was on the right, the other one is gonna be on the left. And I'm back at the entrance, let's try to go to the left this time. If one was on the right, maybe they are like specular or something, maybe not. But uh, it's like the only thing that I can try for now. Ah! I'm not sorry. You, you you said uh, you said you're sorry. Are you a tsundere? <laughs> Are you a tsundere, Gecko? <laughs> we finally, after all this time, we discovered the point. Gecko is a tsundere. <laughs> finally, we realized the problem. So, piece of chalk. You and your to tomfoolery. What a bad boy. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, doggo. How do I find the fluted arm piece? I feel they are somewhere around here. That that uh, that that armor prevents limb losses, if I remember correctly. That's not bad at all. That's absolutely not bad. Maybe at the end of this long corridor. Hmm. If they. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, Tanaka. <laughs> For a second, I, I wasn't understanding what was that. For a second, I wasn't literally understanding it. There, there are the museum pieces. How do you fit your enemies? Call them Atsundere. <laughs> I'm gonna go smoke. If the stream will keep going, uh, my jaw will drop. Okay. See you later, Christex. Hmm. Where do I find the fluted arm piece? Am I that stupid that I'm not able to find a freaking arm piece in a museum that is supposed to have a lot of arm pieces? Oh, but the, the poor. He's scaring me a little bit. Hmm. Where are the arm pieces gonna be? Trap is the real tsundere. Am I a tsundere? You think so? Oh, That's so cute. Maybe up here. Near pocket cut if I'm not wrong. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jack. I'm gonna try to go near pocket cut. I mean, I have to go near pocket cut regardless in order to, to get uh, freaking... Uh, how is my food bar? Okay. I need to get freaking Book of Enlightenment. And still... Let's see. Pocket cut should be here. No. Pocket cut says no. <laughs> oh, I can enter... I, I can just attack him. Okay. Can we do business? Let's take another Book of Enlightenment. Imagine once you loot the pocket cut, you like get a lot of stuff, like Book of Enlightenment, uh, uh, Skin Bibles, uh, Skin Bible of Rare. Chupos! I may actually get stun locked by these Chupos, so I have to pay attention. I may exit the museum and go, and go back inside at this point. Hmm... Where are the freaking fluted arm pieces? Okay, one Poe stopped following me, I think. Oh, there, here they are! Found them. We can finally craft it. Let's see the power, shall we? Fluted armor. My agility goes down to 16 with this. With a small things amulet. So with two small things amulet, I still can escape. But this gives me tremendous protection against the slash, pierce, and blunt. Fire, not a lot. 
But there are not a lot of fire enemies where you run. If you loot Pocket Cat, I'm surprised you didn't find the chat. <laughs> Alright. I don't think we should fight Pocket Cat now, though. Like, you guys voted him, but uh, if I fight him, I then have to defeat Caligula, uh, Marco, and uh, uh, Valkyrie without being able to... Uh, can Pocket Cat be stunned? I think he can. If he can't, there is no problem. I have uh, protection against limb losses. Uh, no, guys, uh, I'm gonna ignore... Ah, arm guards. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore what you said in the poll. And I'm gonna go for someone else. I'm gonna make another poll without Pocket Cat. Pocket Cat is needed in order to get Book of Enlightenment. Actually, no, wait! I cannot get other Book of Enlightenment. Wait, no, I can't! Reason a little bit with me. I cannot take the head of Caligula. I could take, like, the, the head of Levi if I wanted, but I don't want to go back down there. I guess I will have to at this point. We need to go back there for the moldy apartments. Yeah. Okay, okay, no, no, no. We can do it. Yeah. We're gonna wait. We need to go back for the moldy apartments. Levi, Shagnar, Valkyrie. Shagnar, I cannot sew off her head. I cannot sew off the head of Shagnar. Also, Shagnar is already dead. Levi already saw off the head, but there is doppelganger Levi in the sewers, and I have to pass through there in order to reach, uh, in order to reach the moldy apartments. So I can just go there. Olivia doppelganger, or uh, no, Olivia doppelganger is in the is in the forest, not doable. Marina doppelganger wasn't present in the bookstore. I don't know why. Marina doppelganger wasn't in the bookstore for some reason. Also, we may kill the other Belen that is inside of the that is uh, inside of the uh, blocking the way. After that, the road sh should be secured. Too far, exactly, for Marina. The bookstore is a little bit too far. Okay. How do we do this? Here there should be a Belend. Uh, b b b b Belend. Uh, go goodbye. No. Mm. Later we have to fight him. Later we absolutely have to fight him. Or maybe now. I mean, no, if I miss with the Mischief of Rats, I'm over. Here we are. Whew. I need to remember I have, to, I have some heads to offer. Priest and Belland. If we can get another head, that's another soul stone, which is another uh, skill. Do you play Code Vein? I don't play Diablo Code Vein. I don't play it, unfortunately. We can escape from this one. Do we have a uh, choose small things emulate? We do. Have you watched Cat in the Hat movie? Oh, I did! I love that movie, Dexy. I, I, I rewatched it recently also. Because uh, there was a, a, a moment recent uh, in which I wanted to look at a lot of stuff that I watched when I was a child. And uh, 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 Cat in the Hat is one of those movies. I freaking love it. Like, there are some weird moments, uh, especially with, like, uh, the... Um, the, the the mother of the child uh, and the fact that the cat in the hat uh, loves to I don't know uh, uh, it's it's weird like uh, he's a cat but he loves uh, uh, human women uh, it's a little strange on that yeah the animated one not the I mean not the the, the live action the live action uh. I'm guessing Mazumod is like hard mode from the OG Fear and Hunger technically no it's way different uh, in as Apostle because. Uh, in Mazo mode, you start. This game works with the days. You can do stuff in all the three days. Mazo mode basically starts on the day three, so it's not exactly hard mode because in hard mode you still start from the same point and in the same moment. But here, your gameplay is completely conditioned by the moment in which you play. <laughs> Pocket Cat, Pocket Cat Ancestor. <laughs> it's just a good version of Pocket Cat. I mean, good version. I mean the. The thing is based on, I think it's pretty creepy, if I remember correctly. I may be wrong, but if I remember correctly, the thing he's based on is pretty creepy. Wait a second. How much ha how much evasion does uh, the old lady have? How much agility, sorry. Because if she has uh, less than... She has 13 agility, we may be able to juke her using the small things amulets now. 
Do you think a hard mode on day one could be interesting? I think uh, I would love a mode with the same things of Mazo mode, like the Moon Scorched guys, etc. But on day one, so you have all the time you want, like a sort of terror and starvation, it would be like. Where am I going? I have to, do, to go down. Imagine me rewatching after Fear and Anger. Uh, are we gonna kill Valkyrie, guys? Do you think we should kill Valkyrie now? Hmm. I've never faced Valkyrie. I really want to face her. I'm gonna face Valkyrie. She has 15. Jesus, we were almost there. We were almost arrived to 30 agility. We still don't have a 100% escape chance against Valkyrie. Uh, against the uh, old lady, sorry. I'm gonna fight Valkyrie now. 1F. Here we go. Have you seen an orange planning to add fishing in Termina? Oh, I did, uh, Diavolo! That's uh, interesting. I'm not too hyped for the fishing minigame because I don't care, but the Luna Park zone you were in when you played the fishing minigame seems very interesting. Thank you so much for the follow, wait, uh, who is it? Uh, Igor Dutra, thank you so much, my friend. All right, here we are. It's time to pop the Book of Enlightenment. And... Boom. You feel closer to Enlightenment. It's time, guys. It's time to defeat Valkyrie. How do we approach the fight? I'm gonna keep the fluted armor to have defense in case I'm not able to um, to stun her. Then, in which channel do we send pictures? You can send them on Frapt's Art Museum, or if uh, like if they are not uh, like image, uh, if they are not drawings you made, you can also send them in general or in memes, uh, depending on from what they are. They, they, those are not uh, strict rules, so you can just uh, do whatever based on the situation you're in. Okay, uh, good luck with the fight. Thank you so much, Ojenji. I, I think I will need it, uh, and we will see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna have uh, double... No, only one small thing in is enough. I'm gonna have uh, Plank Shield to reduce the damage even more. Nah. <laughs> chuck, chuck. I mean, Chuck Chuck is gonna increase the magical damage, and they also have La Dance Macabre, if I remember correctly. I don't have anything else. She doesn't do magical attack, if I remember correctly. Artificial Soul, I guess. No, wait, not Artificial Soul. Uh, Battlestone. Battlestone can potentially give me more value than Artificial Stone in this moment. It's time. I still don't know what happens. I just know I have to interact with this, step on board. Um, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, am I gonna get Moon Scorched? Hmm. Hello? Uh, Valkyrie? Hello? Hello? Oh! Uh, oh, oh! 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 Okay. Uh, we need to add a pocket cut, to po a pocket pocket cut, so we can be always with you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm not full mind. Maybe. I, I think I lost that mind uh, while I was traveling here. Can I stun her? Uh, how many body parts? Sorry? Is I mean towards you? How can I even deal with this? Stun, 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 stun. Everything is stunned. What did it hit me? So she's able to hit me even with even being stunned. That's bad. That's very bad. I need to put uh, the freaking pyromancy trick though. The closer auto attack, yeah. That's a problem, but I think if I guard, I'm barely able to resist. Closer times two. Okay. Mm. Okay, we're fine. Uh, mixed herbs, I guess. Now. I did uh, uh, burn her. We have the poison close. They're not gonna one-shot me. I need to use Misty for Frats here. 1 HP? Yeah, because I have uh, Hardened Heart. Oh, I missed something. Uh-oh. Uh Balan is aiming. We're fine. Did I stun everything? 
No, we didn't stun everything, but only one bell in this aiming at me. I guess that's a sign. Hmm. Do I need to heal me? In the yeah, I do need to heal me in this turn. Not like I can do much else, but still. Let's guard once again. Mm-hmm. Close. Javelin, we are gonna tank with the Hardened Heart. Now, I don't have enough mind to do Mischief Threats. That's very bad. I think I lost. I genuinely think I lost. There is no way I'm able to stun. But uh, maybe she she does only uh, automatic attacks. Maybe. Wait, uh, did I finish? I finished the... Oh no, the, I finished the healing items. I have only this one. Then it's Jover. I could have used the glass shards earlier in the battle. I think I deserve to lose now. I deserve to lose. We're gonna go back here with more knowledge. Aiming towards me. I'm still alive. How am I still alive, bro? I finished everything to heal. I have the blue herbs. I mean, they're not a lot. Come on. Oh! <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Let's go back to the to the ship. Let's go back to the ship. Come on. I'm never gonna be able to have this fight once again. Never. Enter. Come on. Sail quickly, quickly. Okay. I have to enter the house. I'm never gonna be able to have a fight like this once again. There is a problem though. I, I finished the freaking healing items. I have some blue herbs, but I don't have red herbs to combine them into uh, mixed herbs. I can craft a soul stone. Okay. Oh wait, I could have used another... Oh, whatever. You all doubt that I stood my ground. <laughs> Thanks, pumpkin fights. Okay. We are only missing uh, Caligula, Marco, and uh, Pocket Cat. I could use the blue herbs to make a light blue vial, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a light blue vial. There is no reason to not do that. Uh, also, let me regain... Uh, let me regain uh, extra agility to be able to escape. Okay, let's go back. Thank you so much for the follow, who is it? Uh, Dr. Uranus, uh, thank you so much, my friend. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the... Um, uh, I'm gonna go back to the mausoleum and Donovan's house to get uh, the skill of the self-pleasure on the Axen. With that, uh, I'm able to go and get extra affinity on Sylvian Circle and Grogoroth Circle. I think that's a good plan. But what am I doing with that extra affinity? Uh, Chua. Begging you to make healing items. Then soul give uh, an access to Loving Whispers? No, Diavolo. It doesn't. Uh, Loving Whispers is only selectable if you play as Dan uh, in the intro. Like, uh, the, the, the Dan soul is not connected to uh, Loving Whispers in other ways. Let's go to the mausoleum. Black Smog, of course. No, I, I'm not gonna use Black Smog. I don't like it. I'm not gonna use it. I know it's very good, but I don't like it. No Black Smog for me. Will you get Black Orb? I don't think we will need Black Orb, honestly. I think Pyromancy Trick is enough. Welcome back, Eon Star. Welcome back, my friend. We are only missing uh, uh, Pocket Cat, Marco, and Caligula. They are all we are missing for the event to be completed. <laughs> Even if I go back, mm, do I really need... Uh, yeah, I do need a Sylvian healing spell, actually. Where am I even going? Then is the fruit of a marriage... Mm, yes. Rare can't be burnt. We are gonna defeat Rare with pure damage, uh, Rupa. Literally, blood golem and a lot of and a lot of dreams. That's how we're gonna defeat Rare. Blood golem and a dream. But thank you so much for reminding me because I didn't remind it. Pure damage, my friend. Freaking pure damage. <laughs> Can rare be poison? That's a good question. Can rare be poison? I don't know that. 
Blood Golem is gonna be a part of the of the strategy for sure. Would you remove your penphobia or are we going like chads? We are going like sad like chads. I still think uh, removing the penphobia is a glitch from uh, uh, freaking uh, uh, needles. We are going in like chads. Where I can't have any status ailments or anything. Okay, then we are gonna have uh, a lot of damage with other stuff. We may actually get black orb in that case. Wait, uh, did I saw off the head of this one? Oh, okay. I think Rev is the only creature in the game with immunity to everything. Oh, interesting. That's pretty interesting. Let's get self-pleasure skills so we can get Sylvia and stuff. I'm gonna get Pheromones. Blood Golem is gonna be is gonna be my my best friend in this case. Also, here we may actually kill the Bellend. Hey, wait. Why is there a Bellend here? Not this Bellend. I was talking about the other one. Also, hmm. No, I don't know if it's a good idea to engage something in combat now, because I don't have healing items. It's impossible to have an item if only if you fight rare. Um, it technically seems so. But I may... You may be able to, like, if you have, like, 99 ornament lantern, you may literally be able to kill him by just uh, dealing damage with the lanterns. But still... Maybe it's doable, item only. We will see. There's still a lot of experimentation that needs to be done in order for, for me to understand how does this game work exactly. So for now I still think uh, item only is doable. Maybe later I, I will be... I will be... Uh, I will not think it anymore, but for now I think it. So, we're gonna reach the Hexen in Donovan's house. With that, we're gonna get uh, freaking self-pleasure skill. Then we're gonna go back to the Mayor's Manor. Uh, oh, she drifted. Did you see that? She drifted. Can you even fight Rare Masochist mod? You, you can. You can. That's what we're doing now, Ryan. All that we're doing uh, is in order to reach Rare. Everything. You have to die against Needles with Zero Mindo and only works once because second time you die to Needles, he kills you exactly. In order to remove Penphobia. Alright. It's time. Also, the Gold Brothers are not following me. Are not following me, by the way. Are not following me, by the way. I don't know if I bugged something, but uh, we take it. We take it. So, here it's time to take a, a self-pleasure skill. Easy. Now it's time to kill stuff. We can actually kill a lot of enemies and get a lot of, a lot of heads. We just had the craziest win against Valkyrie. Yeah, Pistachios. I've never fought Valkyrie in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So, I didn't even know what she did. Uh, like a uh, the the aim, the Belland aiming at me. Like can I can I can I destroy the Belland on her back or something, or are they like immortal? It it would be interesting to like try to defeat all the enemies by destroying all the limbs before trying to take down the torso in the head. That could be a cool a cool challenge, like a a, a done analyzed body challenge or something, where you need to kill all the body parts to understand how they work before being able to defeat them. Where is that comic where Oza goes, uh, guess uh, who just learned how to... <laughs> it's on the... I think they posted it both in my Discord server and in the original Fear and Danger Discord server. Also, let me, let me drink a little bit. Come on. Dance solo. Dance solo! <laughs> yeah. I remember that... Uh, I remember that, uh, that image. I love it. That's a risky promise. Dance solo challenge. I mean, dance solo challenge is perfectly doable. If Olivia will challenge, is doable. But still, doing done with this limitation of having to defeat all the limbs may actually be a a, a, sim a sympathic challenge. We will see it. Does self pressure have uh, a sus animation? Technically, it does, uh, but uh, it's not like you can see anything with it. So you naughty naughty people, you will not see anything. Now, Rupa, it's not simple uh, than solo. It's a solo in which you have to kill all the limbs before being able to kill the torso or the head. Or whatever, the part that is keeping the enemy alive. I think it could be interesting. It would just uh, devolve into using AoE damage with, like, murky vial, maybe? Or roots that rip. Any other restrictions? Uh, Maso mode, I guess. Uh, and uh, not much else. Maybe you can't use uh, you ca you can't use status effects. Okay, you can't use poison and you can't use uh, uh, burn. 
Yes, for Polo, typical challenge run when it gets into motion for beating everything with insane luck and skill and classic. Since ever actually, good job on killing Valk, I missed it. I'm, I'm sad you missed it, Gabe, but thank you so much. We are, we are gonna see when we kill Marco, when we kill uh, Pocket Cut, and when we kill freaking uh, Caligula. Also, tell me something, guys. Is a uh, uh, Caligula attack with all the the, the legs uh, an automatic attack or not? Because if it is an automatic attack, it may be difficult. No arms, no spell, magic, no items, fist only on killing everything. Marco, easy, easy, easy with Marco. So easy. It's just that easy. Exactly. It's a Marco challenge, Don Doronda. First of all, by the way, just remember something. If you feel bad one day because of you saying your girlfriend to the girl, my brother once said, Oak, of, uh, Oak that he liked little girl. Oh! <laughs> so little did he know his words would have been taken out of context. I mean, even in context, those words are pretty... Eh! Okay. Just to be safe, I'm gonna get a light blue vial to be sure I don't die on the freaking ritual circle. Blood Sacrifice. Forgot to mention that Marco is banned. Had to do that challenge because of Mao the Duke. Oh, okay. But it's still doable, it's still doable. Like, I don't see too many difficulties. You can still run. It's not a... Can you do that challenge on top of Olivia Wheelchairless? <laughs> you can't. You literally cannot deal damage to the enemies. You can do it on Mazo and it will be fun to watch. We will see. We will see. For now, after I finish this challenge, I will take a little break from Termina challenges. Maybe we will go back to Fear and Hunger 1. I'm missing playing Fear and Hunger, Fear and Hunger 1, actually. I'm missing playing it. What about to add heroin dependency to more cha- <gasps> You're right, Diavolo. We are not abusing the heroin mechanic. We have to add that to all the possible challenges that I can figure out. We're fine, one body. We're fine. What can we even kill with one body? Mm. Maybe I should have thought this better. I should have generally thought this better. How am I gonna <laughs> do anything? Dark blue root, I guess. I could farm with a moon scope. I can't believe what I'm gonna do. Uh, guys, uh, try to second me, okay? Second me for what I'm gonna do. No need to worry. Second me. We are fine. We are fine, guys. We are fine. We are fine. No, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me. We are so fine, you have no idea. Uh, what do you want me to clip? Clip what? Homeland Saga Season 3? Yeah, we're gonna farm uh, health region on this freaking moon scores person. I must ask, will you censor Caligula? Considering he's all go no, I mean uh, it's not so clear. Like uh, even Sylvian in the first game uh, has uh, uh, something that is misunderstandable on herself, uh, and I've never censored it. So no, like uh, it's not uh, that. Okay, let's just wait. I could put the farming music. <laughs> What is happening? Apenas EU, we are farming health and mind on this stupid moron. I, I took so long to notice that I actually have infinite dark blue roots in my inventory, which are basically Ring of Wraiths. Like, I do this, and I use a Ring of Wraiths. Is this from Black Souls music? It is Diavolo. It is from Black Souls. This is Wonderland. Alright, we finished the mind region. Now we just need to go for the uh, health region. Also, if I get pipe, uh, pipe uh, branch toss, I can combine it with the uh, Leechmonger Ring to get uh, infinite health, basically, as long as the enemy does only single hit attacks. Hmm. Alright. I have 69 health. No, not anymore. 
I enjoy using these uh, exploits in order to use me to abuse mechanics. Like even the region. Usually it's 5 health is not a lot, so it's balanced. Like this it becomes broken immediately. Clip. Extra turns uh, and uh, not attacking uh, enemies are the most broken things. Uh, after uh, status effects or something. Speaking of uh, Black Souls, uh, can one get to play it without age content? Yeah, Don Dorondo. When you start it, uh, uh, Alice will, uh, will ask you if you are if you want to see that stuff or not. If you say no, you can uh, play it without age stuff. You can also change that option later. There is a place in which you can change it. But still, you can start it without uh, age scenes. Uh, yes. Absolutely. All right, uh, we're fine. Let's go back. Wait, uh, I have to remove the farming music. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yes, uh, which is my favorite Alice. Had to defend me on that day when I talked about uh, favorite characters. Uh, wait, uh, the, the comment went above. Uh, uh, because uh, I'm not pedos, where if I tell them? Uh, 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 Gabe is not a pedo, okay. So Black Souls is YouTube appropriate. Uh, Rupa, yeah, if you play it with the uh, with the option that doesn't show age scenes, uh, except for some enemies uh, that are uh, not censored, uh, it is uh, YouTube appro uh, appropriate. I played it on YouTube in that uh, situation and it worked pretty well. All right, now, what do we do? We have to go kill Marco. For Marco, we go here. He, I don't have helmets that uh, protect from... Uh, do you want to play... I'm, I'm interested now, since you mentioned it. Do you want to play uh, Black Souls, Rupa? Because if you want to, I would look that uh, so, from time to time. Like, uh, there are a very few content creators that bring Black Souls. Uh, there is White Wings of Ilia. And White Wings of Ilia is also one of my friends on the Discord. Uh, we also... Uh, we also helped each other for a challenge which we completed, the Black Souls 1, Soul Level, na uh, Soul Level 1, Difficulty 9, and it's doable. I also made an, a little cameo on this channel, like uh, doing, uh, doing the challenge, uh, there is one video in which literally uh, I appear and he says, uh, subscribe to Profold or something. How do you even download Black Souls? I can only find things for Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 2. Uh, uh, write F95. You can get Black Souls there pretty easily. The Soul Level 1 Difficulty 9 video is nice. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Uh, I loved uh, uh, helping uh, help helping him. I don't know if you guys know how his White Wings of Ilya called. I was, I was almost going to say his name, so I guess it's better if I don't. Uh, I love to help him uh, in making it, uh, and uh, we had a lot of fun together. But Cape, do you really believe you? I already said later, my brother said once out of context, uh, literally, that he liked little girls, and I know he's in one. He doesn't even uh, like little girls in general. Oh, okay. My boy is a gay fan boy. <laughs> Black Souls and, and that Lona RPG on your channel both seem very niche. Lona, I placed it in 18 plus restriction because even if nothing is showed because I censored basically everything, uh, the problem is uh, I was scared uh, YouTube may have uh, may have gone nuts on my channel and just destroyed it because of Lona. So I just set it to 18 plus just to be extra safe. But Black Souls. Uh, uh, is absolutely safe because even dialogues uh, are are cool. There are no particularly wrong dialogues in it, or at least if they are, I censor them. Good night, ninety nine. Thank you so much for coming, my friend. Everyone, how are? Uh, te I've, I've seen one ten hour long Russian video about Black Souls two. One ten hour long, Jesus. Uh, Rupa, tell me, is the uh, arms from Caligula an auto attack or not? Like, if I stun him, is he gonna do that or no? I think something like that happened with Katsuki channel. I think, yeah, because uh, Katsuki didn't censor anything in Lone RPG and didn't restrict it to minor. So, that happened. Is this thing going to be the actual finale? Pistachios, uh, read the title. It's finale part two. It is gonna be the actual finale. Wait, uh, did I write part two in the title? I think vomit is auto attack and one arm is auto attack. One? What do you mean one? I may be wrong. The problem is, if you are wrong, we die. Literally. If you are wrong, we die. 
I mean, I have one book of enlightenment, right? No, I don't. Did I use? Oh, I used it before uh, Valkyrie. Yeah. This is one. Versus two is this possible at soul level one. Yeah, both are possible at soul level one. Even if you don't cut off his, ar his arms, he still gets one uh, hanky panky slap. Hmm. I may need Blood Golem to deal with him. I may genuinely need Blood Golem. And for Blood Golem I need more stuff. Uh, I want to go to sleep but I also want to be here for the grand finale. I hope it's gonna be achievable before one hour and a half. Because after that point I think I want to go to sleep too. He can be blinded. Yeah, but I can fail the blind. Also, here there is a, a old lady, if I remember correctly. Hmm... Marco is definitely doable. Does Marco have stun resistance? I think he doesn't. And if he doesn't, it's doable, otherwise it's a nightmare. Mm. Stop folding the, the blind. I, uh, you're right, I should be. I should definitely be better at the game. I, I have some skill issues that I will never be able to overcome. Where did you download Lone RPG? Uh, I bought it, of course, Gabe. What do you mean? <laughs> on itch.io You wanted a cracked version of Lona? I don't know where to find it. I don't even know if there is an updated Lone RPG version out there. So, good luck. Alright, how do we deal with uh, uh, Levi? With Levi we deal using... Uh, freaking... I don't even need to deal with him, like... Uh, even if I take damage, I'm gonna be able to heal myself. I'm gonna take the heart and heart just for extra precaution in case I don't die. And I guess uh, artificial soul... From the talking of forbidden knowledge. Okay, I don't even need to use mischief of rats, honestly. I can just go for the head. Goodbye! Boop! Bro. Olivia. We need to talk about this. You have to stop missing heads. Okay. Olivia, you have a serious problem with this. In particular, Levi. Is she in love with Levi or something? Why does she keep missing? Hmm. There's something weird going on here. Also, you have to be to pay attention to the to the old lady. There is an old lady here that still isn't dead. Also, let me keep one uh, small thing separate, so otherwise we don't have the extra turn. Forty percent chance of evasion. No, uh, he had weakness on the head because he doesn't have legs anymore, so the evasion is zero. Literally. Mm. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> if we die when we go back. Good night. Oh, thank you so much for coming, uh, Pladi. Good night. The Olivia Mind Read demo dialogue with Levi is so fucking funny. What does she say? Bro, read the Mind Read lore or watch the Mind Read with no commentary made and you will know. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do it later then. Alright, let's farm a little bit of uh, health and mind using the obelisk. This is the other forbidden strat. Am I able to farm mind against the obelisk is the real question. Because I think I'm not able. I think uh, I will take more damage than uh, he uh, deals. I, I will take more, more uh, mind damage. I have two soul devourer necklace, the yellow mage robes and the death mask. Are we freaking able to do that? Let's see. 7 or 10 mind damage. We will see. Because remember I have also panphobia on the rondo. I think mind damage is affected as well. We are still 90 spectators, Jesus, watching this. Let's go, attacker. Let's see what happens. If I guard... 22. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna heal myself, I'm gonna do a regen, then the other stuff is gonna be achieved somewhere else. Miss! The obelisk can miss. Okay. 
Whatever. Shivers, yeah. Obelisk is too strong to be able to counter the damage of uh, on mine. Yeah, the phobia hit very hard. If I if I didn't have uh, if I if I had the blood golem and the pheromones in this moment, I could use pheromones on the blood golem so the blood golem loses the sanity, but I don't. Best boss, Simon. <laughs> I mean, it's not a boss; it's a joke. What even is the lore behind the obelisk? Pile of clothes. What did I miss? Welcome back, Conductor. We're only missing uh, Caligula, Marco, and Pocket Cut. After that, uh, it's Jover. After that, we can go to fight Perkale and Rare. Isn't Shivers a multi-target ability? No, it is not, Rupa. It's only... Uh, it's a single target one. Single target. I can guarantee I tested it. In my run, in which I finished the game for the first time, I think, I used this, one, this specific method to farm mind. Alright. I mean, for now I don't need to replenish my mind, I don't need to fight to fight anything. Let me save the mind healing items. Small thing. And small thing. And let's go back to the fluted armor. We have 20 agility and we are in the best armor of the game. Potentially, debatably. The obelisk makes me uncomfortable for a very stupid reason. The sound, Afri. Uh, the sound, or maybe the clothes uh, that are present inside of the obelisk. For me, it's the sound. I hate the sound of the clothes. I think I know where to find one. Obelisk just is just chilling, guys. Just chilling. No worries. Uh oh. Mm. No, I'm not gonna fight you. You stupid moron. Okay, you're here. Juked. Easy. If we go back to the orphanage, we can uh, self-pleasure and uh, uh, sacri blood sacrifice, I guess. I think that's uh, that's worth it. That's definitely worth it. Also, I can kill some uh, stupid... Uh, oh, oh, a bellend! I forgot there was a bellend here. Right. Gotta go see ya, guys. Good luck with the rest of the run. Thank you so much, Janji. See ya. Thanks so much for coming. Oh no, there is an umbrella. I know what do I what I need the mind for. Hmm. I know what I need the mind for. Mm-hmm. I think I can uh, I can juke uh, in quotation mark the umbrella. Did I juke him? Can I enter inside of the place now? No, I didn't! Hmm. Now I have to fight him, otherwise I'm gonna die because of rare. Okay, let's use a pipe. Oh oh! I'm losing time! Hmm. I'm able to win with 30 mind. What is my equipment? Sorry. Uh, no. Wait. I'm losing time. I'm losing too much time, to be honest. Hmm. How do I deal with him? So the very necklace, battlestone, battlestone, battlestone. Absolutely. I think I slowly kill him, destroying all the heads one by one. Hmm. I'm not gonna need uh, all the agility that I have because uh, I'm not gonna escape. But I still need to escape from the bell end. No, I still need to escape from the bell end. Okay, filtered armor isn't really necessary against him, but it reduces a lot of the damage. Let's smoke once again. I think I have enough time. Thank you so much for the follow. Who is it? Uh, Andre Barbeiros. Uh, Barbey Roy, thank you so much, my friend. Let's just enter the battle. I don't think I have enough time to use another pipe and then enter the place. Okay. What we do now is we just guard. Hoping to survive. And in the next, uh, in the extra turn, we use... Uh... Guys, let's do one thing. Let's stop right here. Next time, we will finish 
the run because we still have to fight Perkele and the rare. I think it's gonna require more than one hour at this point. But still, today we made tremendous progresses. Tremendous progresses, guys. Using our strategies. Because everything that I did uh, was a result of my strategy. I didn't follow Dark Raccoon. And Gabe, thank you so much for the one euro. Thank you so much, my friend. D you didn't even say anything, are you? Okay. But thank you so much, Gabe. I really appreciate it. <laughs> that is a little satisfaction. <laughs> this is uh, something. Okay, no worries. There's gonna be part three. It's literally Attack on Titan. It's literally Attack on Titan, this, pro this, uh, this thing. Since uh, you guys said karaoke uh, is doable on YouTube, maybe maybe I could do something for next for next time. Yeah, we're gonna see. But anyways, thank you so much for following me, guys, today. Thank you so much for the one million views total, guys. I still have the 50 bucks waiting. It's just gonna come on a random day. Oh, okay, Gabe. I can accept that. You're gonna go over the 900 donation after that. Interesting. We will see. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming, everyone. I loved your presence. I love to be able to talk with you every time. And I will see you next time.